Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. Ruff, ruff. And welcome back to Pokemon Ted's Ted's here. But he, we haven't we haven't got barking on command. We haven't even really got him coming to his name yet. That's a work in progress. Uh, welcome to the app completely 100% intentional Thanksgiving special. Yeah, John didn't remember it was American Turkey Day today, well, so... Um... I, I kind of assumed... I don't know. I thought maybe they'd, they'd, they'd like do it on the nearest Saturday or something. Like, they'd like you know... I mean... That makes sense. It's just it's always on a Thursday. I forgot that. I just kind of assumed maybe it was like, you know, the last Saturday of November or the second last Saturday yes, of November. Yes, and the, the, well -known, the well known consumerist holiday of Black Friday, the day before Thanksgiving. I have no idea what the relationship between Thanksgiving and Black Friday Black is. Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. Is, is there a reason for that? I don't know. Is, is, I think it's is this a gift-giving of... holiday? Do people get money on Thanksgiving? Is that why? No, I think it's because a lot of people like have time off or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's because a lot of people have time off. and. What to a clarify, because I think I seem to have accidentally fooled some people. That wasn't Ted, it was just me going woof woof. <laughs> Just to clarify, Ted, Ted doesn't bark on command, but he's over there. He's to my right on an old sofa. I've moved into my office, so he's got somewhere to sleep during the day. And we have, we have absolutely no idea. We have absolutely no idea. But it, it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving, apparently. So, like, you know, if you want to hang out with us, that's great. Uh, but yes, I, I don't know what that. I don't know what that means. Like, it, just, it means less or more people are going to show up than usual. I have no idea. Anyway, welcome to Pokemon Violet, which is great. I know it's, it's full of jagged lines and it, it falls apart the sense of provocation, but it's it's full of jag and I love jank. Naughty's jank is the best jank. This is the real ship, all right? Like, we've got an entire genre of games like Goat Simulator that are like fake jank games that are trying to fake jank of the early noughties, but you can't fake this. This is like, this is from the jank region of France, okay? Pokemon Violet is pure, authentic jank champagne. It's the proper shit. It's it's a game that's just basically falling apart at the seams. But like, no, John, yes, it's from the Bethesda region of France. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. It's great. It's absolutely like and the thing is, it's not in the way that ruins the game because like even if you fall out of bounds, you can teleport back to town from literally anywhere. Doesn't and if a Pokemon falls out the bottom of the world during battle, it doesn't actually interrupt or ruin the battle. It's fine. It's just oh, it's nonsense. I love it. Jank pain. Jank pain. Absolutely fantastic. Like, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, every time I see a, a glitch video of this game, I'm like, I like it more. This is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. Let's have more of this. Make it jankier. Break it more. It's not broken enough yet. Yeah, I mean, it's literally like I was just uh, editing some Oblivion, and at some point you meet a character that says something that's clearly intended to be like, really, really obnoxious, and you're like, I love this guy! <laughs> He's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. I've decided to change into my winter uniform because it's snazzier. Uh, so it's probably a bit warm to us. I'm supposed to be in, like, Spain. But it's like, and everyone else is in, like, shorts. So I'm probably sweltering. But, like, you know, I, I just think it looks snazzier than the alternatives. Now, what I've done, for the sake of, like, you know, fairness and whatever it is... I have not gone into any new... I have not gone... Oh, no. Is this, is this noise going to keep happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. I thought I saw... I saw some... You can't hear this, but I can hear a... Bloop, 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 which I think is the, the PC struggling with the the the, uh, the, the uh, controller. It's fine. You can't hear it. I can. I, hopefully, you can't hear it. Uh, anyway, basically, what's going on is I've not been anywhere other than the regions I've been in in the video. So, uh, you know, we've been into the starting region. We naffed off over here into Area 1. We went into, uh, not Zaragoza. Uh, and then, like, we just went into Area 2 over here. Uh, I also, I've been, I've been slightly around the corner. I've been slightly around the corner over here because I wanted to see so you being, so I've got a fast travel point here. I went around the corner here because I wanted to, because there was a, a crystal thing I wanted to get. So, that's literally it. I, I've been, like, you know, the, in terms of where I've been in the game, I've, I've been, I've been here. That's it. There's been nowhere else. So uh, there's not been any new areas you've not seen. However, I have changed the team round a bit. Because <laughs> I've, I've I've caught some new Pokemon that are <laughs> just in this area. But all of them were, I think, in the video with what it... Yes, Claire. Um, people are pointing out that either they heard all the caps on the video, the automatic captions. Yeah. Um, whenever you say Pokemon Violet, uh, put it as Pokemon Violence. Love it. <laughs> 
Which is great because you know accurate. I, I I just I just woke up today, chose Violet. That's that's how I that's how I made my decision. So say hello to the brand new team. All right, there we go. So the new team is Quaxley still present and correct. I got a graveyard out of one of the crystals and the the crystal raid thingies. So he's he's a terror. He's a terror Pokemon. And the reason I really like this guy is because. His terror type is fire. And he's got a candle on his head. And when he goes terror, that means like the <gasps> candle the candle becomes a huge flaming That's candelabra. So, so it's like the candle like evolves. So I'm super down for, for Griefyard. And because he goes fire type, uh, I taught him fire fang using the TM. His, his nature's like, it's fine. Like special defense up, which is like, I, I would have preferred an offensive thing up. But like his special defense is pretty good. Special attack down, he seems to be a physical attacker. I was fine with that. Um, a Star Avia. It took me like a cocking hour to get this bastard, but I finally got a, um, a Star Avia with a plus attack nature, because that's all you would really want. Um, it's unfortunately not like, uh, you know, it, it, it is a bit unfortunate that, uh, yeah, uh, attack, uh, that special defense is down, not say special attack, but what can you do? I, I like Star Avia. Like, Star Raptor's an absolute cocking beast right there. Um, Fluffy. Uh, obviously, my Mareep has evolved into a Fluffy. I picked up a Shmoliv. Shmoliv is great. Shmoliv. Shmoliv is not only adorable, but Shmoliv is just the best. Uh, special attack up, speed down, which struck me as a perfectly solid thing for a slow plant. Um, and also, I taught him um, Swift, because uh, you can make Swift TM so easily. And that's just a uh, special normal. And he's half normal. So, like, I, I kind of saw no reason why not in this. I'm just going to unplug this. Because then the computer will stop going bloop, bloop, bloop at me. It's, it's trying to, I think it's trying to like sort out the, the controller. It'll warn me when the controller's running out of juice, I'll plug it back in. I love Shmoliv. Shmoliv is so cute. And he actually hits pretty bloody hard. Shmoliv's great. Um, and then I caught a Fanpy round the corner. This was like the second Fanpy I caught. And it was attack up. Special defense down. So I was like, yeah, done. Fate has chosen me to have this fan P. I love fan P. I love Dom fan. So yeah, I think right now the team is... It's half new Pokemon. I'm sure Quaxley, Graveyard, and Smoliv are all new. And then uh, then two members of Generation 2. Fan P and uh, Fluffy, both Gen 2s. And then Staravia from Gen 4. So yeah, uh, the, the new generation is the most is the most well oh, represented. Wow. So that there, that is the, um, that's the current team. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, shout out to uh, Andrew who points out in chat that uh, the shiny version of Shmoliv has a black olive. Oh, that's adorable. Well, is a black olive, presumably. Mm, well, oh. they said has, so I'm assuming I mean, like, it's a green olive with a black olive hat. Ah, possibly. Mm. Oh, and uh, just FYI, like, other Pokemon that have been in the rotation have been booted down. Uh, you get to live in box eight if you've ever been on the team. It's a special box. For, like, former team members who theoretically could come back. So, Routes got to level 17 uh, before being booted out. And could, could could come back very easily. Uh, Fletchling got replaced with Staravia. But, again, could come back. Currently level 15. I tried messing around with a Diglett. Because I just happened to catch a Diglett with plus attack. So, you know what? I'll give it a go. Uh, and it got kicked out pretty fast. But it's still there. I got a Bronzor with defense up speed down. Which is hilarious. So, um, he kind of, like, was in the team for, like, two and a half minutes. And obviously, uh, Flamigo, uh, my ringer, is going on right there. So, yes, we th these are kind of like the, the potent... These are like the, the substitutes on the bench. Like, if, like, the gym calls for it, I can, like, uh, bring these guys in, if you like. But, yeah, this is, like, you know, the main team right now. And, uh, yeah, and, well, hang on, no, I need to not do that. Because whichever box you leave open, that's the box that... There we go. That's the box that Pokemon seem to get sent to. So we need to get left open. If you're noticing the Gengar, by the way, I got that in a, in a surprise trade. Someone just sent me in the surprise what? trade a, a Fairy Terror Gengar. Now, it is defense up, sp speeds down, which is dumb. And it's level 35. So I'm not, I'm not going to use it. But like, I it wasn't a Haunter. It was already a Gengar when I got it. I've just been kind of gathering Pokemon. I particularly like the Pokemon that come from different countries, by the way. Um, so there's this guy. I don't know what that clicks. Did you pronounce that? Because this 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 um this Fido comes from France. Patachio. Is it is it a pun? 
Yeah, it's the same as Fido, right? Like, mm-hmm. Shio is a, a little dog, a puppy. Yeah. And Pat, uh, with the accent like that, is, is yeah. Doe. Basically, so, what I what I do yeah. in this game is I log on, I do all the crystal raids that are live at the moment in the areas I'm in, and then I just mystery trade all of them away just to basically get Pokemon from different regions and stuff. I think I've got a... I think I've got a Chinese Diglett. I, I assume that the CHS... China something? I don't know. I, I I'm afraid I'm not good enough to be able to differ to 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 distinguish what those symbols are, which language they're part of. Uh, um, but I've got a diglet from somewhere. I've got a diglet from somewhere, which is very exciting. I think I would have assumed that those characters were Japanese, but then I know that uh, people. Uh, Ch- um, but yeah, yeah, like the Chinese English po- is written in different, yeah. in a bunch of different scripts. You can write it, I think, using Chinese, using katakana. Yeah, I don't know. So, but like, I, I've yeah, there's the some that is from. Uh, I think that must be Spain, EU, and Magikarp. Some that most of them, many of them are English. Oh yes, I've got one shiny. I've got one shiny who is the green hoppet. Where have I lost the green hoppet? Wait, do, do they not show up in their different colours in 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 this? They're not shopping the different colours when they're in, uh... I don't know. Hang on, check, check the hoppets. It might be you. Check your summary. Are you actually the green hoppet? No. No, it's just... Have I got another hoppet somewhere? There's a hoppet down here. Oh, yep, yep, sparkly. Yep, yep. there we go. Though it, it doesn't have a different coloured icon, which is a bit like... There we go. It's just green. Green all over. There we go. It's my only shiny. I've got a, uh, I've got a shiny right there. Uh, yes, and, uh, shout out to Andy, uh, who gave us two pounds and was asking about the shiny hoppet. There we go, it's my only shiny I've caught so far. Unfortunately, yes, it's got no nature in any direction (laughs) whatsoever. Um, its teratype is uh, flying, which is probably not advantageous. I'd probably, like, I'd, I'd rather it lost the flying type, because that might be useful under certain circumstances. Um... I mean, I guess losing the grass type could be advantageous too. But like, uh, yeah, there we go. We've, we've just got that right now. So that's um, the team. Yes. Somebody in chat suggested putting the uh, shinies in a separate box. The shinies could go in a separate box. That's theoretically true. Well, uh, whenever we catch another shiny, we yes. rearrange the boxes. Yes. So like, I was thinking today of making my way, like the nearest city if I keep going in this direction is down over here. So there is a psychic gym, which is fine, because I've got Graveyard. So logically, if we start kind of going in this direction and trying to uh, find our way to the psychic gym, because yeah, there's... Okay, the path up here, out of town, leads into this wide area I've not properly explored yet. There is a Pokemon Center around there, and then there's a road that actually goes uh, south in what I assume is the entrance to a tunnel. I mean, the alternative is loop around this ridge to get to this side of the river, which I can do. Because I've been up here already, so I can get down to this beach in this area that I've not been down here yet. And I can get up here. I can clearly follow this path to here, but I don't see that as... I can't see a way forward. It looks like that would be a dead end. So... I'm not sure, I'm sure what, actually what this is down here. You know, I might just dip down in this direction anyway, because I'm just kind of curious whether there's new water types that show up over in this direction. And I'll, I'll go on foot, because I want to check out the um, the crystal rays that I haven't done yet today. So I'm just going to kind of go in that direction. So yeah, we'll just kind of make our way over in this direction. Hop on the bicycle. That's a, yeah, a poison typer. I've yet to actually locate a Pokemon... In any crystal raids where I look at its terror type and I think, oh, that provides a significant strategic advantage defensively. Like, hasn't happened yet. There's Vespiquen. I enjoy Vespiquen just being uh, around. I think Vesp... I, I, I don't know whether this is... I, I'm pretty certain. Combi and Vespiquen circulate. Like, sometimes you see the Vespiquen, like, in one field and sometimes in another. I think it circulates and that's super cute. I really enjoy that. that that's such a lovely type. So, okay. Poison type. I, I'm very bad at who's that Pokemon. I've no cooking clue what that is. Who's that Pokemon? It's... Seal? Nose pass. Well, how about uh, I read you a couple of messages while the chat catches up. No, I'm just and... going in with Graveyard. Graveyard could cover everything. Okay, Claire, but... go, go, go. Right, yeah. 
thank you. Uh, shout out to the book 778 who came in with the first donation of the live stream as usual. Uh, gave us five pounds and says, hello all. John, do you have a favorite Pokemon type? Probably not an individual type. Like, I, I, I have a huge... I, I love Kingler. I love Exeggutor. Uh, they've always been my long-term favorites. But, like, you know, that's water, grass, and poison. Uh, the grass and psychic even. That is... What the, oh, is that the, the sand snake thing from Generation... I'm not sure what generation that's from. Hello, are you the sand snake thingy? But, like, a poison type. You are! Um, sand, Santa Cobra? Silly Cobra, I think you're from Generation 8. Yeah. And, like, it's kind of appropriate you're poison, actually. Like, it Ooh. feels right that you're poison. So, yes, if you're, like... I'm just going to go for the standard headbutt, um, to be honest. I think you're just ground type. Can oh. we do raids with John? I see no reason why not, potentially. I've not looked into how to set them up. Okay, well, I'll look into how to set them up in the background, or if anybody knows. Uh, also, he's poison because he's a terror type. So why am I not using my? Why am I not using dig? Because I know dig. I know dig. That's fine. Use dig. Activate dig. Go grieve. I don't know why you have dig, but you have dig. That's you fine. don't know why the dog has dig. Have yeah, you seen our garden? It's a ghost. It, it, it's incorporeal. Whatever. There That's we. A good boy and a dig. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of appropriate that a snake is poison. That feels appropriate right there. I think that's I think that's right. That a snake is also a poison. I'm pretty sure he's not poison. I think he's I think he's just a ground. I'm not sure what he evolves into. I can't remember what Silly Cobra evolves into or what its typing is precisely. But this seems to be going just fine. So this is I have no I, were you a generation eight? Uh, were you new in generation eight? Uh, yes, people have said new in Gen 8. Yeah. Uh, well, now he's here and he's just hanging uh, out. Yes, Silly Cobra evolves into Sandaconda. Sandaconda. Mm -hmm. Is that a pure ground type? I think it might be a ground type. Let Please. me just ask Bulbapedia. Good old Bulbapedia. Oh, go to Bulbapedia like a scrub. We 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 experts go to Ser I always go to Serapy.net. Serapy.net's great. Well, but Bulbapedia had like bought bought the. Uh, Google results better, so it's not my fault that they did a better job with that. Um, yes, Sandaconda, which looks like that. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. That's weird. Is it wrapping around itself? Is that yeah, what it's it doing? looks like it's killing itself, which is weird. I think it's supposed to be like a sandstorm. I think it's what it's supposed oh, to yes. be doing. I see. The Gigantamax one is clearly, more clearly a sandstorm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so a massive shout out to Motor Rider. He uh, gave us uh, 50 Australian dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much. Uh, and Motor Rider says, good morning from Australia, John Clarence. Teddy, I'll be catching up on VOD due to work as usual, but have an excellent stream and a wonderful day. Oh, well, thank, so you thank you very, 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 much, very, indeed. very much indeed. I, I hope you enjoy the stream when you catch it later. Yes. So, okay, hang on. Ground that could become poison. Like, if it was appropriate, a snake could become a poison type. Absolutely. I like that. Um, but, like, ground is weak to, like, uh, water. And I guess it gives you coverage against grass. There could be worse things to be. There could be worse things to be. Um, defense down, special attack. Uh, defense, yes, defense down, special defense up, which is a weird thing in a way you know what I, I i'm not feeling that i'm not feeling it you get in the box you get in the box right there with the others but at least we've caught you now it's just there's so many pokemon in this game and then you've just got the terror raids as well so there's even bloody more also someone at like you know game freak just kind of you know just said at some point it's like okay nintendo how many new dog pokemon do you want in this game and nintendo just said yes because <laughs> every other new pokemon seems to be a dog there's so many dogs in this game so many ridiculous number of dogs. I'm gonna go check out the electric. See if the see if the electric's got anything good going on. Claire. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Cherry who gave us two pounds uh, and says I hope you're well and enjoying the new Pokemon game. It's I I I think it's yeah I think it's a huge step up from. Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield were very traditional Pokemon games in very ways. But this is... This feels like the next step in evolution of the franchise. Bloody hell, it needs polish. But, like, it's it's such a huge step forward. That is an electric Starly. So, okay. Starly would normally be weak to... I mean, it gives you an edge against... Uh, 
not convinced that really gives Starly and Edge in any particularly significant capacity. But I'm going to beat it up anyway. <laughs> so it's an electric type. So, oh, as it's an electric type, uh, Fampy, you're up. So there we go. Fampy can just go in and that's absolutely fine. And then we'll just head, uh, we'll head south to the area, to the actual, um, yeah, to like the area south of where I've been, down to the coast. It looks like there's a dead end beach down there, which <laughs> is kind of interesting. So I'd like to go visit yes. like the dead end beach. Uh, Dex Jenner in chat says, I like the game, I just wish it actually worked. You see, the thing is, I don't think this is, this, it do, it's, like, buggy in a way that actually reduces or makes the game worse in any way. I think that's the crucial bit. Like, I've not experienced a single crash, for example, or a bug that's prevented me playing the game in a meaningful way. It's literally just the case of it being occasionally coming up with funny glitches which don't take away from the game for me and i like yeah. how this bird is wearing a a heavy enough hat it can't fly anymore it's being weighed down by by, its, by, by its, its giant light bulb yeah some of the hats are great i love the electric hat the electric it also looks kind of like you know like an electric chef's hat like you're a chef super villain yeah but you also have electric powers but you kind of want to go for like the chef aesthetic like, yep. I, I kind of feel like that's that's what we've got going on here. Uh, Cricket says, I only had one crash, but autosave helped. Yes. So that's good. You I mean, I guess how much the jank um, distracts from the game is going to be a really personal thing. Oh, yeah. Like, like I, I said, I, as I said, the start and end of the video yeah, I did. Yeah. Like, very importantly, because like, some people are going to get angry. Like... If this is a deal breaker for you, that's fair. Like, if you look at this and think this is not acceptable and I have an actual objection to a game that is being released in this sort of a state because it's basically, like, it's not cool, like, on this system in this day and age. And if we, like, you know, accept it, then it's going to incentivize more laziness and poor performance in future. That's fine. That's a valid position to take. For me... I, I just look at it and think this is like the problems are not taking away from the core gameplay loop of my enjoyment thereof that is working just fine. And why was there a Basculin fan there? That was just Basculins exist in this mm. water, but I have never seen one. Also, I've, I, in case you just find the, the Hopip shadows creepy as flip. In case you just see the Hopip shadows, but no Hopip, and it's just like you're being, being stalked. It's all very creepy. I'm going to go up to that little tower. I, uh, I tagged. And I'm just going to go south into this open area and the mm. watery area. And there's, there's a beach near down by over here. And I'm kind of curious what's going on with the beach and whether we can get up to that psychic gym this way. I doubt we can. I doubt we can. Um, we don't want it to, we don't I mean, to yeah. Go. I've, ha I've got a few people in chat here going. They've had... Saying they've had one or two crashes... It's slow, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, obviously, it is, what, 50 quid if you, you know. Oh, yeah, it's it's yeah, a full I, price I mean, game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> level, okay. Yeah. Level 17, 20. I'm not, like, massively outclassed in this bit of the world. That's like, fine. Like, I think it looks super cute, and I'd love to play it, but I'm not look, I'm not going like, oh, I'm going to buy Scarlet, so we have the other one, mm. so we can... Bloody blah, because I'm like. Well, that oh. used to be more of a thing that you might do as a household back when there wasn't the online functionality. Yeah. And, like, the only realistic way it's, like, have all the Pokemon was if, like, as a partnership, one of you got one, one of you got the other, because you had to trade locally. Mm. These days now, everything can just be got through online trading. It's way less, there's way less incentive towards that. You are a Toxel, aren't you? I'm not super into Toxel. I think I got one of them earlier from, like, the, the cliffs up there where I got my fan pee bit of a toxel at that point i do adore the fact that there is a very cute little black pig and he's called lechonk i also enjoy how there's a small number of pokemon who are just absolute cocky nutters um like there's oh, the, those king charles spaniels they're, they're very angry dogs and like they're one of very few dogs who will straight up just hunt you down and try and engage in a fight. No. And like, and plenty of pokemon won't but like there's a small number of pokemon that will oh it's done sparse Hello! Right, Dunsparce, you're normal type, aren't you? And oh, you're digging. Oh, you've got to sneak up on Dunsparce. Okay. And that's. Oh, you're a grump pig. Where's Spoinks? I like Spoinks. I mean, Spoinks are terrible. Level 32. 
Are there spoinks? Because spoinks, I'm going to be honest, like, one of my, the, the, the saddest things for me about Generation 3, was it Generation 3? Yeah, it was Generation 3, was I had a spoink on my very first team in Sapphire, and I was, I loved that spoink so much, and then it evolved into Grumpig, and it, stay away from me, you're too tough. And that involved, and I hated it because it's so ugly. It's just a pig with a couple of beads on it. And like, Spoink is so much cuter than Grumpig. Grumpig's such well, a. Which one is Spoink? Uh, unfortunately, there's not a Spoink round here, which is surprising given there's a Grumpig. But it's just a pig. Just, just Google Spoink. It's literally just I'm a pig head on I'm afraid of Googling the word Spoink. Why? Because it sounds weird. Does it. Are you assuming it's going to be a bad thing? And it's going to be a sex I mean... thing? Okay, I see a dunce. Some... Oh, yeah, it is cute. Look at that! Spoink's so cute! <laughs> Who wants to take on Dunsparce? Dunsparce is just normal, right? You wouldn't have a ground or anything, so I can just electrocute you. Right, get behind it. Distract it. Let's get Dunsparce up on the team here. Was Dunsparce ground, or am I misremembering? I'm going to try and paralyze it, see if that works. If this doesn't work, it's going to be very embarrassing. No, it was just pure normal. Dunsparce, I think I, I think I saw Dunsparce has now picked up a new evolution, which, God, it needed. Bloody hell, Dunsparce needed. This is... This, okay. Uh, Do you want Myra, to hear a uh, Myra says uh, Spoink is my favorite Pokemon. Spoink is great. Go get a Spoink, says Spanglish I don't know where the Spoinks guy. are. I was looking around. There's no Spoinks there. Okay, Ooh, so... Oh, and uh, Spankli uh, Spanglish guy, uh, welcome. This one is going to be for you. If you worry about uh, the word Spoink, you definitely want to, don't want to say Spanklets. That that sounds way dirtier. No, Spanglish. Yes, but you said... I thought you said Spanklets. Yes, I said it funny because I'm... <laughs> Sounds way dirtier than Spoink. Oh, it knows Mud Slap, though. Okay, fun story from my very first time playing Pokemon Silver. Like, not just my first time playing Pokemon like, you know, one of my very early on the Pokemon Silver. So, my very first game, I went into, what's it called? Uh, the, the Dark Cave, just where you get to, um, to Violet City. All right, and uh, I think I saw, like, a Zubat or something. And then I saw a Dunsparce, and I killed it by mistake. I thought, okay, that's fine. Because I did not realize the Dunsparce was one of the rarest sports. And, like, it just kept not showing up, kept not showing up, kept not showing up. And, like, eventually I kind of got myself, like, I got in my own head a bit. So, again, did I imagine this? Did this really happen? This was before the internet was widespread, so I couldn't just use an online resource to look this up. And, like, I forgot I had a Pokedex that I could look up Dunsparce in. And I literally was sitting there thinking, did I imagine this? Am I sure this happened? Um, so that was, that was a thing. Uh, have you seen the Dunsparce evolution, John? I have not seen the Dunsparce evolution. I just heard there was one. Come on, uh, Dunsparce. Well, not, hey! to, not, to, not to tell you too much, but, uh... Kotaku has an article called uh, This Pokemon got an uh, evolution after 23 years and it's such a troll. Oh no! Dunsparce, no! Dunsparce needs an evolution. Oh no, to... he has one. Uh huh. But he needs a good one. Uh... It, needs, it needs to become Dung King. Well, like it's now a basketball player who like does dunks and also wears a crown. Oh, that'd be amazing! Dung King! <laughs> He's a oh basketball God. king! And he's got like he wears like bracelets that are also crowns. All right, that he's just—it's all about crowns. Dunking, Dunking comes in for the Grand Slam special attack. Nine hundred and ninety-nine power and never misses. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. I respect the Dunsparce evolution troll. The name is amazing. Oh, it's apparently based on a Japanese cryptid. Special attack up, attack down. That's, you know, I, I don't know what Dun's- I would catch a Dunking! <laughs> Dunking! Yeah! Uh, Dunsparce's evolution is incredible. John is going to love slash hate it. Oh, no. John. Yes. You need to, you need to evolve this boy. I, I, I don't know how long that takes or what his level well, is or whatnot. I'm going to look it up for you. There might be some weird trick to it. Like, there's so many different ways to evolve Pokemon. Like, yes, some Pokemon you have to, like... Look it up for some you. Pokemon you have to, like, walk around with them. And some of them are, like... You have to use a certain move a certain number of times. Or it needs to be a certain time of day in the game. Because, fortunately... <laughs> I'm really glad Pokemon has given up on, hey, let's have, uh, like, real-time clocks. Like they had in the original Gold and Silver. Because all it meant is, like, if you couldn't play while you were at school, well, then fuck you. It's nothing but Zubats for you, fucker. Uh, so I'm glad that's no longer the case. That's just more dumb sparsers. Is that a Houndor? That's a Houndor, but I've got a Houndor, so that's absolutely fine. We're slowly making our way 
down towards, there is a sparkly, you're a terror Pokemon. Down over here, there's more Lechonks. It's, there's so much variety in this game. That's the crazy thing about it, like, how next to how it used to be. Where it's like, you know what, on a given route, there are like, four Pokemon, one of them's super rare, and two of them are super common, and, oh, it's Chansey! Hey, Chansey! Chansey, that's got to be worth so much experience, holy shit. Staravia, you're up. Staravia, go! We're going to take Chansey by surprise, and we're going to fuck the shit out of it! Yeah! Wait, no, that means, no, that, that was, I, I meant, like, fuck shit up, not, not what I said. Yeah, I, no, I, I got that. I don't, I'm, I'm not actually... I'm just letting you dig that. I'm, I'm not just... planning to have sex with this Chansey. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, okay, so you need... These were always a massive source of XP. Chanseys used to be such... Like, you used to go into Cerulean Cave in Red and Blue to just, like, Chansey grind. Like, you, you just go grind against Chansey. Again, not weird. <laughs> Not, not, not weird. Again. Oh, Ooh, Staravia wants to learn Endeavor. Uh, was Endeavor the... Was that take the the enemy down to the same the same thing you are? Yes. Inflicts damage by cutting down the target's hit point to roughly equal the user's hit points. Yeah, that's actually really good. I... Would I like to keep... I mean, am I ever... I feel double team abuses is scummy. So, I, thanks to the move memory system, I can bring it back if I want it later. But, like, if you've just been hit by an amazingly tough attack endeavor, like, plus, a, like, a scarf, a uh, survive is super good. Uh, Quaxley wants to learn double hit. What's double hit? Uh, sounds like a physical attack. Uh, double hit power. Okay, slams twice in a row. So, 35, so 70, but 90 accuracy? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Get rid of water gun, because I'm never going to use that over Aqua Jack, because your special attack is literally poor. So you can have that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so there we go. Quacky for water gun. Learn double hit instead. And what else do we have? Is there any more? Is there any more? And Happini Dust. Despite the fact that I was clearly... Oh! Claire, it's Quaxley! Mm. Oh no, Claire. Okay, cross your fingers. His hair has to still look good. Please tell me his hair's going to look amazing. Like, I want this duck to have a glow Wait, up. Haven't, haven't you seen the evolution? Before? I've seen the final evolution. I'm not sure I saw the middle one. Oh, go, Quaxley, Come on, go. have good hair. Have good hair. Have good hair. Have good hair. <laughs> <laughs> this duck is thick. That is a <laughs> thick as fuck duck. <laughs> he is, he is, he is thick duck. <laughs> that is that is I'm not kidding that that is one thick duck <laughs> stop fat shaming the duck John <laughs> is he wearing a big helmet now I quite like his giant eyebrows I quite I quite like his giant eyebrows I quite like that you know what I'm okay with that <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I think his hair looks very stupid. He's a practicing Pokemon, which is misspelled because when practicing is a verb, it's spelled with an S, not a C. Mm -hmm. uh, Hardworking Quaxwell observes people and Pokemon from various regions and incorporates their movements into. Oh, he's a dancer. Okay, Thick Duck. I think I've got to change his name to Thick Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly Thick as Duck. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was originally thinking of making his name What the Duck. Uh, so that's. Enti entirely possible. Uh, okay, so I also, I also need to quickly check whether he... I missed any moves. I'm pretty sure he skipped from 15 to 17 because of that chance, say. Um, so I need to change moves. Yeah, remember moves. Just check nothing got missed. Water Pulse possibly got missed. Uh, possibly he was supposed to be up at level 16. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy to give him Water Pulse because that's quite powerful. Uh, in case I need a special move. You know, it's not for the best... You know, I'm gonna dump double hit. I'm I'm happy with Aqua Jet, Aerial Ace, and then Water Pulse in place. Double hit. I just don't like that 90% accuracy. I don't like. I don't like. So that's that's absolutely fine. This is this is good. <laughs> All right, Quaxwell has now got Water Pulse. He's probably uh, supposed to pick it up. Thick McDuck. <laughs> thick McDuck. There's a. Uh, you know what? I've I've never been sure about this. It's this squirrel. Which is like either Pachi Risu or Paki Risu, but I've never been sure what the pun's supposed to be. And thus, like, if there's a specific pronunciation that's supposed to supposed to be around, like, I've never been sure what the actual 
like what the intended like if there's if maybe it's a pun that doesn't work in english i don't know let's just catch you on the way out i think when you're running away we can get you like i, I wasn't I've, I've never been sure what the what the deal is with his name or what it's supposed to be and thus even what it's supposed to necessarily be pronounced as um he probably can't take a bulldoze i'll give you a rollout i'm holding the hard stone as well so yeah because I'm, I'm holding hard stone as well so like if I can get a rollout going, I can do a lot of good work. You're going for a ju Oh, hang on. If you're going for it, Are you now endured for the next hit? Oh, wait. Am I still using rollouts? Oh, I thought I could stop using rollouts. Oh, this is unfortunate. Right, well, this this squirrel's about to die. Um, Paki Risu wasn't translated from Chinese, hence the oddness. Risu is uh, Japanese for squirrel. Yeah, because I know Pikachu is like buzz squeak. Pika is the noise a mouse makes in Japanese, and Chu is the noise electricity makes, I believe. Or maybe it's the other. No, I think oh, it's that way around. He's not S dead yet. Huh? Oh, yeah, because he used a jewel. But now I can't. I need you to miss. I need you to miss, Fampy. Fampy. Gosh darn it, Fampy. I thought I could stop using it. I think it's Fury Cut you can stop using. You can't stop using that. So, okay. Fampy's moving in the right direction, which is uh, great. Paki Paki for uh, Japanese for electricity crackling. I'm assuming it's... Uh, oh, is P it the same root as Pika? Right. I'm Pika assuming it's a Paki. curse sound rather than Pachi Pachi. Ah. Because, uh, yeah, because it's... It's, uh, it's, a, it's a shared etymology with, mm. with Pikachu. That's super cute. Yeah. Oh, I love this sort of thing, by the way. This map is so well designed, so when you come to, like, cliffs, you very often you see stuff you've seen before. That's my house. Oh, nice. So you come around here, that's my house, just round the bay, which is super cute. And there's something going on down there. Can I get to it? Whatever it is. Get rid of to here. Yes. Oh, I can't make that unless I can like glitch up the thing. I haven't I haven't practiced my backwards jumping uh, manipulation yet. Fampy woke up and chose Pokemon violence. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, there we go. That's nice. Just a fletching. Okay, let's let's make our I know there's a beach around here somewhere. I saw there was a a beach. Yes, Pokemon Beach. That's a... What's it called? Turnip. Knackley? That's a turnip. No, it's a rock. It's it's supposed to be like layers of rock. It's a knackly. Though I'm not 100% sure, what, again, what the, the punnel reference is there. There's a whooper. You know, I wouldn't have minded a whooper, but I'm not keen on the new whooper uh, uh, poison ground thing. Like, whooper and quagsire are great. Oh, hang on. Hey, buddy. I haven't seen you before. It's Mokro. Okay, let's just uh, get something that can do... Oh, and hello. What are you guys doing here? What are you guys? Are you like the... Oh, you're you're from Generation... I think the last one. I don't care about you. I'm more into Murkrow. Generation 2 was my bag. So, like, I'm, I'm super into Murkrow. So, let's just get a Flaffy. Ready to go. There we go. Hang on, what's that over there? That... Oh, that's just a Marrow. That's a Marrow over on the left. What I really like, by the way, is the world doesn't pause... Or, like, in any way go into Pocket Universe while you're fighting. So, the Pokemon just come and watch. Which is super cute. And, like, you can use the fights to look around and scout out for other Pokemon you might want to go and find next. And I think that's so cute. That's, like, such a cool thing. That, like, it's completely not a separate universe anymore. Like, the other Pokemon who are out in the Earth world keep doing their own thing. That Marrow's probably about to go and have a swim or something. It's super cute. Use Swift, which is, of course, yeah, special type. So that is absolutely fine. You know what? You're paralyzed and you're... That's probably good enough. I need some point need to go and buy some more Pokeballs. I've got loads of Great Balls. I, I, I've just been finding them everywhere. So that's all absolutely fine. Also, I don't know whether how much difference... Oh, wow. You broke free easily. Much how much difference night and day works. I've not um, seen much difference between night and day so far. Uh, John, uh, Knackley, uh, people are saying uh, it's for uh, um, the... Um, it's for the elements N A and C L. Oh, uh, so sodium chloride. chloride. So yeah. it's salt. It's a salt Pokemon. Yeah. I like salt. Yes. I have too much of it in my diet. <laughs> okay, I need something that can just chip this thing down a bit more clearly. So, um, hmm, who could chip it a bit? I mean, this is dark. Oh, so its name is Salty. <laughs> That's true. That's cute. I, I assume dark is not very effective against dark. I can't actually remember whether dark's not effective against dark or not. But Graveyard can go and just give it a nibble. And Graveyard doesn't hit that hard. So that should be fine. Oh, did you just haze away the... Wait, does haze get rid of stage conditions or does that change? Yeah. 
paralysis. No, it doesn't get rid of his paralysis. Right, give you a nibble. Bye, bye. Um, this is not. Yeah, not very effective. Good. So he's now he's red and paralyzed. Mercro is putting up a fight here. This is this is impressive. But then I'm guessing, like, originally back in the second generation, you didn't find Mokro too well late in the game. So I'm guessing his catch rate's quite aggressive. Okay, I think he just needs to be in red. And even then, he's not having it. Right, we're going to get him sooner or later. It's going to be fine. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let me see where we're at. Uh, yes, shout out to Anthony, who has been a member for 13 months. Uh, and says, hello, I hope that Ted, I hope that Teddy is keeping you both busy and there's Capix on Twitter. Uh, so We will I've get them later. Someone's saying to me, John, it's it's gre it's Grievard, not Yard. Yeah, but the pun's clearly Graveyard. So I, I, I'm happy for him to be Graveyard. I'm, I'm happy to insert the Y. I'm, I'm fine with that. You know what? Ultra Ball, fine. You get an Ultra Ball because you're being fussy. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Cutie Funny gave us 10 Polish Zloty. Wow. He is not wanting to be in that ball. Mm -hmm. He does not want in that ball. And he's about to take out my puppy as well. What a dick. I've got 10 million revives. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, and let's see. Huh. No, Karen. Sorry. Uh, uh, Cutie Funny gave us a 10 Polish Zloty and uh, says... Uh, as the YouTube captions say, rather lovely Pokemon violence. Good old Pokemon violence. Oh, we got him this time. Oh, oh gosh darn it. Come on. Come on, get in the damn ball. Get uh, in the damn ball. You d okay, you know, this, this calls for, it's time to break out the cheat code. Okay, as soon as the ball goes on. And hold down and bait. Down and bait. Ah, oh, I got my timings wrong. Ah, uh, it's a sh I can't believe that exploit still works after nine generations that you can still hold down a B and it'll catch any Pokemon for free. Amazing that Nintendo never patched that. Clap! Anyway, shout out to Ro Y who uh, gave us uh, £4.50 and uh, says, How are you all? I am so happy that you're playing Pokemon. I'm loving this game, watching and playing. It's such a good time. Get uh, in the damn ball, Murkrow! Murkrow is resilient. Ah, oh, finally got it with a great ball. How dare he resist modern slavery. <laughs> Quite right, too. Become uncatchable. Murkrow bauble times two. I bet it's terrible, too. Like, dark, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Murkrow. Not just, despite the fact it's clearly like a witch Pokemon, because it's like yeah. an evil crow with a witch's hat, it evolves into a, like, a gangster boss. <laughs> Not Wait, what? Yeah, because they decided instead Mistrevious was going to become the witch Pokemon. So fuck it, Murkrow now goes from oh my witch, God. It goes from Holy witch bird. Christ. Yeah, it goes from goes from blatantly witch bird into I'm a mafia boss, That's which is so fucking so weird. So cute, and this guy is so murdering you. Yeah, exactly. And it is special attack up, defense down. Okay, are you actually supposed to be a special attacker? Because I feel like you're supposed to be a physical attacker. Given special attack is only a tiny... I mean, like, a mixed sweeper? I'm sorry. I, I like my Staravia. I like my Staravia. Then you get... Is that good for a Murkrow? I mean... Wing attack is physical. Gust is... I think Gust is special. Astonish is physical. Hmm. Hmm. Mild... I'm not convinced that's the... Murkrow is mixed. It can go in the box for now. I'll think about it. But I kind of... I want to get my Staravia up to Staraptor. Because Staraptor is such a beast. Attack it's... and special attack are the same for Murkrow. But Honkrow is higher on the uh, attack. Eh, okay. So really, yeah. You, you, you wouldn't want a bonus special attacker for the most part. All right, Graveyard. You're dead. Now you're not... Because and yeah, you can uh, apparently you can change uh, Pokemon's natures now. Yeah, like nature mints, but I think they don't come like presumably they don't come until quite a bit later in the game. Yeah, I mean there's like a shop where you can go. Yeah, and that is. Oh, speaking of which, there's Mistrevus, who might. Oh, hang on, do you go. That may have been a glitch, or possibly because it's a ghost. It's supposed to go invisible. It's hard to say. <laughs> you you just can't know in this game. Uh, okay, Fluffy's a good catcher, and. We, wait, do you need to... No, no, now we're fighting, and we're fighting... Also, I love how when the Pokemon's on water, you just put out a floaty for it. That's so you, freaking you a, cute! You put out a little floaty. That's so cute! It started raining. I'm not sure what effect the weather has on it. I mean, logically, water Pokemon show up more in 
the wet, but I've not seen much evidence of what the weather does so far. So right, let's just start getting you down, buddy, and we'll catch Mistreavus. Yeah, Mistreavus does not like a witch Pokemon. Then they decided it was going to be the witch Pokemon anyway. So it's, it's an evolution Miss Magius is blatantly a witch. So poor Murkrow got turned into a mob boss, <laughs> which was wonderful and made no sense. And I do enjoy Scyther. Scythers are great. I do enjoy a Scyther. Right, you are paralyzed. And also in the red. That's got to be good. Mistreavus, I think, showed up a little bit earlier in the game than Murkrow did. Was Mistreavus... Now, hang on. Were Mistreavus Mystery... Mystery... and Murkrow gold and silver opposites? Well, whatever it is, you, you've you agreed to be captured way more easily than the other one. I slipped the water Pokemon going swimming. All right. And Grieveyard is leveling up too. Uh, let's see. You can find uh, those mints to change, uh, to change natures. On the ground from the start of the game, and you can go to uh, the shop in town called Chansey's Clinic, which is where you can buy those. I've not seen one of those in town yet. They might be in a bigger city than I've yeah, located. Fair enough. So, and for is just such a low-level deck. Just, it just loves biting and yanking people's hair from behind just to see their reaction. What a deck! Love it. Uh, some looks at you, buddy. See what you've got going on. Uh, bland as fuck. Uh, Hardy. Yeah, you go in the box, I'm afraid. Now, did I see a, what are they called, Basculin in this water? And I thought I did. Yep, there's just a Basculin over there, which may be, I mean, it's a bit tough. It's, I suppose, it's like a Piranha. Oh, there's a Fampy over there. Excuse me. Wait. 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 Don't look over. Oh, I think it saw me. I think it definitely heard me. This is probably like a piranha. I think there's like more than one piranha Pokemon. Some Pokemon, like some species in the real world get a bit oversubscribed. Potentially, don't cause me to flinch. Thank you. Right, we're going to get you and then we're going to get to check out that Scyther. Clap! Um, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Shout out to J.O. who's been a member for three months and uh, says, uh, finally catching a live stream. It's been ages. Um, how is it? Uh, how are you, John and Claire? And John Jr., I mean, Ted. Oh, Ted is a very good pup. He had another, like, I would say, like, obedient session today. But what we mean is, he, he, like, we've got to train and do some one on work with him. What, what we mean is, we did some real life Pokemon training today. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I'm going to be honest, he, he knows rest. <laughs> yeah. I think my Pokemon, yeah, my Pokemon did the thing. My Pokemon just fell. I felt my Pokemon fallen into the void. <laughs> yes. I think you could survive. I bet you could survive a... Falling through the... Yeah, yeah. Falling Where's through my Pokemon world, yeah. gone? And my Pokemon is just in the void at the bottom of this pond. Right now. It's just around. And now... Yeah, you, if you get Pokemon right on the edge of ponds, they just fall through the void. So there we go. This Pokemon is just doing its own thing. It, 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 it's still being attacked somehow. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Come on, get in the damn ball. Maybe this Bastion only... Wow. That was not even one shake. Not even a single shake on... Actually, do you know, not know any water attacks? If you know no water attacks, potentially, Fampy might not be a terrible choice. I bet now it's just going to reveal... Ha ha, I knew Aquita all along. Fuck you. Um... Come on, we need to get you. You're, you're so weak and paralyzed. Get in the damn ball. Maybe your catch rate's really aggressive. Come on. Wow, this thing is putting up a fight. No tackle. Good. Fampy can take that all damn day. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Sparrow, who uh, has been a member for seven months. Uh, and says, woo, seven months. I'm special too. Yes, you are. Yes, Thanks indeed. for hanging around. Uh, and we've also got, uh, we've also got messages from Evil Jacqueline, Clone 666, Queen of the Tyranids, who's been a member for 13 months, um, and says, let's go, currently farming Gimme Gold Coins. Yes, I, 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 I don't, I'm not going to farm those, I'm just gathering them as I happen to see them. Yeah. So, okay, this is like a piranha, and there are like multiple, oh dear, attack down when it clearly that's supposed to be its thing. Not a very uh, good. If you do Off a gym or two, the Pokemon will become easier to catch depending on their levels. Ah. Uh, Basculin is another Pokemon with an annoyingly no, low no. catch rate. I just fell down a slope into a Psyduck. No way, I fell into a Marrow. I don't. I didn't want to do that. I just want to go. And, and now I'm, I'm, I don't have the swim upgrade yet. But now, 
Now I scramble back out of the water. I didn't mean to fall down the slope. But well like... Done. I'm gonna I'm gonna respawn somewhere. I have literally the past respawned on top of... Oh, hang on. Is that a dragon? Is that that, that slug dragon? Because you only get the shit dragons up front. Oh, only the shit dragons. Uh, restore health. What's it called? A goo I think it's called a Gudra. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's get you in here, buddy. Let's get you in here, buddy. And also, we need to make sure you are getting all of the... You need to be revived just so you can have the sheriff, sheriff experience. There we go. That's fine. I think the Gudra's seen me. That's fine. Hello, buddy. Have you seen me? Have we seen each other? Are you also, also are you a dragon yet, or do you become a dragon down the line? It's just really annoying how when you're trying to look on something, you have to be looking right at the center, but there's no, like, reticle at the center. So you've no idea whether you're looking at it or not. So, okay, yeah, Gumi! I think it becomes Gudra. So, yeah, it's, it's like a little slug, but I think it becomes a dragon. It's just like a really sticky, it's like, it's, it's a sticky slug dragon. So if you give it a hug, it's all sticky and gross. Like, I don't know, I just feel like... It's, 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 I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. Maybe it's a grass type in this form. I did sore. see a, a headline a, a headline online that was like a, a, when you uh, when you wish for a early game Pokemon dragon. Uh, oh, that was you end me. Up with the monkey paw. Yeah, that was that was bloody Swablu. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Alteria is not a good Pokemon. Never has been. Never will be. It's so unremarkable. Its stats are bad. It's not very good. Oh, good. His name is Gumi because Gumi. He's made of goo. Yeah, uh -huh. That's cute. Let's get it down into red, because it is a dragon, so I'm going to assume. And also, it is absorbing me, so we should definitely take another, take another thunder shock. It's not doing much damage to me, but I'm not doing much damage to it either. Dragons, of course, have a lot of natural resistances to the early game common elements: fire, water, grass, electricity. Always solid. So we're going to catch you. And so, I mean, what I'm really waiting for is Dratini, all right? The moment Dratini shows up, it's on the damn team. I'm going to try a Pokeball. I have no idea what the catch rate on this thing is. I think I, might, I, think I read somewhere it's like it showed up fairly early in the game elsewhere. Oh, so wow. I'm just going to... Oh, that was pretty close. Pretty close. Clap. Hey, shout out to Claymation who gave us $100. Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much, Claymation. Uh, and since I've been watching for a long time, but I haven't been able to donate in a while... Give a good pet to Ted in honor of Tabby. Did we ever say what we did with Tabby and Ted, by the way? Uh, what, which of the things? So, um, we used to order Tabby's food from a particular place. Uh, yes. Um, and because we did that, like, there was like a, you had like a membership and like, you get points. You know, there's, yeah, there's. There's, there's like, there's points. Reward points. Reward, reward points that you can spend you can on like extras. Shit. Tabby passed with a whole bunch of reward points left over in her account. And we just kept using the same account for Ted. And I spotted this. And I said to Claire, we should buy some dog treats. The next time we put a food order in for his normal food, we should just get some dog treats. And we should make sure we buy them with the points. Because then it's like a welcome to the house present from Tabby to Ted. So we got some dog treats. from Ted. That's like a gift from Tabby to welcome him to the house. And, um... And now we're all crying! And I was this close to crying at the time, and I'm yep. right there again. Yep. So that's what we did. And, uh, we... Claymation, that's such a lovely thought. Thank you so much. Uh, and yes. Ugh. She was a very, very good cat. She would have hated him because he is so boisterous. Yeah, he's so boisterous. Uh, but yes, we, we do like to, uh, we do like to say that, uh, she is a little ghost in the garden giving him uh, some advice. So uh, there we on, go. Yes, how to handle uh, the Hoomin. So Attack up, unfortunately. I feel like, yeah, if you... I, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't feel Gumi as a design or like the, the dragon evolves into. So it's not going in my team. It's not going in my team. But like, that's... I, I feel like you want... Spe I, I assume it's a supposed to be a special attacker. So we'll leave you be. And then ignore the Tarantula. You know what I did see? This, this has been bothering me since I first saw it. Well, one, I love the way the Pokedex works now. Um, how the way, how the Pokedex works is, like, rather than, like, it gives you, when you look up something, it gives you, like, instructions as to how to find it. Because I have seen one thing in particular, and I've yet to solve the mystery. All right, but there's one Pokemon I saw another trainer have, and I want it. I fucking want it, because it's one of my favorite Pokemon. And that's Slack Off! 
Slackoff's great. And if you search for the habitat of Slackoff, it can clearly spawn in that area that's next to the... That's like to the right of the starting area down by the water. And I have been in that area many times. Spent its time in trees. I've rarely seen it. Every time I go down there, I'm looking at all the trees. I've yet to see one. I, and I like, and I love the fact that like the, the Pokedex now go, gives you a hint as to how to look for it. That's brilliant. And I really want to slack off. All right, I want to slack off. Slack off's on the team. Like, if you're wondering who's on the chopping block, by the way, because I am a mercenary fucker when it comes to Pokemon. Currently, most on the chopping block is probably Fluffy and Staravia. Smoliv, Quaxwell, Fampy, and Grieveyard are safe for now, but Fluffy and Staravia like could go. Like, I love Mary, but I'm going to be honest, I don't love Fluffy's design. So, oh, hang on, the, the, the Scyther's over there. Also, I should really not be wasting my revives. I should definitely be, like, healing up a bed. So, I've just been looking up in the trees every time I'm in that area, and I've yet to see one. I really, really, really want one. So, and I, I, I've seen people saying, someone else said to me before, like, you've got to have, a, like, the, a, an upgrade for the bike to get it. Yeah, you say that, but this is Pokemon cocking Violet. So that means who cocky knows what you do or don't need. All right. Potentially, I'll just be able to get it. It's, it's the Scyther. Oh, the Scyther's one of the nuts Pokemon that just flipping hunts you down. Okay. Scyther's one of those. Got it. Scyther's going to get the first hit in. Nose Fury Cutter. That's that's pretty good. That You know what? I like Scyther. I, I can see myself dumping Staravia for Scyther. Especially as, actually, you know what? I wonder whether you still have to trade with Metal Coat for Skyzor these days. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. If you can, if you can, if you don't have to trade for that anymore, that'd be kind of good. Um, can you survive a swift? I don't think you can. I think we need to get you out and go for some chip damage. Um, yeah, if Scyther can evolve into Skyzor without needing to trade, that'd be really convenient. Uh, what do I need? I don't really want to change into small if that seems like a bad idea. Uh, Grievyarn could go for. A light bite. I bet you could take a bite off a grief yard. You still yard. need to trade, sadly. Ah, I'm sure I could find a way to make it happen. Of course he's aggressive, John. He's got swords for arms. He does indeed have swords for arms. You know what? This is this was one of the saddest things of Red versus Blue. The way back in the day, flipping Red got Scyther, this magnificent sexy bastard, and we got Pincia, who Nintendo since has just pretended doesn't exist because he's so naff. I think there was a Mega Pins here at some point. But he looked even shitter. So, okay, don't kill him. Okay, that wasn't even close to a kill. That was a flinch, which interrupts that. I think you could take another one as well, actually. This thing's pretty tough, to be honest. Okay, so, uh, um... We've got uh, somebody in chat saying I was able to explore 90% of the map before even going to school at the start, so you don't need the upgrades for the bike, but they do help, and the story with them is amazing. Oh yeah, I mean, I will be going for that, absolutely. False Swipe is fun. Ah, but I'm a ghost, fuck you! Uh, False Swipe is really useful, because False Swipe can't kill. It can only get you down to one hit point, and it gets critical, which is really useful for Pokemon catching. So having a Pokemon with False Swipe... Actually, do you still have Technician? Because Technician was always an amazing, amazing move. Uh, or ability, sorry. If you've still got Technician, like, you know, for Pursuit, for Quick Attack, for Bullet Punch and stuff like that, this thing is putting up a fight. This thing is putting up one a hell of a fight. I'm, I need to go and buy more balls. Like, I, I'm running out of balls fast here. These Pokemon are a lot harder to catch than the ones I've been running into in the early area. Get in the damn ball, Scyther. And please, if you're attack up, like, let's see what Fate's got to say about Scyther. Because I, I could see Staravia being banished in the team right now. Like, that's that's possible. So, bug flying, sharp size in its forearm, become increasingly sharp. Cutting through hard objects, yeah. As, as... I mean, that's not how sharpening things works, but sure. Maybe it is if you're a living thing. Okay, do you want to give it a nickname? Not yet. See what fate has to say. Defense up, speed down! Into the bed with you! Into the bed with you! Into the bed with you. I, I don't know whether it's just me and I'm just imagining this. I feel like after you've caught a Pokemon the first time, it's subsequently easier to catch in subsequent attempts. I think that's true. I might be inventing it, but I think that's true. There's another fan pee. Anything in the water? Nothing much in the water. What's the sparkly over there? That's just a marin and a fan pee and a goodra. 
Another one that's... Oh, that's that's the big dragon. So that's that's the evolved dragon. It happens to be a terror type. It's not a shiny. It's just a terror type. That's all that means. Um, which, you know, often... Sometimes terror types can, like, be not useful. Like, actively bad. And you don't really want them. Because, like, you know, you'd rather just have a, a neutral terror type. Because then, at the bare minimum, you can double stab your, like, you know, attacks that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. You say, oh, shit, you've actually got... You, you're, you're actively less useful than you would be otherwise. Is that a... Is that a puff? Oh, it's just a little chunk. It's Voltorb from above. Uh, everything's fine. Rare bone. Is that useful for Cubone? Didn't Marowak gain a new evolution at some point? Or like a different form? Maybe I'm inventing that. I don't know. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Ooh, Shout out fine. to uh, Evil Jacqueline, uh, Cologne666, Queen of the Terranids, who uh, gave us $2 uh, and says, I'm here to help. With the Sunkern Legion. No! No Sunkern Legion. Sunkern is banned from this stream. No Sunkerns. <laughs> no Sunkerns. How dare you even suggest this. So, oh, wait, wait, no. Need to look onto the Scyther. If that, because it was from the front, I'm guessing I don't get the surprise attack anyway. Because, yeah, I don't get the surprise attack anyway. I'm going to give it another go. going to give it another go. We're going to paralyze him. And that Fury Cutter really stings. That felt like that was Ah, the static got him anyway. Well, that's a, this is a waste of our uh, thunder wave. But what can you do, eh? There we go. Also, I don't see why... That, that little turtle poker in the background. Why do you exist? All right. I am so sorry. Oh, hang on. Is that a barb brooch? Is a barb brooch in the background there? I think that's a barb, a barb brooch or barb brooch or whatever they're called. Um, give you a swift. Can you take that? You should, I hope you can take one swift. Yeah, into the red. That's fine. You're probably going to go down now. Wing attack. Yeah, knocks you out. Uh, bar boat, which I've never been super keen on. Also, I love how there's Psyducks everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. No matter what else is here, it, it, it's Psyduck. Psyducks are here. Like, you, you, you never get you never get rid of it. But this little thing, this turtle creature, we already had Squirtle. We literally already had a turtle. We didn't need another one. I feel like this was unnecessary. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Happy Hope, who's been a member for 26 months. And says, MATN, a Pokemon live stream. So exciting. I'm just loving this game. This is so good. You're so cute. This is the one. Oh, hang on. Just, just, I think it just got the wiggle. I swear you only get that wiggle when you've already caught one. I think that that's what I mean. That's like, like, what, like the critical catch or something. And I swear it only happens when, like, if you've caught a Pokemon uh... before. I swear this is a mechanic. And Turtwig. We've had so many little turtles. Maybe this one's supposed to be like a snapping turtle. Turtles are cool though. We have so many. Then, admittedly, we've got many, many dog Pokemon too. And you still love dogs? Attack down! Oh no, even worse. Get in the bin. In the bin with you. Maybe we'll mystery trade you out later. Don't, oh, that side is going to hunt me down now. Right, get on the bike. We can get away from him. That's just a mischievous from behind. Uh, but what about the, the fish Pokemon you were looking at? The bear brooch? Oh, the bar brooch. I could do without it. That's a fawnling or whatever they're called. It's a Bambi, yeah. Yeah, a little Bambi. It's fine. Well, the thing is, they, they've got a fun mechanic to them, which is um, they're very hard to catch until you find their mum who's in the same area. And once yeah, you've yeah, killed yeah, her, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, they yeah, become yeah. much easier to catch because they're super distracted. It's a real mechanic. It's not a real mechanic. No, I know it's not a real mechanic, John. I've been dating you for many fucking years, De yeah? De decades, thank you. Decades. No, not decades plural. One decade and counting. Better part of two decades, thank you. Yes, indeed. That is that, I like you know, I like Nackley more now. I know it's literally the salt Pokemon. That's That makes me well inclined towards it. There's, uh, mm. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you before. <gasps> Are those puffins? Penguins? I think they're supposed to be yeah, like puffins. <gasps> Alright. Let's see if I can, is that does that count as a, uh, a thing or is it no, I, I probably wasn't close enough to the back of you. Wattrel. Possibly actually I think this might be electric type. Electric type are they immune to paralysis? No, maybe not, but with Volt Exorb they are. Okay. So you you're an electric type, are you? You're flying electric. Alright, well I've got Swift to take care of you. Oh, nice. Good solid hit, but unfortunately, I can't. Uh, I'm not sure whether I. Maybe I can paralyze it with. I might be able to paralyze it with um, static. This ability. I, I'm going to say, like, I, I like Mary, but, like, I'm not super keen on this. Oh, is that Quillfish in the background? 
It's like quillfish just around the corner. I mean, it's a quillfish. Quillfish are terrible. Uh, but like, you know, it'd be nice to have one. And that's, uh, yep, small if going in the right direction. Yeah, electric flying. There was, wasn't there a flying squirrel with that same thing in generation four? I mean, I think there was a flying electric squirrel at some point. So they have strange crackling uh, texture. Electric types are immune to paralysis since gen six. Oh, that's always been true, has it? Ah, fair enough. It's all right. What's your deal, bud? Let's have a look at you. So Volt Absorb, if hit by electric type move, Pokemon has its hit point restored. Okay. Uh, special attack down, which is precisely what you don't want, dear oh flipping dear. So that's that's unfortunate. So you're going straight away. Sorry. Sent to the boxes. Uh, but you know what? It's worth having one in the Pokedex because the Pokedex gives you free stuff. And there's a shoulder. I got a shoulder already. I got a shoulder out of a random crystal event. Uh, but it's nice to see a shelter. Is that a quillfish in the distance? I just said Aracuda. No, I'm, that's the thing. I mean, like, the thing next to it. Ah. I think that's a quillfish over there. But it, it's just hiding. No, no, not the shelter. I want the... Come on. No, 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 no. You, 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 you. Is it too deep under... Do I need the water upgrade? This thing. It's very hard to note to, to lock on. I think it might be too far away. Come on. Come on, quillfish. Come on, quillfish. I'm going to drown and attempt to get this quillfish. Come on, quick, 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 quick. No, not the shoulder. Not the, no shoulder. Fuck off. Shoulder. No, no shoulder. Bad shoulder. Yes, go. Go. I think it's too deep. No, have we got it? Yeah, just in range of quillfish. Now you can be paralyzed. This is a yes. A, a... Oh wow, uh, John. Yes. Wattrell, apparently, uh, Wattrell evolves into Killer Wattrell. Nice! That I love. That's super cute. That's super cute. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to Ken who gave us $2 uh, and didn't leave a message, but if you do want to leave a message and YouTube ate it for whatever reason, uh, you can always leave a message in uh, the chat. Uh, and if you put my name, uh, that will be uh, easier for me to see and I can read that out. Nice. And oh, I love it. Let's see, we've also got a message from Headless Chicken, <laughs> uh, who gave us $10 uh, and says, Hey John, I've watched you for years and I've never done so much as a simple donation. Thank you for all the distraction you've provided over the past decade or however long. Well, thank you very, very much indeed. With a little heart. You know what? Defense up, special defense down isn't terrible for a, you know, a more physical wally Pokemon. But mm -hmm. I know, I've never I've felt, like if I wanted a water poison type, I'd take Tentacruel. And I know that's weird because I'm scared of jellyfish. But I think Tentacruel is just kind of cool. It's just cooler. And I, I think it's better in general. I, I'm not keen on Quillfish. Maybe it learns some amazing attacks I'm unfamiliar with. It was always a bit of a weird Pokemon back in Gen 2. Because it was a Gen 2 Pokemon. You couldn't get it to like really like... It was a very fiddly Pokemon to catch. Oh, I just ran straight to an electric bird. Okay, don't mind me. I don't actually want to, to, to deal with you in the slightest. So that's absolutely fine. We'll just leave you alone. Nicely, I mean, I haven't done that. Shoulders just in the water. And then we've got... Oh, hello. Is that a... Oh, no. No, it can't be. No! No, it's Love Disc! No! Wait, no! What? Not Love Disc! Kill it! Kill it with fire! It's so bad! It's such a bad Pokemon! How dare you! How dare you exist! How? Look how little damage it does! How dare you! What is even the point of you? You stupid hearty fucker! Hate Love Disc so much. I can't believe, I can't, can't believe, can't believe this. Love Disc, it's so bad. It's just the, what is the point of Love Disc? What's the point? Love Disc is sweet. Hate Love Disc, it's, the, it's so terrible though. It's terrible at everything. There's no good point to it. And Quaxor wants to learn Low Sweep. Uh, okay. There's low sweep A. Fighting attack. So lowest target speed stat. Power 65. Accuracy 100. Okay. Am I ever going to use attack and... Work up is attack up by one level. Am I ever going to use that? Like if it was like a sword stance for two levels. Uh, absolutely. But then again am I ever going to use water pulse? You know what? I'll take low sweep and place the water pulse. I've got aqua jet. We're fine. Let's just have a bit of variety in here. I mean, I like I like the fact my that Quaxley, uh, sorry, Thick Duck 
get a flying type attack because you know it's got wings even though it's not a flyer just it, it gives it an answer to grass types it means it's got something it can do to grass types that i like so that's actually kind of cool love this the rendezvous pokemon during spawning season countless love this congregated coral reefs turning the waters pink don't ask how um <laughs> uh no it's it's ter I, how dare you how dare you Look at those stats. How dare you? Get out of here. Like, I, never darken my doors again. You trash fire. What is that down there, by the way? No, seriously, what is that? Hey, buddies. Is that another quillfish? That's a shelter. Did I, I thought I saw something in the distance. Did I see a whalema? At some point. I thought I saw a whalema. That's just another salt Pokemon. Magikarp, probably Quillfish, times two. More Shelters. More Wattrels, more Magikarps. That's probably more Shelters. This might be a time of day thing. Possibly during the day, different Pokemon will appear. I could have sworn I just saw a Whalema. Huh. Alright, fair. I'm just going just gonna to go back and forth a little bit here. See if I can locate the... Hello? Hi, buddy. Do you want to come over here, bud? What is that? That's not a whelmer. What are you? Okay, there's something here. I love how magic ups here just get stuck in the shallows. Because they're so useless. I love them. you got you, you to gotta love that. you got to love them so much. It's, oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Wait. Wait. What are you? Are you a... Oh, is it dolphin? Are you new? Hi, buddy. Oh, you're cute. Innocent. He's very... Okay, you know what? You're cute, buddy. Would you like... You know what? Let's see what fate has to say he's about cute this. He's cute and, he, uh, and he's a dolphin. And dolphins are, you know, uh, violent fuckers. So. That's true. All right, let's electrocute him until he's willing to work for me. Uh, that's astonished. Also, I love how when Pokemon are in water, the effect looks terrible. Yeah. Uh, the, the effect is just so bad in water. Like, it's supposed to, I don't know if it's supposed to like a distortion or something, but when Pokeballs fall into water, they have this weird double effect on them that makes no sense at all. So, okay, Finison. Not to be confused with Finion, uh, which is an unrelated fish Pokemon. I just got some Finison mucus. Oh, love it. Love mucus. So, dolphin or water. It's watering is made from seawater mixed with a sticky fluid that he secretes from his blowhole. I don't like it anymore. I don't like the sticky fluid it secretes from its blowhole. That's, that's, no part of that sentence makes me happy. Um, so okay. What's your deal, buddy? Attack up, defend, you know what, that's not, it's, it's in the realm of possibility. But then again, I've, I've got Quaxley. Do I want this? I've got Quaxley. You can go to the box. I feel like, you know what? You're cute. We'll revisit, like, if we need, like, you know, more water Pokemon down the line, we'll revisit you. But I feel like we've we've got what we uh, what we wanted there. Magic up doing a big flip. Love it. That's a, oh, hang on. Is that a, that might be a Floatzel there, but no. Oh, wait, is it a Floatzel or is that a Buizel? No, it's just a Buizel. Though I'm guessing this is supposed to be like, is this supposed to be like the American pronunciation of, like, Buoy Weasel, like Buoy, like Buizel, because I was I was trying to like Weasel and Boy, but like that doesn't work so well. Like Boy Boy Weasel doesn't really work. So I assume this is supposed to be the American pronunciation of uh, like Buoy, uh, which I believe is how Americans pronounce we what we would call a boy. But I think in American it's Buoy. Am I right? I think that's correct, but neither of those make any sense. That word is silly. Okay, what how would the French what would the French say then? I mean, I think Bue, but like, it's actually written like... It's oh, I love how this happens, ones. by the way. Sometimes when the camera turns and you move, the, the earth just shifts like it's breathing. You see that in the, the texture over there? Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's Te creepy. Textures just sort of, like, the, the, like the, your, your, it turns in like, you know, when, when, the, when the theme song says, We all live in a poker. No, we live on a Pokemon world. It turns out the entire world was one single Earth-type poker, ground-type Pokemon. Oh, that'd be a fucking good twist. If it turns out the entire planet is one ground-type Pokemon this whole time. And, like, you know, the, the new team, you know, team shit or whatever their name is. Their plan is to craft a big enough Pokeball to catch the entire world. Oh, 
Why am I not writing Pokemon games? That's a fucking amazing plot. Also, does this game have God Rays? How the fuck do you have to, How do you have aspirations to God Rays? Have you seen the level of... Oh, I just walked into a top song. <laughs> how on earth? Oh, oh he's so mad! I just stamped, so I just stamped on a baby. <laughs> it's pissed off. This game sort of has, I think this, I think this has a game, this game has like fake god race. Just such a dumb thing for a game that looks this ugly to try and fake. It's That's marvelous. That's genius. That's an amazing plot. Torterra's all the way down. Yeah. Uh, giant sea turtle Pokemon. Yeah. Spoiler for it, the next why, why, why am I not being asked to write Pokemon games? That's that's the plot I'd write. That it turns out the entire world is one single Pokemon. All right. The world is Gigantamax Torterra. Yeah. Actually, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go check the beach again now. It's daytime. See if anything different shows up in the day. You can just, you can just toss yourself off cliffs. And it doesn't matter. Just see if anything else shows up. So there's 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 the same quillfish. I think I saw like a, a pod of the finnesons out in the water, but they didn't get close enough for me to do anything with them. No, it looks about the same. And there's that. Wait, is that a love desk? I was really excited for a second. I thought I might have seen, um, like an octo. What are they called? Um, what the remoraids evolve into? Because I always get bar brooches and remoraids the wrong way around. And I like remoraid because octillery. That said, I love octillery. Octillery's great. Oh, uh, Octillery is the best. I had an Octillery in my team in my very first Silver playthrough. I went for Octillery. Octillery was um, just beautiful. I mean, what's that? What's that? Oh, it's just a shelter. It's just a shelter. That's fine. Okay, I think it's probably time for me to go back to the Pokemon Center and also buy some more stuff. So, okay, we've got some good stuff over, good stuff over here. I think we've checked out this entire region right now. So I'm going to, yeah, go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and buy some balls. Desperately need balls. And I think Pokeballs aren't cutting it anymore. Pokeballs are not doing the flipping job at this point. We need we need something else. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Amanda, who gave us $20 uh, and says, Happy Turkey Day! I've been cooking this morning turkey mashed potatoes, cinnamon buns, pumpkin pie, green bean casserole, and sweet potato casserole. And that's a small meal. Lol. Wow. Love you guys and give Teddy extra love. We love Teddy is flopped <laughs> out next to us asleep on a couch. Uh, he is yet to do any appalling, terrible farts. Which, for which we are... That's what we're truly thankful for. That Teddy hasn't farted yet this stream. That's, I'm actually thankful for him. With, you know what we are, actually. If we're, if we're going to do the, the thankful Thanksgiving thing... And then, as a result of that, I think we are thankful for Teddy. I think that's and, true. And, and we are thankful for animal charities in general. Can I just pay with LP? How much does it cost in LP? Whoa! That was a lot of LP I just gave away. Oh, never mind. Okay, it's the same <laughs> in LP as it is in money. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, blimey. Okay, uh, that's... that's. I bloody well deserve those balls on the house. Thank you. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna just get some more revives too. Oh Those God. I'll pay with. Oh, you know what? I get more LP for just looking in, just peeking into all the things. Uh, LP main. Yeah, we've agreed. Teddy, by the way, is a normal poison type. He's normal poison. Is definitely what he is. Because he, he's, he's, you know. He, you well, know. he could have. He could learn some fairy moves. I think he could be. I think he'd be. Yeah, terror type is fairy. Yeah. I think terror type is fairy. So okay, we've got all of these things. That's just a married that's nearby. So yeah, now if I... If what happens now is I go to the tower, I go down one level and then... I love how you actually have to use the map to navigate. And then I just loop around here and then turn up to the right. That should get me to a something with a dragon terror type. Keep going up. Something with an ice terror type. And then see if there's a way to get to the psychic city. Uh, see if that's even possible. Which I'm seeing people are saying it's high level, but fuck you. I've got I've got a ghost. I've got a bird that can get everything down to one hit point, then use quick attack. Alright, I can cheese that gem. I can cheese the fuck out of that gem. It's gonna be fine. Clap. Uh yes, absolutely. Shout out to 42 Mushrooms who gave us five pounds. Uh, and says, John, when you were in Oxford, which was your local G&Ds? And did you have a favourite of their flavour? Maybe there's more than these days. There, there used to only be two. There was the one up in, uh, what's it called, Jericho. And there was the one down in the direction of Christchurch. Uh, and I always went to the one that was closest to Christchurch. 
Um, and they had some truly terrible flavours, thanks to the uh, flavour recommendation system, like port and cheese ice cream. Was, was I remember that one. That one was a mistake that should never have been repeated. But generally, I went for very boring. I, I, I like mint choc chip. Mint choc chip is, is a great, is a great flavour. That's a great one. Uh, yes, indeed. Nope. And, oh, uh, dear. Shout out to Hay, who gave us a hundred Australian dollars. Ooh, thank you very, very much indeed. Excellent dollars. Uh, yes, and Hay says, remember to stay hydrated. I've got a glass of water right here. And to stretch your legs. I'm going to stretch my legs in the direction of Teddy and pet his tummy. Oh, she's not just saying that as a bitch. She, she's doing it. She, well, she... I mean... We're right here. I'm staying in the same room. I'm just going to say hi to the puppy. Hello. That's true. It's okay. I think you are a yeah, dragon type. Now, dragon is one of those ones that's actually kind of interesting. Because, like, a dragon terror type, it doesn't really matter whether you can learn any good dragon moves or not. Dragon is just a good defensive type. But people told me on Twitter, when you terrestrialize into your terror form, you don't lose the stab bonuses. Um, so, that is... Oh, is that that new poison thingy? I'm not keen on the new poison thingy. To be honest, uh, just change over to it's poison. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Fampy, you got this. You're on Fampy. Let's just go kill it. Um, I, I, I'm not keen on that. Like, I, I think I, I've seen its evolve form too because they did like a trailer before the game came out. It's like it's like the graffiti Pokemon, isn't it? I was not keen. I, I wasn't big on that to be honest. So I feel like, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm happy just to kill this for the um. The league points, which I just gave away. I will say the dragon hat is pretty cool, because obviously that the important thing about terror types is they have ha they have fancy hats. It's just very important that you have a really fancy hat. You know what the worst one is? It's the ground hat that's like the layers of the crust of the earth. That looks terrible. That looks really terrible. Also, I always forget you have to. You're supposed to be targeting its actual. Like, it's, it's, like, it's, it's terror type, not its normal type. So there's no point going for, you know what, Fampy will be fine. Fampy can take anything this idiot throws to it. So we're just going to kill this thing. It's absolutely fine. It's true all. And yeah, it becomes like a graffiti Pokemon. But I don't know if it's just like, it's like a sentient gas mask. And I'm not keen on that. I, 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 I'm just not keen. Not keen on you. So we're just going to kill it and let it go. So I, I caught like a base one. Like, way back in the starting era. There's one, like, outside, uh, Mesagoza. Clap. Uh, yes. Shout out to, uh, shout out to Jay, who gave us 10 Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, Artisan is the best town. You'll absolutely love the vibe. Very, quote, unquote, sunny. Ooh. Winky face. Okay. Nice. Oh, Ted is awake and doing a big stretch. He can fill up an entire sofa by himself. It's his superpower. If he stretches, yeah. obviously. So, all right. We got rid of that. I think there's another one around the corner. I assume it's weird. Yeah, kind of following the path that feels like it leads towards the Psychic City. At some point, the Pokemon around you are going to start getting nastier. And if there's a nasty Pokemon of a high level that decides when it sees you, it's just going for you. We could run into some trouble. Never been up this way before, so whatever that is, we'll leave it. Just check we're not missing anything. Also, keep it on the trees. I still want a cocking slack off. All right. And if I don't see any at any point, we might need to go and, uh, yeah, get the first Titan Pokemon in order to get a slack off. Because 100% slack off's going in the team. All right. Slaking is, I guess, I guess it's supposed to be slacking. But, like, there's no C and it bothers me. I've always pronounced Slaking's name as Slaking. All right. So, it's, 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 it's part of my ongoing... That. There's a fancy thing over there, and I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, well, so far this all looks... Yeah, level 19. So this is all manageable. Pigs, and that's just a go-goat, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a go-goat. Oh, that's adorable, though. Uh, I'm, I'm not keen on I think it's a normal grass. Yeah, I'm it has big... to be pretty shit for you to not like a goat. I don't know. I just, I just, don't, I just don't feel the design, to be honest. It just, it just doesn't do it for me. And there we go. We're now up here. That's the town, the olive town with the schmolives that we uh, came from originally. So, okay, we've also got... Is this a dead end? Ah, it might be. Or maybe you need, like, the, like, climby... Well, there's also... There's a path behind you, you daft... Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, ice type. That is a... Ice type starling. Interesting. Uh, change Pokemon. Go over to Grieveyard. 
Because Grieveyard is... Yeah, you've got the fire type attacks. Uh, so Grieveyard, you're going in. Challenge alone. And there we go. Just bring in some extra people. We will just bite that ah, Starly. Ah, Skiddo, not Go-Goat. Oh, Skiddo. Wait, what's Go-Goat? Did I just make up Go-Goat? Does Go-Goat even the exist? Of Skiddo. Huh? If... Maybe it evolves if into Skiddo go -Goat. is a kid, then wouldn't Goat be the evolution of the kid? You know what? That logically makes sense. Now, I've not actually seen... An... Oh, you know what? I like the ice hat. I think the electric one's my favourite. I think the light bulb is my favourite. I think that's pretty good. Um, but, like, the... That's quite an elegant hat. That's like a crown. That one's quite good. Like a diadem. Yeah. Quite like that. So we're just going to hit it with the fire bang. And that should have... Oh, yeah. It's going to collapse in a second. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, 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 let me see. Oh, shout out to the game Deprived Dad, who uh, has been a member for seven months and says, uh, good evening to you both. I hope you're well. Uh, tough couple of days, so this stream is what I needed. Thank you so much, John and Claire, for all that you do, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys, too. We're yes. thankful for you guys. We are thankful for you guys. You, you, you... Claire was very slow on that one. Well, no, you said it in, like, a, a, a voice. I probably just get, I don't know, I probably said, I, I had to, I did like five hours of recording for that day straight to a stream. My voice is probably not doing the best. Aww, Thanks for drawing you. attention to it, you monster. There we go. Uh, oh, has John seen the fairy hat yet? It's my personal favourite. Uh, which one's the fairy hat? I don't know if I have now. And by the way, I did see the, um, the little electric tadpole. Uh, I think it's super cute that they are like, like a light bulb tadpole. That's super cute, but I've already got one. And mm. I've seen the evolved form. Oh, Dragon Claw. Nice. Okay. So I'm guessing there's all right. Just ignore you. Like I, I don't like the the big the big bellied frog it evolves into. That I'm not so keen on. Keep it on the water, by the way, in case there's anything else you want to. So there are the Psyducks everywhere. It's nothing but Psyducks. There's it, it, there's always Psyducks. It's beautiful. Also, am I ever going to come back here again? How tough are you? Probably not that tough. Because you're up here. You know what? Let's let's battle you. I'm going to battle you because I may never come up here again. So I really hope you're not a really high level. So that, that that's going to be a shame. So we're going to, we're going to fight another trainer. Here we go. You are challenged by Hiker Carla. I really hope she's not that tough. Numel. Oh, I love camera up. Holy shit, it's camera up to this game. Oh, we're looking up where Numel is. You see, this is why I want to fight trainers, because sometimes they'll tell me what's going on. Level 20, that's fine. Start off with just a basic Aerial Ace, and we'll just go from there. He can't use his ground attacks on me. This is going to work out just fine. Uh, and going folks with you, bad call. You're not going to live long enough to take, take advantage of it. Uh, so, okay. We can take you out. That's all absolutely fine. Okay, we're under control in this fight. But, okay. Now, I love camera upped. Holy shit. Camera upped an eruption. So good. So good. And oh, was that your only Pokemon? Oh, that's embarrassing for you. I kind of assumed that was just like your first of several. Okay, hang on. We need to, we need to check where, where Numel is located. It, is, is it in this? Oh, there's also a dragon up there. But that's... Oh, that's the other side. Sometimes you see Pokemon that you can't get to because they're the other side of the water. And it's hard to cross water. Um, okay. Pokedex. Show me that Numel. Show, show me that Numel. Recently battled. Numel. Show it to me. Where is it? Okay, we're, we're not in the right place yet, but if we keep going up, we get to Numel. I love Numel. And it won't appear in the rain. Okay. We, we, need, we, 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 we need to go. We need, we need to find a Numel. Holy shit, I love Numel. Numel Generation 3, originally from like the Magma Path. Numel's so good. And camera up. It's like a volcano camel. It's so good. Oh, we, we have to. Okay, also I can see what's going on up here. So, okay. If I go round the river... And then go in there. That gets me to a deserty area that's the far side of the river from that town. And that gets me up there. But he, yeah, finding the point to cross the river, that's the tricky point. Like, there are very limited crossing points. That is, that's just a toxel. So I love it. Is this a dead end? No, there's, there's this path. It goes further up. We're going to Psychic City! We're going! I feel like possibly we might be about to be hitting a bit of a, a, a dead end. Though there's going to be something good up here. There's got to be something. This rock's hiding something. All right, it's going to be good. It is. It's experience candy extra small. It wasn't that good. I feel like there might not be a way to get to the psychic town this way. 
Um, I'm worried there might not be. We're, we're, I was about to say we're so close. We're not that close. It's clearly on top of this really, really tall thing. And obviously the this is... The map shows bridges. Yes. Yes, it does. See, so there's very few of them. It's my point. Uh, Numel lives in the Asado Desert. Yeah, I think if I, it looked like if I was going up in this direction. So, okay. If I leave town, the, uh, yeah, the Olive Town, and just follow the path through this area... Follow the path gets me to a Pokemon Center, West Province. Then I take a right and start heading upwards. There, there is, there's a sandy area up here. Sandy area nearby to this Titan Pokemon. But this sandy area might be, okay, you know what? Double check that. Double check whether that will be an acceptable spot for a new Malefit Sunny. I love this new Pokedex and the new, new open map and what it means. I love it. I love it so, so much. Um, new Mal. Are you in that region? No, I think it... Actually, maybe. If you go right to the end, I think that might be acceptable. Uh, Random Ninja says you've got to go all the way around the ocean side on the bridges to get to Psychic Town. Well, again, we say this, but what happens if I just bunny hop backwards up the cliff? Let's Bethesda it! Woo! Boop, boop. Everything's going to be fine. We're just going to Bethesda our way into this. Okay, just drop down to here. Is this, is, have I been here before? Is this where I've been to before? There's, oh, yeah, there's you little guys, little flowery guys. Oh, hang on. There's something going on over in this spot, in this bit of the world. That's just a Tarantula. There's a Ryulu. I'm going to be honest. Even though he's super badass, I have never been into Lucario. I, I, I'm not a super Lucario fan. And that's that's going to shock some people. That's going to get me cancelled. Uh, but I, I'm not super into Lucario. At all. So I, I, I can take or leave a Ryulu. I, I just don't think they're that interesting. That's 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 controversial take right there. Right, drop it down to over here. Because my phone has got a jetpack built in. Which is very bloody convenient. So okay, this is if I keep going straight on. Wait, hang on. Where am I now? Check this path I'm on right now. Hang on, this path is... That's if I went this way. But if I go this way... That's going to bring me to... This is like this is actually a dead end. This might actually bring me to... Okay, hang on. This is interesting. Hop on the bike. If I just keep going this way, ignore Skiddo, and go go to whatnot. But if I just keep following this path, it feels like I get into a new dead end Hold area. On, was that a shiny that you missed or was it seasonally colored? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what I also don't even know. I don't even know what Pokemon oh. it was. No. Also, I think I just ran into a, 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 a Fletchinder. Uh, yeah, a Fletchinder. No, we don't. I don't care about you. Bye. I'm faster than you. Naff off. It's all under control. I'm just going to follow this path and see what's going on at the end of it. Because I think if I just follow this path and don't drop down, then I... Yeah, if I cut through the mountains here, it looks like... Yeah, West Province... Oh, Mankey! 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 I love Mankey! Mankey's a cocky great! I love Mankeys! Ah! Mankey! 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 It's hidden behind the thing! Not anymore, it's not! Oh! Mankeys! Yes, I love Mankey! It just suddenly became day for no reason! Now it became night again! Oh, the light doesn't work properly! Yes! This is like a Sims 4 house with a wall missing. Is it, is it if I, like, do a particular attack? Okay, just toss a Pokeball. Come on, Mankey. If you, 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 you. Now, now it's sunny again. The sun came back. It's great. Yes, Mankey. You better be, you better have a good nature. Fate. You you behave, fate. All right, I love Mankey. Mankey, Primate's such a cool Pokemon. Just, I've, uh, some of its fur fell off, too. Pig Monkey. Yes, quick to anger. Thrashing away the next. Don't want to give it a nickname yet. Show me the summary. You, you just want to tack up. Defense down, special defense up. I'm sorry, that that's well, a no. Well, John, uh, you do have plenty of them, so maybe you could catch them and see if fate can be persuaded to give you one that you like. Okay, but who would I kick out of the team for a mankey? Like, it clearly, Quaxwell's going towards being a fighting type. And, like... Did a monkey? That that monkey just wanted to get in your pants. That did that monkey? That monkey did just literally go in my pants. Yes, <laughs> that's that's of of that. Yes, 
That I happened. mean, that is what happened. Yeah, that Mankey just was was Catch just. Catch more. <laughs> oh, Mankey gets a third evolution. I heard it picked up a new evolution, and Primate was already not terrible, mm. to be honest. Like I'm, I'm, I'm into this. I'm, also, this this light glitch keeps happening. This is great. This... Yeah, that mountain, uh, Levita Tingota says that mountain seems to act like uh, the buildings, and sometimes just not render it if you don't look at it. Nice. That rock rough just did the same thing. That rock rough just ran into me and then then it disappeared. Okay, we we okay. We're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna try gonna try a handful handful more mankeys. I just killed one mankey, admittedly. But come back, mankey. No mankey. Mankey, come back. Mankey, mankey. Go mankey. I think it turned around. I probably don't get the surprise tag there, but that's absolutely fine. I mean, when I also if I get like an Eevee, then oh hang on, what? Oh whoa whoa whoa. Is that? Oh, these are no. It's rock rough. Oh, for a second, I thought I thought I saw a flipping. Uh, I thought I saw an Eevee in the background. I was very excited. Uh, also, what is your favorite evolution? Like of all Pokemon ever? Your favorite evolution? Oh, uh, Jolteon, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'd have to say Jolteon. I think Jolteon's really cool. Just go for a basic head, but it should be able to take that. Ah, you can't kick me. I'm a ghost. Yeah, that's right. I'm resistant to all that bullshit. There we go. I wouldn't mind a Teddy Ursa. A te I, I think Teddy Ursa is quite a long way away from where I am. You know what? You're in level 50 and I've caught one of you before. I swear there's a mechanic in this game where once you've caught one Pokemon of a particular nature, it's way easier to catch the next. I swear that's true. So we're just going to... Uh, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. Use up the remaining Pokeballs on the Mankeys. Clap! I think probably Flareon or Umbreon would be mine, but just on how they look, not yeah. on, like how they play. Esp I like Espeon. I really don't like Leafeon or Glaceon, uh, and I, I don't. Like, I'm not. I'm not a fan of them. I think. I think Jolteon's my favorite. I think Espeon's really cool too. Mm. Okay, come on. Let's let's let's. We're, we're going to give Fate a helping hand here. Going to give Fate a yes, Adamant. Adamant. Woo! This Pokemon is angered when it takes critical hit that maxes it maxes its attack stats. Wow. Well, the chance to take a critical hit's very low. Fuck it. Welcome aboard, Mankey. Uh, okay, who's getting boosted out? I mean, I, I kind of, I, I kind of feel like Fluffy. You were saying. I feel like Fluffy was just waiting to get kicked out anyway. To be honest, I feel like Fluffy hasn't been pulling that. Yep, fuck you. And also, it has it has a silk scarf. Yeah, we'll take the silk silk scarf back. Place the item in my bag. Uh, yeah, we'll take that back. Oh yes, monkey, 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 uh, monkey. Adamankey. Adamankey. Love it. Uh, and let's see. Uh, we've got a message from Andy, uh, who wants you to rate the, his pun nickname for uh, uh, a Fido evolution. Uh, yes. Brio Chian. Not Brio bad. Chian. I, I was thinking it was going to be thoroughbred or something of that nature, oh, yeah. but I think it I think it turned out to be like that. It's like a dash. It's like a dashy pun, but I can't remember what it is at the top of my head. I've not seen it yet. This mountain is glitchy as flip. Okay, uh, rock roughs apparently just come and bite you in the ankles, so that's fine. My manky should be able to handle this. My manky has got low kick, um, which should yeah do pretty well. So this this should be leveling up nice and fast. Rocks, I think rocks are not rocks are not very effective. Also, does Seismic Toss still have the most over-the-top animation in the entire game? Because Seismic Toss has traditionally had one of the most ridiculously over-the-top animations going. So I'm kind of hoping Seismic Toss is still dumb as shit. So okay, here we go. Seismic Toss and <laughs> he's turned that dog into a planet and then tossed the so dumb. I oh, love that's it. what they want to do to the giant earth Pokemon! Yeah, there we go. It's 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 a thing. So wait, which am I going now? Now I'm going Oh yeah, this is the way I wanted to go. This is yeah. this is the way I wanted to go. Just straight up this way. It looks like there's something going on up here. That's just the salt Pokemon. There's more Rockcrofts. Rockcrofts are just one of the Pokemon that just decides to go for you. Just because that's that's just their thing. And yeah, it looks like there's a big open area. Right here, bug type, rock rough, fampy. Seen all you guys before. Just eyes open for anything new around here. Because I feel like this area doesn't get hard to get to. Like, you can't get through it that way. And you can't get up to it this way. Which suggests to me there's going to be something special in here that's not elsewhere. So I'm seeing some of this. Mankeys! Yeah, I've got a mankey too. And that's more rock crofts. 
I do, I just love how you now have to like really carefully look at the grass, try and figure out what's ahead of yeah, you. And actually that you is... look through the long grass. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Chuck it out. Ah, someone sent me one of those in the mist one of the mystery swaps. It looks like it's, yeah, like a, I think it's a firefighter or something of that nature. Oh, hang on, it's Ted snoring. I think Ted is snoring, but whether we'll be able, you'll be able to uh, hear it uh, absolutely is a question. So, okay, then I can also follow this up. Ah, I can actually follow this up to the top of the path. So, okay, after I've gone here, if I come back down and I turn left, I can follow this around and rejoin the path and actually get the West Province Pokemon Center tagged right now, which is pretty good. But I just, I feel like there's got to be something up here. This feels, yeah, Primeape! Primeape, 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 level 35. Probably going to murder me. Where are the spoinks? You bastards. I want the spoinks. There's... Nah, it's not a spoink. So, okay. What's up here is the high-level Mankey variant. If you want to go straight for a level 35... Uh, level 35 Primeape, if that's what you want. I I can't do that. There's Endure. I think I've already got one of those. So, all right. It's just a, but it's just a Primeape. This is just where the Primeapes live. But it's so weird to me there's a Grumpig that I know where it is. And it doesn't have spoinks living around it. Like, surely that's the whole point. But okay, just got to find, if I could sneak upon some rock crufts, I wouldn't mind, yeah, just annihilating some of them. Are you a rock cruff? What, for XP? Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't mind just leveling up my manky a tiny bit while I just move in that direction and rejoin the path up there. Uh, Class! Next Jenner says, uh, spoinks were really early on, you should have seen them already. I didn't see a spoink. I've never seen a spoink, and maybe I was just wrong type of day or wrong weather or something. I have not seen a single spoink, and I've gone around the early areas, like, pretty thoroughly, actually. Mm. So I do not know where the spoinks are. Yeah, uh, shout out to Daxter as well, who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much, Daxter. Uh, and Daxter says, uh, I'm on a long drive that I was dreading. Listening to the stream is making it all okay. Thank you. Oh. Well, I hope your drive is going okay. Yes, hope, please I, drive safely. I hope and that, carefully. Yes, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're glad that we can help in whatever way. Yes. Um, by talking about silly pocket monsters. Sadly, it doesn't seem like there's too much exciting going on on this on this route. Though possibly there's a yeah some there's, there's some yeah there seem to be some spots just like guaranteed fixed spots for terror Pokemon to spawn and that is like a terror weasel thing. that's a sleeping psyduck and that's a yeah oh, that's, that's a terrible so weasel cute. that's a terrible weasel so we do not need a terrible weasel that is most definitely not necessary just watch out for little bug types little grasshopper so okay we've now rejoined up the road that's at the end of the area that's just beyond small if town though i admit i kept my i did kind of take my eye a bit off the prize when it came to the water so it's possible oh, hello well, ah, what are you? There's a there's, there's a little tiny thing in it. It wants to fuck me up. Hey, buddy. The fuck are you? Looks okay. like a mean alien bird. Hey, this is a tiny capsa kid. It's like a tiny bird that's like not been hatched or something. Hey, I'm screwed. What's going on with you? Oh, if it's a bird, I should not have sent manky out against it. What on earth? What? What is it? Why, why is it so fighty? All right, whatever it is, give it a go. Hey, buddy. Raise. Oh, grass type. Critical hit grass type. Shame that didn't he, he didn't survive that. Because if he had, he would have just got maxed out attack, which is nice. Um, okay. Grass type, apparently. Uh, go for two. You know what? My Shmoliv can take care of that. Shmoliv, I choose you! Okay, that's a pepper Pokemon. Caps a kid, like Capsicin. I have no idea what Capsicin is. It's just uh, what the Americans call a bell pepper, a sweet pepper. Oh, okay. Um, Did I just kill it? Oh, I just killed it. Well, it, it starts to. It evolves into a fire grass type. That, what, like it's got like a like a hot pepper? That's like... Yeah. That's weird. G grass fire type. That's very peculiar. I'm not sure I approve Caps of that. Capsa kid. Like capsaicin is a pepper, yeah. That's that's yeah. I would not have got that if you hadn't told me. Uh, so okay, apparently if I go this way, there should be a. I mean, I only know that because I started growing stuff, and then you hear American like. Uh, oh, because yeah, on YouTube they yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Talking about capsaicin. 
Okay, Mankey, can you take on whatever this uh, person's going to be throwing at you? Can you deal with a trainer Oh, right maybe now? I'm wrong. Apparently oh. I'm wrong. Capsaicin is the chemical that makes peppers spicy. Uh. Well, alright then. Sorry, guys. Alright, we've got a stoner. Stoner wants to battle. And sending out a oh, Fungus. Oh, okay. Uh, Capsaicid uh, evolves into Scoville'n. And Scoville is the unit of measurement for the hotness of peppers. That's quite a, okay. That's a fun name. That's a really I, good I, one. I will give you that's a fun name. So cover lets you steal an item. Fury swipes is just yeah, not bad at all. Uh, fighting suit. This is a grass type. Is it pure grass? Wait, is fighting not very effective against grass? But then again, I think low kick's more effective against. Yeah, I'm going to just go for the fury swipes, uh, and we're going to hope we're not stuck on. We don't just get two. Hopefully, we can go up to like, come on five. Yes, three. Come on four. Let's go into the fives. Ah, oh, you got hit by effects ball. Keep scratching anyway. You have to keep scratching? Yes, you are! Keep going. Four times. That's that. It's more likely to be two or three than four. Or at least it used to be. It used to be more likely. Yeah, two and three were equal chance, and four and five were less likely. Uh, which was always good. And now I'm taking poison damage, but that's fine. Uh, I don't think it's going to be able to kill me in one hit. Let's try a low kick. I can't remember whether fighting is super effective or, like, not. No, super is not very effective oh, against nice. you. Uh, so somebody, yeah, make it break Somebody first. pointed out. Uh, in Wait, critical hit! Holy shit! I think it's about to happen. I think I'm about to just. Uh, if I'm hit by a critical hit, then anger point. My attack, my my attack just goes to plus six. Uh, now I just need to land the next hit, and then I win. So come on, come on, Maggie! Don't don't miss. Do not miss, you bastards. You absolute fuckface. Oh my goodness. Okay, but you get another chance. You get another chance to not ruin this. Banky, you have one job, which is to get hit by a critical hit and then attack. You you win this. You absolute bastard. Come on. Let's go. Fury swipe. Oh, oh. yeah. Maxed out attack. Maxed out attack. Oh, it's poison. Okay, it's poisoner. Fair enough. Right. Okay, uh, some people in chat pointing out that uh, they, this uh, stoner Pokemon trainer sent out a magic mushroom. Lol. Okay. So there we go. Every it all worked out. We actually got to do we got to see Mankey's new ability in action. Let me see, Mankeys are so not defensive, it's gonna be quite difficult for them to uh, survive a critical hit under many circumstances. More rock craft thing, we just need to what do you ask oh, that little bug thing? Okay, well, there's a Pokemon Center right here. And once you've been to a Pokemon Center, you can fast travel back there anytime you want to. So that's fine. So now we've got a fast travel point, like at the path. And if we want to get Numal, that's what we need to do. So, all right, we've also got... Oh, hello. Oh, that's a Mudbray. Mudbray. Mudbray's got a really fun ability, which is every time they take damage, their defense goes up. So, like, if they if you get them lined up against a physical attacker, they just become monsters, which is kind of fun. But I don't really like the design. I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm not super keen on the design of Mudbrays. So I feel like that's that's not not for me. Not for me, unfortunately. Right, we've been here, we've healed up the team. This is in fact, you know what? I am sitting on 10 bajillion um XP candy. Like the whole point of that is to let you catch Pokemon up nice and quickly. I feel like I could just yeah use some of that. Let's, let's get Mankey set up. Let's get Mankey set up right. Uh, you know, you can you can craft new TMs anytime you want to. Uh, so, okay, Mankey. Check your summary. Go into your move things, and let's get your moves rearranged. Because, obviously, low kick's like your main attack. And, like, I feel like, yeah, the if an attack's like a support thing, it should be, like, in position 4. Your main attack should be position 1. That's how I like arranging my moves. So, that's, that's what that should be. But also... You may rem you may possibly have older moves like uh, yeah focus energy Leah scratch. Would I rather have scratch than covert? Like I'm I'm not convinced by covert. I'm not convinced by covert. Then again, focus energy is interesting. I'd I mean, rather have focus energy than cover, to be honest. The monkey doesn't really stri uh, strike me as a Pokemon that's like, you know. I don't know, like, does meditation in yeah. order to get better. That's quite a funny image. I, I think it is. I think you're being very rude. Mm -hmm. uh, right, let's check the let's check the TM, see if there's anything in here that might be of interest to... So that's Protect. Ice Fang, it can't have. It already has Low Kick. Uh, thief is... You know what? Thief, thief is Physical 60. 
mm. which is actually not bad. Yeah, you know, I always thought was Thief. I think Thief used to be forty, but physical mm. sixty with guaranteed hit is well not guaranteed, but one hundred percent accuracy at least. Uh, it's I have not a bad. question. Yes. Um, you know when it, it says to you like, oh, Pokemon like Pokemon above a certain level won't listen to you. Yes. Is that like your ones you trained, or is that just? It like... used to be just Pokemon you inherited from like you tra you traded for, but I think these days it might be everyone. Mm. It could theoretically be everyone. So okay, you can't have Dragon Claw. Yeah. So like you need to be careful how much you level up the main. Key. Exactly. Well, I need to be careful how much I level up anything, to be honest. Yeah. But I think I can well, go. Well, you were saying the manky. I can go up to twenty-five. I can go up to twenty-five right now. Mm -hmm. So okay, what I could give him is I could give him Rock Tomb, so he's got Rock Coverage, and I can give him Thief. But before I do that, I'm going to check how easily I can make those because I, I really think this system of TMs is this is the best it's ever been. The fact TMs are back to being one use only. I thought it was too generous that they were infinite usage, but one use only. But you can craft more. If you just get the right that's materials, nice I think that's a really good balance. To, like, learn it I think everything. that's a solid balance, and yeah. you need to find the first one before you can craft more. Yeah, it's every Pokemon who won't listen to you nowadays. So the thief... train caught and traded. So Shrewdle and Houndor, that's really easy to make. Um, so I could get more of that really easy. So I'd be happy to give Mankey Thief, which kind of like feels like a more appropriate thing than Covert, to be honest. And I think we can do without oh, Rock Tomb. Yeah. Okay, so I've got conflicting theories in, in chat, but uh, we've got a couple of people saying actually it depends on the level at which you catch the Pokemon. Oh. You can level Pokemon as high as you want as long as they're caught below the badge cap. Oh, okay. Con controversial con yeah. conflict evidence here. I'm going to give Mankey Thief. I think Mankey's a great candidate Every for Thief. Every Pokemon you catch uh, under level 20 without any badge will obey you forever, even if you ground it to level 100 without any badge. Interesting. Okay. I guess it's to stop you just going into a high level area and just getting lucky on a really high level Pokemon and then using that to sweep the rest of the game in that case. Yeah. That kind of makes more sense. And then, you know, it's also probably to avoid something like happened to you. Someone randomly gave you a level 35 Pokemon in Yeah, so it won't, yeah, so it won't forget, yeah, it won't obey me until I've got the relevant badge now. Yeah, yeah you know what, I think that, that seems like a f decent balance to me. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give Thief to Mankey because he used to have covered. So he used to just kind of politely beg for an item and then steal it. But now he just goes up and flipping punches them and takes the item. And it gives him, yeah, dark is good coverage for, for Mankey. Because it means he's got coverage against psychics. So that's actually, I think, quite good for him. And now if I want to, I can, yeah, go, I can go, get, I can get back here. There's also by the Luxi of it. Yeah, it looks like I can get up here. So I'm just going to explore the upper area. The map is actually really quite well designed. I think this map is really good. John, what did you just say? Okay, go into the bag. Go into the bag. You have so much XP candy. Um, which you get from doing various bits and pieces. Uh, I think that's in other items. 67 XP candy excesses. Let's, let's use this item on Mankey. Let's give him 20 and see what happens. That's 2,000. 15 up to 18. So that's fine. Monster learn. Swagger! Oh, swagger. Hilarious move. Absolutely cocky hilarious. So, yes, makes, the, makes your enemy hit much harder. But also makes them confused. So they're likely to hit themselves. So if you use it on a special attacker, they gain no benefit from the increased attack stat. But can punch themselves in the face really hard. Nice. It's kind of hilarious. I'm getting rid of Fury Swipes for that. It's too unreliable. Uh, that's that's just so fun to use against a uh, against a, a special attacker. And you know what? I think we're going to use another 20, which will probably get him to about 21. Then he'll be about the same as the rest of the team, give or take. So that's be 19 and not quite 20. You know what? Have have another have another like five. Let's get you over the line. There we go. Now you're 20. That feels about right to me. Now I feel like everyone's everyone's on a roughly level playing field at this point. So that's... Okay, just, 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 just maybe like, just like... Like two. Yeah! Wait, 21? Oh, that was much bigger than I expected. So small is a big step up from extra small, apparently. Because like two of those just got me from 90 to 20... How much does one? I'm just going to use one. I'm going to use one candy M on Griefyard. One. 
Right. Those that, that's that's a lot. That's okay. So Graveyard is is now level twenty three. Okay. Ca careful of that then. Careful of that. And Swagger oh, hang on. had to be nerfed in the past because it was so good. Oh, Arvin's giving me a call. Yo, John, you seem to like the. From what I gather, seems the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. There are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain too. It's going to be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging them. I think you'd be sent flying if you get hit by a boulder. Maybe you can power your way through. It's that brute. Okay, I, I think I'm accidentally approaching like one of the titan Pokemon. Which isn't what I really wanted to do, to be honest. I'm, I'm just here to investigate, catch Pokemon and... Oh, that's... Sorry. I thought that was the Pokemon doing that. But no, that there's there's like a... Well, there was, but then it disappeared. Uh, there's like a... Uh, yeah, like a wind turbine up on this mountain. There's more Mankeys, which is fine. That is... That's just a bug type, which is A-OK. -okay. And then, yeah, if I go down this way, past Skiddo... You know what? Just occasionally this game's quite pretty. It's quite a nice view with all the towns in the distance. I like I like it when you get all the towns in the distance. That's always nice. I need sidekicks. I need an area with loads of sidekicks so my manky could just go and flipping. Oh, speak of the devil, speak of the devil, speak of the devil. Yeah, we can use dark type attacks to just murder gas. How does gas look this bad? Gassy looks so terrible. It's so dumb. I do not understand how ghastly looks this bad, but ghastly looks so bad. Uh, like, I swear gas looked better on the N64. I swear, N64. Maybe it's the same as the N64 version. It's not impossible, you know. It could be the bloody same model as the N64. It looks bad. Like, I don't know. Also, I don't know why they didn't go for cell shading. Like, why is a Pokemon game never said, hey, let's go cell shaded? And, like, you know, as a result, look like the anime series. That, that seems like the sensible thing to do to me. I just, I just feel like that that would be a very sensible thing to do. But they just have... Oh! I think that's... Is that a shiny mud spray? Yeah, it looks like it. I think that's a shiny mud spray. Okay, let's let's see who's going up against shiny mud spray. Shiny number two. Quaxwell, you're up. We've now got no way to paralyze this thing. But we're going. We've got shiny number two. This is... Oh, I mean... I mean, I was saying I wasn't convinced by Mudbray, but I was saying they were powerhouses. If we, if this is a really good Mudbray, I could be tempted. I could be real tempted. Yeah, just use a really good, a really big Pokeball now, because... That was a really interesting insight into your understanding of Pokemon. Use a big Pokeball. A really good Pokeball. You said big. You, 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 your mind immediately went, big balls are better. That's, that, <laughs> okay. that's an insight into class, brain, everybody. Well, great. no, I'm sorry, great and ultra? Uh-huh. Or like, oh, okay. Are, are not words you typically associate with balls outside of Pokemon. All right, nice, easy catch. I didn't kill it. It's fine. And now, okay, let's look at this thing. Let's look at this thing. This, this, is this, this, this was our... She said, good, careful, John. <laughs> I'm sure she said, oh, no, wait. Did I just reveal more about myself by saying I heard big balls when he didn't even say that? Oh, no. Mudbray is plenty strong. Its pace has changed, but it's only with 50 times its body weight. No nickname, but let's look at this thing. Let's look at this thing. Oh, I hate neutral Pokemon. No. Well, we're going to have to look for... Uh... And its own tempo, not the one that gives you bonus defense. That's the bad ability. Uh, I'm so sorry. It, it, I've Go looked... to the shiny box. Make a shiny box. You for... know what? Fair enough. We should have a shiny box. That is fair. There should be a special box. God for... damn it, John. <laughs> uh, shiny box. Shiny box does whatever a shiny box does. Uh, you are the shiny diglet. So, yep. So, uh, yeah. Move you to box. Maybe box seven. Yeah. Do we really only get eight boxes? This feels like not enough. Like, how many is this? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, that's only five. That's 30. That's six times five is 30. And then 30 times 8, 3 times 8 is uh, 24. Add a 0, 240. That's only 240 in the whole... But there's 400 Pokemon! Well, I guess some of them, like, evolve. What into... about all boxes down there? I really hope there's more boxes than just these 8. Oh, thank goodness! Wait, no. No, it's just 8! 
holy shit, what, we need more box. How do you, there better be an upgrade for more boxes and I better not be being sold at Nintendo. What, what, what? what? You get more boxes as they fill up. Oh, you thank God. You get more after you beat the story. Okay, well, thank goodness. So, okay, we've got shiny Hoppip and shiny Mud Spray, but own tempo's a bad ability and it's, I, I hate neutral. Pokemon. Oh, if you add one Pokemon to each box, you'll get more boxes. Oh, okay. Well, then we don't need to do that in that case. Yeah. Uh, and yes, you have uh, ability uh, capsules as well that you can buy. So you can fix that uh, mud bray if you want later. Yes. But uh, you know what? I, I, I trust in fate, except on occasions where I say, fuck fate, we're going to make this work. I forgot to reset. Oh, you know what? I quite like that pose. I quite like that bat. He is seriously thick. And also, it kind of looks like he's got, like, like three buttocks. It's like it's like a super thick duck with three buttocks. It's what's happening. It's not my fault. It's just a super thick duck with, with three buttocks. That's what's happening. All right. It's, it's, just, it's just the truth. So, all right. If we go to the end over... Here, does this... Ah! If I had the ability to ride on water, I'm guessing at this point I could... I could do something a bit more. I could go around the corner a little bit. But yeah, that gets me to up there, which is nice. Then we've got, yes, there's little things right over there. So, okay. There's also... I don't know what this is. There's like a series of little, little turn-offs over in this direction. But okay. I think before we actually go on, we should check this area, which we completely skipped. Please give this arrow. Also, there's an electric thing up there that I missed. And a normal one up here. I kind of... Normal's interesting. <laughs> normal's kind of fun. Uh, okay, don't worry about that. I'm going to check this area because I did, completely did not check this area. So, we're going to go back here. Wait, All right. Don't you... Don't you have a bridge to cross the river right there to go to that area you were just saying? Uh, I need to, yeah. If I hopped down. But I wouldn't mind going to the Pokemon Center just to... Yeah, fair enough. To I mean, I'm pokes. just... I just, want to, I just want to heal up the old pokes and kind of go the intended way. And then we're going to link up with where we are now. Mm. If only you could unlock the ability to ride on water nearby. Well, I don't know where it is. I'm playing this game for the first time. I have no bloody clue. Uh, but it's all going to be fine. All right. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. And then we're going to... We're going to... I wouldn't mind... I'm worried my team's becoming way too physical. By the way. Which is I've got like one special attacker in the team. Everything else is physical. If I want to add Slaking at some point... Who gets booted out for... I mean, presumably Staravia gets booted out for Slaking. Like, that, that's 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 what's happening here. Absolutely. But, like, then I've got... Quagsworth's physical. Um, Slaking's gonna be physical. Fampy, physical. Man, Man Kid's Primate, physical. Grieveyard, physical, but... At some point, I'm probably gonna kick out Grieveyard. Let's be honest. Grieveyard's probably gonna get booted out... At some point, in favor of a, a bigger special attacker. Like, yeah, like, uh, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm kind of on the lookout for a special... Also, Dragon, you just you just spoke in yellow. That normally means something important. Hello? Who are you? Is the game... Hello? Do you have the Pokemon at Flabebe? They carry different flowers. Do you trade me for my Snom? I think Flu Baby is the little flower Pokemon I passed by but didn't bother with. And Snom is cute because it's just a tidy slug. Like a snow slug thing. You know what? Maybe later. Maybe later if I run into one of those. Okay, so yeah. In-game traders, they are in yellow and they just say what they're after. Oh, love people walking in ridiculous slow motion. I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to be leaving town this way. It's this way I'm supposed to be going up there. Though I suspect many of the Pokemon in this next region are going to be the ones I've already seen up there. But I just want to make sure we've not missed anything. Alright, also, don't, don't forget, have a sandwich before we go. Just have a sandwich, because I, I never have these. But you may as well. Uh, oh, new sandwiches. Do you have new sandwiches? We don't have new, don't tell me you've got new sandwiches if you don't have new sandwiches. Right, we're gonna have, gonna, just going to buy a sandwich. Zesty sandwich. Humongo power, experience, point power, encounter... Uh, I wouldn't mind Encounter, Encounter Power Fighting, Encounter Power Electric. I will eat an avocado sandwich. I hate avocado, but I'm going to have it anyway. Encounter Electric. Nom, nom, nom. Pay with cash, please, for my avocado. That thing cost $1,000. 
Jesus Christ, the kid. Yeah, that's why you can never buy, buy a house. Buy a house, yeah! <laughs> also, look at this animation. Look oh my shit. god, that's so shit! Look at this shit animation. Uh, it was only 1200 because it was bigger than you. <laughs> Such a shit animation. Okay, so for the next half hour, my encounter, I think my encounter rate for electrics goes up, which is okay. good. Okay, so, uh, John. Yes. Uh, Sorry Firestorm says that the XP candy yeah. uh, is uh, 100 XP for XS, and then 800 for S, 3000 for M, wow. 10,000 for L, and 30,000 for XL. That's a lot. Wow. Okay. And uh, let's see. The Titan quest line can give you uh, TMs. Oh, uh, okay. Like. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa, what the shit? Look at, look at the map. There's an Eevee. There's a fucking Eevee on the map. What the shit is happening? What's happening? Where are you? Where are you, fucker? There is an Eevee on the on the mini map. Where is it? Okay, it's it's down in this direction. Like, what's happening? Glad you see an Eevee. I'm looking. I'm looking, John. Jigglypuff, Igglybuff, Fido. More Jigglypuff. What's happening? Just keep walking. It might appear. The mini map just shows what can spawn, not that. No! Not that there is one. Oh no. Eevees can spawn here? Oh, maybe. Can they spawn like. Do they spawn maybe in the day or. Well, they're normal types right now. So if I ate a sandwich that was a normal type. Okay, maybe. Okay, come back here. Come back here. Now we know that Eevees can spawn there which is pretty huge actually just check around the corner here in case this is this is deemed to be the same sort of area okay so apparently i, I could get an eevee potentially right now but i don't know whether it's it's day or anything okay remember that there and check for sandwiches that give me bonus to normal but yeah, if we go up here... Yeah, they're pretty rare spawns. Ah, understandable. They're, they're, they're desirable. Everyone loves Eevee. That is, that's that little bug type. There's you over here. Hello, I'm just going to beat you up. I think this is one of the kids from my school because he's dressed in the school uniform. You're that new transfer student. Yeah, and I'm going to kick your ass, kid. It's going to be fine. But you definitely want to do this because, uh, yeah, you get... Uh, occasionally you'll run into someone from the Pokemon League who's like, Hey, have you been beating up enough children? And if you say yes, then, like, you know, they, they give you stuff. It's all very important. Claire. Uh, yes, shout out also to Sankey Gaming, uh, who um, was updating us because uh, he was in hospital earlier. Uh, I'm on my way home now, but my left arm is out of action. Double break on the left forearm and fractured wrist. Oh, nasty. Uh, I'm hoping you and John can help me out with some advice. I, since I can't use uh, the left arm for a few weeks, I'm not able to record my uh, Witcher videos. Uh, oh, no. Or Red Faction. Uh, yeah, Red Faction or Witcher series. Uh, what game would you recommend I look at so uh, that I can play one-handed so I can still make videos? Probably things like Dwarf Romantic and like Islanders are probably pretty good one-handers, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, like anything basically that you wouldn't need like a super fast reaction What was that? Endo Parasitic is a dumb horror game that is designed to be played oh with a single God. hand on the mouse. That is actually designed to be played with one hand I mean, on the mouse. That's your game where you announce so that the series are being paused because you broke your arm. Yeah, pretty that's much. That's good. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. Okay. Yes. Smollett's <laughs> trying to pick up grassy terrain. Would oh, I rather have dear. that than growth? Because grassy terrain is, yeah, five turns, a hit point of Pokemon <laughs> on the ground, a little every turn, powers up grass type moves. I'll take that over growth. Oh, because you can just trade it back in uh, later. Now you've got, John? now you've got, yes. Uh, you can either ride in and out of the city to reset the spawns, or you can put down a picnic to reset the spawns. Eh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, you know what? For now, while I've got, like, the electric spawn up, I'm just going to see whether, like, I see any electric that I wouldn't expect in this area. Now, I'm not really sure, like, whether it just means, hey, the electrics that can spawn do spawn more, or whether it means, like, hey, actually, you know what? Electrics oh, you wouldn't wait. expect can appear yes i was just wondering oh no that's the dog isn't it behind uh yeah it's rockcroft oh well 
That is, in fact, Rockcroft. Yes, that is. It's kind of like the color of an Eevee. Yeah, they are similar. So I was trying to keep an eye, but... That is a sleeping fampy, I think. Very Bugs, cute. Bugs, mankeys. May as well just take out the trainers while we're passing by, because otherwise I will completely forget about them. That is... There we go. Pillars of Light. Yep, I, I go and find them a lot. They are, in fact, terror Pokemon, and for the most part, they are completely bloody useless. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Honest Tortilla, who uh, just pointed, just gave us uh, two uh, pounds and just pointed out that uh, that Pokemon trainer you just took out before is named uh, Yere. Yeah. Uh, and that is a Canarian name. Ah. So there we go. Okay, that's Thank cute. Because yeah, yeah, this is the you. yeah set in this is the set in Spain Pokemon. So that's cool. The Canary Islands representation. Mm. Cool. That's super cool. Oh, and a few people recommending uh, recommending um, Vampire Survivors for Sankey Gaming. That's device. true. Vampire Survivors is another one you can uh, handle potentially with a limited mobility. Now, where am I going now? Okay, so and, I'm doubling uh, back on myself. update. Yes. The good puppy has just left the couch and is now on the ground. Oh. And now he's going... Possibly he's going to have a drink. Room. He might be going to get a drink of water. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't have a water bowl in here, so he might be going for a drink. He, um... I've cleared out the... Ooh, sunny day. That's a good Ooh. TM. And now I've found it, I can craft them. Mm. Which is super cute. So... All right, we're still checking, but like, yeah, I I assume what it means, yeah, when it says the uh, spawn rate is the stuff that spawns here is still the stuff that spawns here. You can just increase the probability of uh, what is already going to oh, spawn yeah. here. You you don't get extra stuff. Like, there's not going to be extra electric Pokemon that I wouldn't have expected. But maybe the electric tadpole shows up a bit more regularly, for example. So yeah, now on the other side of the river, that's the uh, that's the path I walked on earlier. Uh, so I may as well just, yeah, could you do the path up here, then turn right at the end, but it looks like this is very similar stuff to what I was seeing previously. So yeah, crowds of mankeys, the pepper Pokemon, electric McJibbles, it looks like it's all, yeah, basically the same stuff, and there is that weasel that we saw earlier. So okay, I think we're probably more or less ready to move on from this area. Although, uh, you know what, we'll just, just don't forget to murder the trainers while we're passing by too. And keep an eye out for shinies. We've got two natural, normal shinies, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, just got to uh, keep on grabbing them if we can. Claire. Yeah, shout out to Tony the Not Tiger, who gave us five dollars. Uh, and, uh, and says, today I am thankful for this stream, which I've been craving since the video last week. Cheers. Cheers to you too. It is. It's a good old game. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't poison me, you dick. Bloody Venonats. Venonat needs an evolution. I mean, okay, it involves into Venomoth. And, like, it, it's, well, that's one of those Pokemon that needs, like, you know, Mega Venomoth or something. Mm -hmm. Ven Venonat could definitely do with a brand new yeah. extra evolution. Is he back? He's on the other side. Now he's on the other side, just flopping by the curtains next to Claire. <laughs> All right. I also... The, 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 this school is very confusing. Like, in your class, you are in the same class and thus presumably grade as Nimona. But Nimona appears to be, like... She looks a good five years older than you. Like, it's well, very... Yeah, she's in your class or in your school? She's in your homeroom. Mm -hmm. Like, which I, I just assumed, like, the homeroom would be people of the same... You know. Maybe maybe the homeroom is more like a house. Possibly. I, this isn't a sister we have in the UK. Yeah. But, like, Nimona's in the same class as you. And, like, there are definitely, like, people who look like pretty much adults in the school. But also children. So it's not like a... Oh, hello. You're doing a picnic, buddy. A nice little picnic. That's nice. Ooh. <laughs> with the, with the, the teapot Pokemon. Times like these call for a nice meal to refresh the body. Takes some white. Yeah, free ingredients. Banana! Claire's favourite ingredient. Claire loves banana. Ew. Claire doesn't love banana. There we go. So want to stop and refresh yourself? Uh, no, I'm fine, actually. Though I, I do enjoy that you've got the teapot Pokemon. One thing that I, I think is sad, by the way. You can't... If you see a Pokemon out in the wild, like in a town, you look at it and like interact with it. That doesn't add it to your Pokedex. You've got to see it in a fight to add it to the Pokedex. Like, so say, like, the Heracross in town that the guy has... I don't, I can't see the Heracross, which I think is a bit sad. 
Okay, uh, mind yourself, Ted has decided to lay down on your chair. Ted occasionally enjoys deciding he's going to be in the dumbest place he could think up of. It's it's very cute and and Yeah, he's got his butt on the 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 wheels of your chair. Yeah, he just enjoys being in the dumbest place he can think of. It's great. There's that swablo. Right there. And then we just need to swing by the wall to check there's nothing. You know what? I'm seeing way more electric tadpoles. I assume these electric tadpoles are being caused by that meal, what I ate. But if I could find a meal that gave me bonus... Actually, no, a bonus spawn chance to normal wouldn't help. Because the EVs are in the same area as the Jigglypuffs and the Igglybuffs. So, that w I don't think I can use a meal to increase the chance of an EV spawning. Simply because anything I could eat that increases the EV spawning rate also increases the Igglybuff and Jigglypuff spawning rate because i think they've become partial fairies but they're still normal hang on what was that i think that's an aracuda i'm pretty sure that's an aracuda back there so that is not relevant so yeah this is definitely the same stuff we've seen before maybe sometimes you might get lucky and you might stumble across you know a shiny or whatnot but i'm pretty sure we are seeing yeah the same stuff here as we've seen previously so in which case yeah that's the little weird pepper bird right there we're probably, actually, you know what, while I'm just passing by, going to murder you, buddy. Because sooner or later, someone's going from, someone from corporate's going to show up and say, you've been doing your, you know, corporate mandated murder, and they give you money if you have. There we go. I like how this girl has, uh, uh this girl looks tired. She looks very tired. That is true. Uh, okay, low kick is probably going to be fine right there. Actually, you know, this is a good candidate for swagger because Marip is going to be using special attacks. So, it being confused, but also having its attack massively up, doesn't increase the damage against me anymore, but if it does hurt itself, it's going to really kick itself. So, come on. Come on, hurt yourself in your confusion. Come on, hurt yourself in your confusion. I think it's 50-50. And... Yes! yes! And that, look at that. That's like a, a third a quarter of its health bar gone. Pretty damn good. And unfortunately, I might get paralyzed by static here, if I'm very unlucky. And... Marip is confused. Come on, hurt yourself in your confusion again. Yeah! Dab straight. Uh, I would like to not attack it directly. Maybe seismic toss doesn't count as a physical touch. I just turn it into a planet and then dump it. And then squish it. Darn it! Static kicked it at the last second! I hate static. It's so annoying. Sorry, he's left, but he was looking. Oh. Like he was looking into the garden to. Uh, there's a there's a dog a few gardens down. We're not quite sure whose dog it is, but there's a dog. They argue a, a lot. A few gardens from us that uh, yells and Ted yells back. Yeah, he starts it. Ted never starts it. Ted's a good boy. <laughs> there there he go. goes. Let me go get the you, good dog. You go give him Ted, a cuddle. Ted. That's it. Ted. It's okay. <laughs> Shush, shush, shush. Okay. Hang on a second. We'll be right. We'll be right back after chaos end.
And, and we're back. Ted, Ted is okay. He's okay. Ted is okay. The neighbor just came to bring us some Amazon parcels that, you know, came today when we were home and the people didn't ring the doorbell at all. We're back. Ted's calm now. He's calmed down. You now know that Ted's real. He's got one hell of a bark on him. When he, when he decides he's upset, there's a proper, oh. it's a proper big oh. bork bork. It's a proper big bork bork bork. He's, he's got a big set of lungs on in that, Popaz. Ted is a star. Uh, why do we have John when we could just listen to Teddy? It's a very piercing bark. You're like, I, like, <laughs> if he, bjork. if he starts going bjork, 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 I, I, I get a headache fast off Ted. He's got a big old bark on him. Shout out to uh, James Myers who says there go our dogs, lol. Oh no, I'm sorry I'm if sorry. we've just if we've just set off your dogs by mistake. Uh yeah, is that like a like a like a domino train but with dogs? Yes. <laughs> Aww. I I can't imitate barking that well. I, I I definitely can't. So that that was that was actually Ted. When he's barking, he's he's proper. He's a proper bjork bjork. Oh dear. Bless him. Dear. He's he's uh he's got a proper big bark on him. Uh, you know, giving Mankey oh. thief is the best decision I ever made. Mankey having thief is brilliant. That yeah. is that is spectacular. And that was today's TED talk. That that's the TED talk for today. Blimey heck, that was. That was a bit bjorky. Right, and then it brings us back to the back area around the Oliveira. So, okay, it looks like there's nothing here we haven't seen before. So, in which case, that means we can now, unless there's, like, you know, something I desperately want to... Where is the, where is the thing? You know, I can do without that. I can do without going after that. That's mm. a okay. So, yeah, if I go to this Pokemon Center, then take a uh, left, then... Presumably, this must be like a tunnel or something. I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to go check it out. So we're going to go there. <laughs> take a left. Obscure Sausage says, Great, now my cat is barking. <laughs> we're oh, sorry if dear, anyone's pet dear. is now suddenly barking. Because uh, Ted set them off. We're very Tony sorry. Tony the Nod Tiger says, My dogs couldn't hear you and still started barking at the same time. Lol. I bet they could. They have better hearing than we do. So if you had headphones, they might have been able to hear it. I bet they could. Anyway, shout out to um, shout out to Will, who gave us $2 and says here's two uh, bucks to change uh, Grievard to Ted. <laughs> Good old Grievard. Let's see. Defees gave us ten bucks and says Teddy doesn't have a subwoof. He has a he has a mega woofer. He really does. He has stadium Bjorks for max projections. In olden time, Teddies were used to board the next county over. Amazing. Wow. I just ran to a train said, "If I win, you've got to buy my CD." <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And he's got a cat. Oh, he little baby. Yeah. Unfortunately, that cat is, um, that cat's normal. And I'm fighting. Oh, shoot. Oh, you've got fake out, though, which is uh, a good let's opening. See. And a massive shout out to Terrence, who gave us $150. Oh, wow. Uh, and there wasn't a message, but of course, as always, if you want to leave a message, you can do so in the uh, chat. Uh, and if you, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll read it out. Thank you so, so uh, much. That's huge. Both Terrence and Gaming with Showtime uh, have become new uh, channel members as well. So welcome uh, to the Green Club, both of you. Uh, and then let's see. Uh, sh uh, sorry. Gaming with Showtime uh, says uh, I always have ad blocker on. So this is my ad block tax. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Ted just learned rest, or could learn rest. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep, restore hit point, cure any status condition. But I have to get rid of one of his moves to use it. And I think they're well, all quite good. I mean, you can't get rid of Dig. He's Ted. I think we'll leave it for now. We can add it back in later if we want to. Aha, uh -huh, you're not buying her CD. <laughs> there we go. What? No one buys CDs anymore. It's true, actually. Uh, there oh, we that's go. that's good. Uh, oh. Let's see. Ran straight to a ghost. This is fine. Clap. Uh, Adam gave us seven Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. And says, happy Thursday. I just started watching and the good puppy got the stream shut down. Here's some money for your good boy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to catch up on all the non-Ted Woofing related uh, super chats that have come in earlier. Obviously, I just wanted to mention the 
the things that are about to the thing that just happens. Let's just very quickly, very mm. quickly, just change this, uh, change this little thing here. So how about... Call him Ted, come on. Graveyard! Oh. There we go. So, Graveyard is uh, Graveyard, my Pokemon, right there. So that's now Graveyard. Uh, now I'm not wrong. No one can say I am. But yeah, if I just keep going in this direction, then presumably... Oh, yeah, there's a big cave. That's how we get up. That's the Psychic City on top of the hill. Mm. Just such a well-designed map that whenever you're going somewhere, you know, you can see where you're going in the distance. And when you get at the top of somewhere, you can see where you've just been down below. Really well-designed. Really really well-put-together map design. Scruffy as, scruffy as balls. But the map design is actually really good. Really, really good indeed. So, so just keep an eye out for any uh, beaches or whatnot. Yeah, so you could drop down. There is clearly a beach. Down. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, okay. That could be how we get to the... We're go flip, we, that's how we get there, I think. That's how we get there. I don't know what this cave's going to be, but I think that's that's how we get down here. I think this is... I think we're on something here. We're, we're, we're going to Psychic City. I'm going to beat the Psychic Gym. Beat the Psychic Gym. Boom. Also, I, you know, I'm not going to leave this trainer behind. Because otherwise we're never going to come back here. So we may as well just, you know, beat up all these children to steal their pocket money. Yes, while you will lose. Come on. As long as I, you know, actually, you know, restore health with the odd potion here or there. This Mankey is struggling a little bit in terms of health. But I think Mankey evolves, like, before level 30. So Mankey will be evolving in the not too distant future. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure we must be getting close to another evolution at some point soon. This small child is going to be annihilated. Clap! Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm just uh, looking for my place where I was. Um... I thought you were dark type, but I think you're actually poison. Oh, dear. So, okay, that's that's fine. If you're poisoned, then thief should work just fine, right? Oh yeah, that works fine. Oh, but poison fangs enough for being poison, mate. No, I got away with it. Yay! Screw your salandet. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Gary, who's been a member for ten months, uh, and says I listen to the nightly videos just before I go to sleep. Uh, so now, when I hear John's voice at seven thirty p.m., I feel sleepy. Oh. Sorry if I'm ruining your evening in some indirect capacity. You're probably sleep deprived. Get some rest. Yeah. You know, after we're done with the stream, because yeah. this is all very cute. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, shout out to uh, Steve, who gave us 22 euros and says, I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Uh, let's see. I think he wants you to sing. Like no one ever was. I need you to provide the do 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 like no one ever was. Do 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 to catch them is my way to test to train them is my cause. Do 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 do. I will travel all across the land, searching far and wide. Do do do. <laughs> Come on to understand the power that's inside Pokemon. You've got to catch them all. Christ. You've got to catch them all, Claire. It's the one thing you've got to do. Yeah, I know. Also, this guy reminds me of someone. This guy reminds me of a celebrity. I'm not sure who. This guy reminds me of the MasterChef contestant we were saying looked like a serial killer yesterday. That's true, actually. Oh, it's Ditto! Way! We love you, Ditto. So is Ditto these days going to automatically convert into uh, a, a manky? Or do I still get it? Oh, I still get a kick in first. I thought Ditto's ability was just to transform these days. It's only to use transform as a move, does it? So, okay. Now it's a mankey. But that's fine. Now if I just seismic toss it. Um, how does Dark go against fighting? Because now he's fighting. Oh, he's psychic tossing beast. That's embarrassing in general. Um, I don't know if I kill it now. Otherwise... Oh, no. He's going to win. Oh no, this is very embarrassing. Okay, I've been beaten by a clone of myself, but if I just use a super potion, I can win if he's just going to keep uh, seismic tossing. Clap! I'm surprised that didn't set off Ted. The live stream of ears bleeding. Wow, rude. 
Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, lots of people. What? Okay, she'd have used low kick, clearly. Blimey, okay. That, the fake manky just destroyed my manky. Well, that's just embarrassing. Corey Randa, Ted Danson, David Letterman, <laughs> lol. Uh, Arcade Ganon from New Vegas. That's true, actually, is a bit Arcade ganon -y. Right, Smoliv, it's up to you. Seismic tossing a Smoliv. This is, I could, I could, maybe my low kick would have been the best way to give it, it, it killed me. So that's all embarrassing as anything. All right. Take you out, buddy. It's a good amount of experience. Uh, fan up too. I don't like slam. I've never liked slam. But then do you have a useless music? You do have flail right now. Like 75 accuracy for only 80 power. You know, I'll take it over. Actually, endure flail is a good card. I'll leave it. Endure flail at least as a combo. I just think slam is way too inaccurate for what it does. Just, yeah. Not, not keen. Not keen on that at all. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Now we're getting into just some little bugs. Dossed around. Don't need to worry about them. So is this like a big... Oh, hang on. Is that a sign? Signs are sometimes fast travel points. Which would be rather exciting. Uh, so that would be cool. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to TA the sword guy. He uh, gave us two pounds. And says, I've not played a Pokemon game in years. But damn it, I need it. This is, it's it's good. It's it's a good time, this one. I think this is really good stuff. Uh, the area of pet is dangerous. Well, that's not going to stop me. I'm making it to Psychic City, boys. I'm going again. The, 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 uh, the poker trades are like, please do not go this way. You you mad yeah, bastards. so is the chat. Yeah, they can't stop me. I know. I've not been telling you because I feel like that will just encourage you more. I don't know what... Uh, is this water... I don't know what this is. Oh, it's electric. Can, is it fighting? Or is it, what, what is it? That is... That was not the right answer. Oh, blimey. It's quite tough. Oh, it's critical me. Yes, anger points. Okay. Yes. Assuming I survive this, this fury attack. Because it gets to keep doing it. Come on. Yes, hit two times. Oh, you're in trouble now, boy -o. You've just made my manky suit. I really enjoy Anger Point. That's such a fun ability. That is that is super dumb Ooh, fun. Tony the Not Tiger says, do it, John. I did it so you can do it too. I mean, logically, if I just hop on the motorcycle and just run, mm. then I think I can make it through. I think I can do it. Ooh. Uh, and we've got a message from uh, Terence, who uh, gave a big donation earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, where the YouTuber had eaten the message. But oh, Terence no. says, uh, thank you for everything you have done over the past several years. You helped me get through very dark times earlier this year. So this is the absolute least I could do for you. Well, thank you so much. And I hope they're better times now. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, it is, it is one of the greatest, you know... It is one of the the, the, the least expected and and <laughs> least expected thing for us that like doing this for a job would would help people in tough times. But it is one of the things that we we hear that is really the most impactful and yeah. that is really like just amazing that we can do that by just you know being silly and playing video games. Okay, the game says you won't make it on foot. That's level 38. <laughs> yeah, people in the chat have been saying, I can't wait for John to go into that cave. Wait, there's a Gibble here. How strong? I mean, Gibble's only the first level. How strong is Gibble? Oh, shit, I can get Gibble. I mean, that's... Gibble becomes Garchomp. I mean, Dwarf. Then again, who on earth would I kick out to make room for Gibble? That's a meditite. That's. Oh, we'll catch it anyway. There's a Sableye. I mean, I may as well. Let, let, let's see. I mean, I think Wait, you're, are you. Wait. Are those Pokemon with the with the with the Mohawk made of electricity? They are poison electrics. I think they're the. Right. You know that baby I stepped on earlier. Yeah. They're yeah, the, they're the big forms. Well. Do the boys and girls of that Pokemon have different colours? I think they might do, yeah. I think it might be a gender thing. So that's not a shiny in the background. No, I think it's I think there are two I think mm. there are gender variants, I yeah. think. Yeah. Dismorphism, okay. I think, is what it's called. 
Level Wait, 15. No. I'll give it a go with a great ball and we'll see what happens. We'll see if what fate has to say about a gibble joining the team. I'm not like 100% super convinced on like a gibble and there's... Oh, there's a Bagon in the background too. Oh, I'm going to be honest. I'm more, I'm more about a Bagon. Potentially. That's that's interesting. So that becomes a, a Salamence. Oh, this is where the dragons are. This this is where the dragons live. Oh, oh it's not a gender thing apparently. I think there's a shiny. Well, there's there's more than there's oh, several no, there's blue. There's several two blues blue and there's ones. two yellows, so I don't think so. Oh well, maybe it's like a like evolution there. Yeah. Oh. Nature variants. Nature oh, okay, variants. Thank okay. You. Okay, we need. To, I need something that can actually just do a ton of bit of chip damage to this thing. Um. Oh, you know what? Fampy can take anything. Oh, I'm trapped by quicksand, so I can't at the moment. Ah, I forgot that was one of the effects of quicksand. I think anything I do to this thing will kill it. So I just need to keep tossing balls and see if I get lucky. But I suspect Gibble has got a good thing. I need to wait for the sand to wear off. This thing can be quite tough. And I suspect our Mankey's about to go down to the... Yep, the sand. The sand tomb. So that's fine. Uh, we'll just bring in Fampy, who can definitely take this. Because a full, a full HP flail is weak as anything. So that's definitely not going to kill the Gibble. And there is a Sableye by that. I don't like Sableye. Never like Sableye. Well, the one thing I didn't like about uh, Sapphire, that I was stuck with Sableye. Uh, then again, I didn't like the the other variant either. They were both kind of bad. The, um, what was it called? M Morwile? Mawile? There we go. That's a bit better. Comes with Dragon Breath, which can paralyze things, but only like 10% of the time. Are you a dragon ground at the moment? Are you only a, a dragon? I can't remember what you are. What Gibble is in its base form. But yeah, there's a save line in the background. There's a Meditide. I Every time I, I play a game with Meditide, I think, Oh, I love Meditide. Let's, let's get Meditide to go. And then every time, it, I, I, I abandon it. Because it's... I, I, I Yeah, it's dragon ground already. It stays dragon ground its whole life. Um, Garchomp is ludicrously powerful. That is unquestionably true. Let's see what fate has to say. Because I, 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 I'm, I'm not 100% keen. Special attack up. Yep, that's going in the bin. Fate says no to Gibble. Fate says no. Uh, and uh, this is so lovely. Shout out to YouTuber Thingy who uh, gave us $2. And says you guys you guys sharing joy does so much good. We love you. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you Thank so you. much. That's very sweet of you to say. Uh, uh, and yes, Terran says I've been uh, I've been wanting to try to do streams like you, but I don't think I have the attention for that kind of thing. So I totally respect streamers, especially ones as awesome as MATN. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you to say. Uh, you don't. I mean, you don't have to like. Oh shit! That was level thirty-seven. <laughs> oh oh oh. Um, uh, Poke doll, 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 poke doll. Which pockets the poke doll in? Which pockets the poke doll in? Poke balls. It's, it's, where's the poke doll? I know I've got poke dolls. I know I've got some. Have you just passed it by going too quick? Did I? I Wait. think you have. There, yeah, no, there, there is. We go. It's in that pocket. Activate poke doll. All right, poke doll means you're guaranteed to escape from any encounter. Okay, I kind of thought because the Gibble was level 15, that one would be level 15 too. That yeah, but was everything else is a super high level. Everything else is a super high level. So okay, that's that's fine. That a uh, that's a Slender level 39. Okay, so we have to keep. Oh, that's a big Doug Trio. That's that's a really chunky Doug Trio actually. Okay, we just have to stay away from everything. This is fine. We're going to make it. We're going to make Welcome it. Welcome to, to the murder cave. R.I.P. John. No, this is fine. We're just going to be able to... We're just going to keep our distance from all the Pokemon. For, yeah, for some reason, the Gibbles are level 15. Everything else is like, oh, yeah, I'm level 40. Then Flee with extra flea. No, never. We're not doing it. Also, hang on. Where's the... Where's the way I'm supposed to be going? This is... Okay. It may possibly be impossible... To make it on foot. But if I just hop up here. Don't mind me. I'm just here to get this. Protect. Oh that's so bad. Uh, okay. Ignore you. Please don't come and murder me. I think it might be physically impossible on foot. I think possibly. You might need to come back here with like. Special extra. Like moves down the line. That's how we came in. I made, I made it up to there. But there's no way I can make it up to that. Can you not do the thing where you like. Go backwards. 
I haven't practiced it, so I don't know if I can get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, No, I turned round, which me which ruins it. I'm not going to glitch it, it's fine. Okay, I've learnt my lesson. I think I need to come back when I've like learnt how to do like a high jump or something. But this is fine. Yeah, uh, you can't make it past this cave without your bike and upgrades. I, I just ran into a fan peel the way out. That's, 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 okay. That, that I don't care about so much. But, 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 this is fine. Because I think so I... So if you go do the Titan thing, you should get some upgrades for your bike. Yes, that's how I understand it. But I'm also going to start off by making my way down this massive ass cliff. Because I see, yeah, from here, I want to make my way slowly down all these cliffs and make my way down to the beach and see what's going on over here. Because this is interesting. Yes. This That is super interesting, this this area over here. So to make that happen, I want to start at the highest point and then work down from... I didn't even touch him. I did not touch that rock craft. Dear, oh flipping dear. Yeah, but you brought some Amazon parcels to its house to its dad. Shh, 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 shh. Love you, Teddy. Ted, you okay, Bunny Bar? Yeah, now he's very sleepy. Or are you a bit sad about life? <sighs> Long. Right. Uh, anyway, shout out to uh, shout out to Charlie, who gave us five uh, dollars and says, "Hey, John, it is Thanksgiving in America. Wish me luck in surviving my extended family. Also, happy to catch a live stream for the first time in a while. Oh, happy to have you here. Yes, indeed, and hopefully uh, we can provide whatever." levity you need to uh, cope with your extended family we figured that uh, some people might be in that situation yes exactly uh, so yes indeed uh... would you guys yeah if i go here if i drop to here then i can get whatever this is and then i can drop down and slowly go down level by level though hang on this way goes okay that way will go a ridiculously long way round down to the bottom but i don't want to do that we can do that later. Don't need to worry about that for the time being. Drop down here. And so far we're seeing, yeah, very familiar stuff. This is all traditional stuff we've seen around these parts before. So don't need to bother doing any of that. That's all okay. But yeah, there's got to be some interesting stuff going on down at this beach, down at the bottom. And that is going to be a new TM. Hopefully a new TM. Scary face! Kind of useless. Uh, okay. Just keep on keeping on. Everything's fine. Occasionally just check in on the level of the wild Pokemon to make sure I'm not walking into terrifying territory. And level 15. Yeah, we're fine. We're all a okay. Just take you guys out too while we're just passing by. Merge you with my mankey. Everything's going to be fine. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Fusion Warrior who uh, gave us $20. Uh, and says, I'm really enjoying how much this game is festering, it's lovely. especially in multiplayer. It feels very release day New Vegas to me. I just wish the story was up to that snuff, but Pokemon gameplay is brilliant regardless. And also, trans rights. Trans rights. Ah, this Pikachu's not not a good match. I'm going to move over to Fampi. Yes, indeed. Uh Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sean gave us ten dollars, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and Sean says happy Thanksgiving from Louisiana, John and Claire. Thank you as always for all that you do. You have both helped me through some hard times. I love you both, and I can't wait for many more years of content. Well, I hope you're doing all right now. Yes, indeed. I hope you're doing all right, and I hope it's a good, happy Thanksgiving. I hope uh, anybody uh, in the U.S. who's uh, celebrating, I hope you have uh, some. Truly amazing food later. Oh shit! I, I know you probably will. Mm -hmm. Mankey's trying to learn cross chop. That's really powerful. Cross chop's like, yeah, power a hundred. Accuracy only eighty, but I'll get rid of seismic toss for that. Yeah, 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 happy, 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 happy. That's that's a that's a hilariously powerful move. Okay, Mankey's Ooh, now got some stuff going on. Uh. Shout out also to Next Jenner who uh, says the story in this game is actually pretty good. It's not award winning, but it's much better than previous Pokemon stories for sure. Oh yeah, it's and from what I've seen so far, it seems like you know Nimone is quite well written. I'm not far into the story at all, mm. but like, oh you levitate, do you? 
Well, that's annoying. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're just going to sort out Mankey. And then Mankey with Thief is going to be able to take care of you, buddy. No problem whatsoever. Clap. Uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, AJ gave us $20 and says, I love your holiday streams so much. I was waiting for this one to start so I could hang out, uh, so that I could hang out here until my big gay friends giving this afternoon. Thank you for everything that you do, John and Claire. I am very grateful for this channel. Yeah, but mostly this was, this was not an intentional, uh, holiday stream. Yeah, this even... was just, it's a Thursday. It just happens to Thursday. be a Thursday but... that was also, yes. We are very glad that, that we can, uh, we're very glad that we, that we can be there, uh, for you and I mean we used to have Friendsgiving but like now the friends that Come we on, have Mankey. Friendsgiving with have like No Mankey! Mankey! Oh dear, we used oh, to have Friendsgiving confusion. more before Covid but oh, yeah. Oh fuck's sake. Uh, Mankey you had one job. It was to defeat that mischievous and you failed miserably. Right, mm. Staravia, step in and help out. Dear oh flipping dear. Tut, tut, tut. Right. Get in over there. Finish it off with it. Just like, you know what? May not be the most exciting six spoke one, but Star Avia gets shit done. Star Avia gets it done. All Ooh, right. Interesting. Uh, Trenton says, I haven't completed Arvin's story yet, but it's already made me tear up. Oh. Arvin does seem to have a bit of a tragic, something a bit tragic going on. Mm. Given uh, there's definitely been talk of Arvin, like, yeah, ha maybe not having much in the way of friends. Uh, it's been hinted at, so uh, yeah, there might be something going on there. Yes, Claire. Uh, yeah, and we've also got a message from Chupa Thingy, who's been a member for 17 months, uh, and says this is the best possible way to spend Thanksgiving before going into a work shift tonight. Uh, I work at an animal ER, keeping pups like Teddy safe. Oh, love to the MATN family. That's amazing. Uh, That's so cool. Thingy, thank you so much for doing that, uh, for helping all the pups uh, yeah. and presumably all the pets to, like, vets are just, yeah. you know. Yeah, vets are the best. We, 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 we're very lucky. Uh, we're very lucky that we have a very good vet. Uh, yes, we have a vet that we, us, uh, we know and like and, and took very good care of tips. And it was, you know... Nothing's going to make it not sad when you have to go through something like that, but I can't imagine how hard it would have been if they hadn't been as amazing as they were. Oh, I found a cave. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and I, try, I think, unfortunately, this guy was, uh, yes, yeah, summoned with a fake prank pizza call to uh, to this location by the Luke's Yomi. I kind of like that he has a goal for a Pokemon. Like, how does any pizza make it a one in one piece? Or yeah. in several pieces, even. You've definitely got flying type of tanks, don't you? Uh, but you've probably got water, too. Uh, do you want to give fat? You know what? Just. Ugh. You know what? I'll give you a go with Thief, and we'll see what Thief does. I mean, I don't think his wing attack's going to be that powerful. Yeah, I mean, several people talking about how uh, affected they were by Arvin's story and lots of good stories. Fascinating. For sure. There's that crit, so Wingle goes down. You got anything else, buddy, or is that just a one-off? Uh, ooh, that cave is the way you're meant to get to that beach. Ooh, okay. Hang on, I could just throw myself off a cliff. I, well, feel, I feel like I could just... It might be hard. What, to throw myself off a cliff? No. That's relatively the easy. The Pokemon this... that are on that beach. Okay, let's have a look see where we go. Yeah, more Gibbles. Then that is a yes, yeah, Solender. Okay, so these are the same Pokemon we saw earlier, but these are yeah, much lower level variants oh, by the looks so of it. Oh, so you get to this point by going from the city, maybe. I mean, is that? Hang know. on, this might be that entrance over there. Might be the entrance I came in to originally. There's Harry Yammer and some Solendits. Uh, more no, not Harry Yammer. Uh, Makuhita. Harry Yammer is the evolved form. Uh, though, hang on, I finally found one of these. I've seen one of you guys before. Hello. What are you? There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Oh, ring it, ring it. Yeah, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. I'm going to regret this. Why did I just do that? 
It crumbled and vanished. I feel like I'm doing a bad thing that I shouldn't do right now. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling like that was a mistake. Like, in, in some capacity. I don't I, I, know, I'm just getting bad vibes. Bad vibes. You'll figure that out later. Now, where on earth am I now? So now I'm over here, South Province Area 4. So, okay, that brought me to... Ah! So, okay, at any point I could have, yeah, from the starting area, loop round here, loop round the river, gone through the path and then taken that to get to... Okay, so there's a shortcut from there. So this area should be Pokemon I've all seen before. Because I've been through, I know precisely what this area is. So, okay, actually, that, yeah, if you go that way, you can get up to early game Gibble really fast. If you want to get early game Gibble, yeah, just do, just do that route. That's, that's pretty exciting. Do I want that TM? Ah, you know what I do, even though it's going to mean it's a bit of a more tricky way out. Mud shot! Not terrible, you know. And that is a, there's a Sableye. I do not like Sableyes. They're kind of dumb. I, I just don't like the design of them. I just don't think they look cool. So, all right. That lets me get to here. So, okay. This was, uh, this was another way we could have gone this way. But this lets me collect up the items. Toss myself off the cliff down to the beach. And then get round to Psychic City. We're going Woo. to Psychic City. We're going to Psychic City. We're going to beat the Psychic Gym Leader. No, we're not. We're going to try. We're going to do it. It's going to be amazing. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, that's Futurist John's problem, people are saying. Mm -hmm. Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh, let's see. Oh my. Shout out to Rob who gave us ten, uh, dollars. Uh, and, uh, says, uh, do you think the criticism of Fallout Bethesda game that it's been 200 years since the bombs fell and society hasn't built itself yet is fair? To an extent it is, but I think there's, you've also got to, you know, factor in that, you know, there are reasons New Vegas is as it is. You know, we've literally got it, you know, written in continuity. Hey, you know what? There is, you know, Mr. House took down some of the bombs. And Vegas already, you know, Vegas was relatively untouched by nuclear fire. Lots of the infrastructure was in good shape. Uh, so, you know, you've got to factor in there are reasons New Vegas is as it is. And you've also got to factor in there are reasons the Capital Wasteland is as it is. So, in particular, yeah, there are problems with availability of fresh water. Like, um, we don't, we're not sure how, like, the availability of fresh water in DC compares to, say, uh, the West Coast, but I, I've always read the implication is, hey, water is uh, less available. That's more of a problem in DC. And when you've not got a supply of clean drinking water, well, that that's absolutely going to slow down society evolving quite a bit. So, uh, you know, I, I'm willing to make some allowances. That's a gold duck. That's a... What are you, buddy? There appears to be a stalk Pokemon over there. But I think some of these Pokemon might be quite high level. Uh, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, that's a level 4. Oh, okay. Just run into the Golduck. Pokedoll him away. Just Let's just Pokedoll him out of here. Let's just, let's just Pokedoll him. And then GTFO. Right, Pokedoll. This is why we carry Pokedolls. Because we don't want... So we just want to toss dolls at Golducks. And not fight them. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just here to explore yet more caves. Oh, blimey. Now, is this by any chance the the cave with... Oh, blimey, that is... Oh, is that a... Uh, what's a McJibbler? Uh, ha Haulucha, Haulucha, Haulucha. There's, oh, this, this feels like this is a scary cave. This feels like a bad cave I shouldn't be in. This feels like the murder cave. Is that a Garchomp over there? Is that an actual... That is a Garchomp. Or maybe it's the mid-level, which I can't remember the name of. G Gabite? I think that's a Gabite, not a Garchomp. And then there's the mid-form of... Um, yeah, Salamence over there. And there's also, just for no well-explained reason, there is also a Dunsparce. Fascinating. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye, bye, bye. No trouble, mate. No trouble. No trouble. Don't mind me. I, I was just leaving. I was just... Okay, the Halucha tried to attack me. It's it's fine. We're, we're not going to go that way. It's a bunch of goats. There's... 
don't know what that thing is. I've never seen that stalk before. Maybe he's new. Or is it a generation I don't know much about? But if I look back at myself and then go up, we're making it to the Psychic City. We're making it to the Psychic City. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to make it. I'm, I, I, I feel like I shouldn't... I'm not going to speak to that trainer, though. Because I'm slightly scared I'm now in a high-level scary area. And the trainers are going to be accordingly high-level and scary. So we're now ignoring all trainers. We're now ignoring every trainer, and we're just we're just beelining it straight for Psychic City. Because they don't attack you on sight anymore. Ha ha! I win! Oh, this is... Uh, this. I, I feel like I shouldn't be here, Claire. Mm -hmm. I feel like this isn't where I'm supposed to be going. But on the chat, they were saying, Oh, John, you can't go that way. That's, oh. the, level, that's the level 50 city. You don't go there now. Yeah, well, look where I am, boyos. Claire. Uh, so shout out to uh, shout out to Bartlett who says in chat uh, Bombardier. Yeah. So I'm assuming uh, that's the stock called Bombardier. I think I've heard that name before, but I wouldn't have been able to ID it at a glance. I think it's not this generation. I think that's an older generation, uh, but not one of. Oh no, there's another cave. Oh Claire, there's the. Oh. What's that? It's a Hariyama. Big, big, chunky Hariyama. And he's very wide, which is a problem because he's kind of. There is children in the way. Hmm. If they kind of get out the way, I might be able to squeeze past them. They're kind are, you, of... are you trying to do the. Uh... Oh, hang on. They're coming at me. Yeah, they're coming at me. Yes, yes. Go, 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 go. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Go! You're yes! To do... Yes! Yes! Go! We're going to do it! We're going to flip and do it. You're doing the oblivion way by just running real fast. Yeah, my speed is 120. We're going in, boys. We're making it to Psychic Town. We're going to do it. We're going to flip and do it. We're going to flip and do it. We're going to flip and do it. We're going to ignore all the traders. We're not going to fight anybody. We're just going to make it to the Psychic City. We're underneath the Psychic City right now. We, we, we must oh. be almost there. We've done it. They said we couldn't do it, but we're going to do it. We're going to make it. Got to remember. Oh, what... dear, oh dear. At some point, we're going to reach a thing I can't pass, aren't we? We're going reach... to reach an impossible, impenetrable barrier. It's going to be great. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to I Am Dead, who gave us 20 New Zealand dollar... Ooh, dollars. Sorry. Excellent dollars. <laughs> Uh, I am dead. Says uh, get our team uh, here with an unusual game recommendation: The Missing, JJ Macfield and the Island of Memories by Swery, of course, of Deadly Premonition. Uh, it's a side-scrolling puzzler akin to Limbo with LGBT rep and an emotional story. You know, the weird thing is that's actually been in my calendar for so long. I just mm -hmm. haven't got around to it. It's been sitting on the shortlist for me to have a loot set whenever there was a good opportunity to do so. For so, 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 what on earth are you? I don't know what it is, but it's level 44, so I'm just going to leave it alone and, like, not not be murdered by it. Also, is that another one of them stakes? Is that a stake I'm supposed to be? No, that's just a sconce. That is not a, that is not a forbidden stake that I should be taking care of. It's all absolutely fine. We're all, I, I, like, follow the stakes. Like, we're, we're under the city. I, oh, hang on. <gasps> Holy flat. Holy flat. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Psychic City! Psychic City! We're going into the Psychic Gym! We're gonna kick their asses! We're gonna kick their asses! We're gonna... I have not been fighting at any trainers in this area. I'm so sorry. We're gonna do it! Yes! We're gonna do it! We've made it to Iverstead! We got there! Yes! We're gonna take the gym challenge. I don't know what the gym challenge is. We're gonna take the gym test. Oh dear, oh dear. Shout out to Will Z who uh, gave us two dollars. Uh, and so can't uh, and says uh, can't put Clarados uh, in uh, SV. Uh, Scarlet Violet. Uh, wait, there's there's no Gyarados. No, there is. There is. There is definitely. There is definitely Gyarados. We've seen we've seen magic cops all over the place. Well, yeah, that's why I was confused. You should catch a Gyarados and call it Clarados. Okay. This, oh, flip um, the slope. Uh, the thing is, just because a Pokemon's here, that's oh, a oh, hello. That's so Slowpoke. Slowpoke's great. Whether like that means that is a slowpoke in the game or not, I don't know. Because this does not add it to the Pokedex. Which is a bit of a shame. I, um, I, I wish it did. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, so, yes. Will Z says... Uh, uh, you can't put uh, Clarados in uh, Scarlet Violet. So this is for Claire. Oh. 
Uh, well, that's very sweet of you to say. Well, Thank definitely, you. You, can, you can definitely get a Gyarados. I'm, I'm going to be lobbying for that. Oh my goodness, it's the original dumb pixels from oh, Golden cute. Silver. So that was a dragon and that was a grass type and that was like anything that was vaguely unspecifiedly monstery. So okay, at the bare minimum, I can do the gym test. All right, we're, we're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to do it. Let me in. All right, this is an open world game. If I want to do the level 50 gym right now, that's what I'm going to flip and do. Uh oh, Nimona's here. Is Nimona going to be, what the cock are you doing here? <laughs> Nimona might be really, really annoyed at me. So on, we've ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. It is, especially as it's not the right gym I'm supposed to be visiting. What a weird coincidence. And I swear I'm not just in ahead of you so I can lie and wait to go. Oh, wow, weird. <laughs> might as well battle. Uh oh. I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Thank God. Okay. That's that's good. Because this is... If, if you're scaled to this level, I'm, uh, to this gym, I'm screwed. Oh, Ether. She's giving me stuff. I like Nimona. Nimona's great. And apparently in my she's class... talking you and giving you drugs. Yeah. I want to do the gym test. I've no idea what the gym test is, but I want to do it. Let me do the gym test. All right. My name's John. I'm a challenger. I want to do whatever the gym test is. You need to pass the gym test. Yeah. And that means work up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. Emotional spectrum practice. Oh, wow. You might be a bit shit at that. I'm not good at emotions. <laughs> Completely <laughs> passed the test. Aww. The woman wearing the black tracks into the practice area will explain. Okay, I, I, need, to, I need to do emotional exercise. Ooh. I just want to beat up Pokemon with my Pokemon. This is a... The, g g <sighs> Well, this is. Ah, yes. Uh, Will says that uh, he caught Clarados in uh, Legend Arceus uh, and it was shiny. Ah. So, yeah. I mean, obviously. Okay, here we go. Welcome. This is where we do emotional exercise. And this is... Uh, why is your battle studies teacher here at the uh, Pokemon Gym work as an instructor? This is one of my teachers. I'm going to be honest, I haven't gone to any of my classes. But apparently this is one of my teachers who I've never met before. I'm the worst student. Um, I've been friends with the gym leader, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and well... Okay, this is just slavery with extra steps. Uh, point is, a chance to get both a workout and help my friend when I don't have classes. So, emotional exercise... I'll show you a certain movement. You copy it. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's do whatever the cock this is precisely. Show me an eruption of emotions. That's weird. This is very weird. But all right. What are we supposed to... Okay. We're just yeah, following the, the medi can be information, uh, informative uh, or fun. I uh, recommend going to the classes. Here we go. Any moment now the game's going to load. And the Medicham's going to do a thing. I want that slow poke. I want that slow poke. Oh, me and Mankey are doing... Oh, me and Mankey are both bad at emotional exercise. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Looks prized. Okay. Show me excitement. Do I have to keep being excited? <laughs> you to keep doing it. Yeah, keep being excited. Yeah, you have to do reps, obviously. I'm still being excited. Do, do, do you just want me to keep doing this? Yes. That's, it's, it's exercise. You have to keep doing it. Okay, I'm, I'm almost done being excited. Become the embodiment of joy. I'm becoming the embodiment do of joy. Do you have to hold, maybe? Oh, hang on, maybe. Oh, yeah, you have to hold. Oh, I just have to hold. It's oh, okay. much faster when you hold, huh? Yeah, that's, that's way faster. Joyful smile. Frowny. Frowny. Yeah. Frowny again. There we go. Okay. Show me some anger. Excitement. Okay. okay. I, I thought I just had to tap, but now I have to hold. Okay. Now, shock. Head to toe surprise. What? What's this? This is not emotional exercise. I don't I don't buy that this is emotional exercise. I don't buy this. And then anger. Yeah. That's right. More anger. This is the weirdest shit. I, I, have I passed the gym test? By making faces at a Medicham. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such a powerful performance of emotion. Brilliant. I, 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 it turns out I'm a genius to emotions. Uh-huh. And this is... Wait, what? 
No! No, I was just here for emotional exercise! What? No! I'm not sure I'm ready for this! I'm about to be beaten up by a child! What? What? Who? By a child and her goth Pokemon. Level 43! Ha <laughs> ha! If she tries to set up, I might be able to get a swagger off. She didn't try to set up. Okay, this, this, this could be, this could potentially be a problem. Okay. So this is, um... Lol, pain time, R.I.P. John. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, um, uh, hmm. John's okay. about to get killed by a five-year-old. No, I'm not. I need to, if only I had, if I had like a scarf on Staravia, I could probably, I could definitely get through one of these. Uh, okay, my best bet's got to be hoping to survive one hit somehow, and then going for an Endeavor into a Quick Attack. Endeavor into Quick Attack can do a lot of dumb damage, so I've just got to hope I can take one hit. Oh, for goodness sake. Wait, hang on, Fake Tears. If my hit points are way higher than yours, that still counts as it's not nothing. So, quick attack? No, it's not going to be enough to kill. I need for her to attack me and not get the kill. And I don't know whether you can possibly do this. If you can possibly take a side shot. No. Okay. If I had the scar on me to survive, like uh, the sash... Uh, if we're lucky, fake tears might be able to be enough. Fake tears. If it decides to fake tears, then we've got like half a chance. Endure! No, but I'm probably not fast enough to get the flail off. I'm going to try activating rollout and see if maybe if she fake tears. No, she's going straight into side shock. Is that a physical? If that's a physical fan beat, fan beat can't take it. Okay. Um, this is, this is, mm, okay, uh, if, if, I can do Aqua Jet, I can Aqua Jet, that's guaranteed first move, which is, I think it might be time to size and just max everything, activate size Aqua Jet, okay, we're gonna go out looking fancy, alright, here we go, activate Crystal Thick Duck, alright, here we go. I have a question. Yes. Is it Terra Size like one time per Pokemon per heal, or is it for all of your Pokemon? What once once per heal? That's it. Aqua Jet with double stab on it. We did some level of damage, and now we just need to survive. Nope. Lol. Okay, so that's that. It's it. We oh, got. Oh, I fainted gracefully. Oh, that's I like quite like that animation. I quite like that animation. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not feeling like Smoliv's gonna get this <laughs> done. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> I thought this was an. I thought this was a that's meditation. That's why you had to practice being sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go for Razor Leaf. Critical hit. Smoliv, I believe in you. Smoliv. Nah. <laughs> Smoliv just... Smoliv's dead. Psyshock is a special attack that hits against your physical defense stat. Graveyard, it's up to you! Go, Graveyard! I choose you! Come on, Graveyard. Go for the bite. Gee, John, it's almost like we warned you. Wow, she... swept you. And unfortunately, I don't know where to get, like, the focus sash from. And until I've got that... Does she steal half my money? Oh, I bet he had any money. That's fine. Okay, I was overwhelmed by my defeat. To a child in front of a crowd of You people. hurried to the Pokemon Center, shielding your exhausted Pokemon from further... Okay, so I've run away crying from the gym. Yeah. From the child much younger than you who beat you up in front of a bunch of people. Yeah. This is and true. And the internet. This, this is definitely true. The internet that warned you. Yeah. The internet, the internet warned me a little bit. Mm, they warned you a lot. They didn't warn me that much. Okay, well, on the plus side, we've I mean, they did. I just didn't tell you all of the warning because you would have been annoyed with it. There we go. Well, you know what? There's there's a nice little uh, crystal thing right here. No! 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 
Get him! No. Get him! 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 Get Holy yeah, shit! It's your, it's your worst nightmare. This is actually this is this is this is like it. This is but this is this is canon. This is an evil dark type sunken. Oh, Holy amazing. shit! No, Everybody no. He is enjoying this. No, no. <laughs> Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Dark type. The the the, the, the canonically like, look evil Look how happy sunken. the chat is. <laughs> canonically evil sunken. It's an evil. It's an evil sun card. I tried to warn ye all, but would ye listen? Ye wouldn't listen. Holy shit! It's an evil sun card. It's wearing an evil. The, the the dark type hat is so fucking dumb. <laughs> Activate cross chop. Punch it in the stupid face. Yeah. I think I one shot that. No. Sun card. You one shot you. it. Terrorize. Fuck you. I hate you so much. I hate you all. Don't catch it. Throw it in a volcano instead. Yeah, that's right. It's disappeared somewhere. Hopefully to death. Right, good. We, the evil has been defeated. We killed it. That's my, You know what? I don't care that I lost to a small child outside the gym. We've defeated the evil Sunkern. I finally got revenge for myself as a child. Alright, that's, that's, that's the important thing. Also, there's... I don't know what you are. There's there's loads more Pokemon around here. That are all very strong. That are all very strong. That's certainly true. Lol. Okay. Uh, shout out to... Uh, you just put the sunk in sunken. Whoa! Love it. Shout out to Archive, who gave us two pounds and says, Evil grows in the dark where sunken never shines. Oh, there's a Honkrow, by the way. There's a... Uh, there's, yeah. there's the Mafia boss Pokemon. There's the mob, yeah. And there is indeed some ruins up here, which will probably mean... Maybe. No, it's Sunflora! Fuck you! Fuck you! I can't kill you, unfortunately. Oh, a Bronzong! I love Bronzongs. But then I never actually use them. Because... And also, it's going to be level 40. And it's going to be something. about level 40. Yeah. Ooh, give me go. There's a Hypno as well. That's nice. Help yourselves too. Wait, hang on. What are you? Oh, it's the Teacups! Wait, what, did, what level are you guys? Oh, they're level 42! No! I think, okay, I'm not sure we're going to be able to catch anything around here. And even if I do, they're not going to they're not going to obey me. So we should probably check that last thing down over here, and then GTFO. Oh, it's back almost to... like they did warn you. Look, I I I am happy I came this way. Yes, All right. you murdered a sunken. I murdered an e the the evil is defeated. I've defeated the evil sunken. That is the important thing. That is a psychic oh. combe. I I'm not trying to even be bothered with a psychic cone bee. Uh, but you know what? I'll just kill it with Thief. I'll kill it with Thief and it'll be fine. There we go. I, that's, there, there we go. Not, not the bronze on Carl. No, I, I caught a good bronze or earlier. It, 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 it entered my team and left it between the video and this live stream. Faster than this could happen. We got rid of that. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was petting Ted and playing with him, like, on the ground in, in John's office while he was, uh, while he was playing yeah. And like before we had dinner one evening, and I think I was there for like half an hour before I went to make some dinner. And, and in the time you were there, Bronzong yeah, joined yeah. the team and got kicked out, yeah. Um, yes indeed. Uh, oh, this is really, um, hey, shout out to Richard who uh, gave us $50. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, and since my sister passed after a long illness, during our last shopping trip, I made her laugh using a technique I learned from John. Thank you for that, and happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, though. I, I'm amazed I've got techniques. I mean, I think you've got technique. You've got game. You're what? very smooth. <laughs> it's very generous, but I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear this in general. That's, yes, very sad, but, you know, it's always difficult to know what to say to that, isn't it? Mm. You know, we're, we're glad to do whatever we can. Uh, but it's, you know, yeah. Yeah, a, a terrible situation, obviously. Yes, indeed. Uh, and people are pointing out that it was a female cone bee. It's not like they're, they're rare. There yeah. are many, many female cone bees out there. They're Wait, not that... I'm sorry. Are they actually supposed to be rare in Pokemon? I didn't think they were supposed to. I didn't think they were that rare. I knew there was... I, knew, I don't think... I mean, shouldn't... 
that? Female combi is apparently 12.5% spawn rate. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm being attacked by a bug. The bug's trying to murder me. Get on the motorcycle and go. Claire, we need to get out of here. The Spider-Man Spider bug is trying to kill me. Also, we apparently are not... Okay, apparently that was... Uh, apparently it was rare. I thought I thought it was like 50-50. I did not realise it was super rare. But, okay, uh, well, we killed that. But that's really... Oh, well. Lol. I mean, that doesn't make any Claire's sense. very angry about bee-related facts. Claire has strong opinions about bees. I just think don't get us start. Don't get us started on bees. I just think it's weird that you didn't know that all bees are female, except for, like, a few... I just assumed the queen was female and the rest were all male. That what? seems that's reasonable. That's ridiculous. Well, that's what happens in Pokemon. Clearly, maybe that's where I learnt it from. Uh-huh. Okay. Or, or the bee movie. Mm-hmm. So we've made it to here, and there's... Ah, there's apparently loads of ruins over in this direction. That's kind of cool. So, all right. We now know what's going oh, on. Oh, no, I spent over an hour trying to find a female com combi in violet. <laughs> okay. So we can go here. Let's try and get that <laughs> new mail. Mexico says, uh, Pokemon, gotta catch a reasonably high proportion of them all. It's true, you know. Yeah. You know what's really fun? <laughs> there's over a thousand Pokemon now. And we don't know which, technically, number a thousand is. Mm. Because I believe the national decks hasn't been revealed. Or if it is, no one's updated their sites to reflect it. Meaning, officially, I'm not sure we know which number a thousand actually is. Unless you count using the Paldea decks. Which, generally, we don't do. You have to wait for like the national decks to come out. So you can check what the numbering system overall is. So I think we don't know what Pokemon a thousand is yet. It exists. I'm not sure we know which one it is, which is kind of wild, actually. But there you go. Yeah. So, okay. If we go out and now we turn right, we go towards an area that's not a ludicrous, like, death pet. But there's also a whole bunch of... Yeah, there's, like, there's weird things over on the right here. I don't know what they are precisely. But there's three of them, like, in, in like, a matching set. So... Hang about. Ignore all of you guys. Ignore the rock crufts, etc. We've been here before. It says, ah! It's the... It's turbines. That's what these things are. Can I go inside them? Apparently not. So, okay. There's three turbines going up in this direction. And then if I take the path going to the left in a moment, that will bring me in the direction of uh, the desert area, which might be close by to Numel. All right, because I will, I will take a new mail. I will flip and take a new mail. And Miss Dreamer's level 17. I'll, oh, hang on. Oh, boulders. We were warned about this. So, okay. Those are the boulders that the Sky Titan Pokemon is attempting to... Use some confusion. I forget you've got Psychic Attacks, which is going to hurt, but not that bad. Hopefully this doesn't cause confusion. No, we're fine. Just kill you. That's fine. Mankey really could do with leveling up a little bit more and evolving into Primate at some point. But okay, yes, there are balls and Aqua Cutter. That sounds kind of badass. What is Aqua Cutter? Power 70, accuracy 100. Heightened chance of landing a crit, so it's like Slash. It's pretty good, you know. Am I willing to get rid of... I've never used Work Up once. I can change it. I can get it back if I change my mind later. It's like Howl for me. Because it's only... Because I don't care about the special attack. You know what? Aqua Cutter, like Water Slash. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good move. If I'd had that, I'd have beaten that girl in the gym. Uh, Definitely. Sci-Fi Storm says, Gimme Ghoul Evo is the last in the Poldia decks. Therefore, it will be last in the, nat in the new national decks. Therefore, it is number 100, number 1,000 even. No, but there's 1,010. It's, it's whichever one's 10th last. Oh. I believe. Uh, I believe there's 1,010 now. And there's another crystal thing right here. That is a rock uh, Makuhita. That is not that exciting. We'll just go in and punch it with Mankey. I mean, uh, um, I, if you could become rock, I'm not sure that's particularly interesting. Oh, yeah, and Victini's number zero. So, hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. So there we go. And I, I don't I do not do the auto. The reason I don't do auto battling, by the way, people ask you why I don't do auto battling. You seem to get, like, a tiny fraction of XP that you would get from normal battling, which I find weird. Also, I really don't understand the rock cat. 
Like, I thought the rock cat was a fighting hat. Because it's got, like, boxing gloves on it. Like, I thought it was like a... Like, a, I don't know, a boxing arena. Like, why is that rock? It looks like it's got boxing gloves. It should be fighting. I disagree well, with this. Isn't it like a... It looks to me like it's a, like a wagon in a mine in a bunch of oil. A wagon in a mine? Really? I, 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 re I read that as like a temple with pillars with boxing gloves coming out to the side. Like a really, really fancy... I, I don't know. I just, I just don't... I just do not read it as wrong. Like maybe it's supposed to be like a, a gem, but then why is like a one face of the gem red and the rest not? I don't know. I, I, I just it's don't... It's a minecart, they are gems. I, I, yeah. For me, I just can't read that. Like, when I saw it's the... It's an ancient temple with boulders. I thought, when I saw the... Like, minecart in my video, or... I thought my Bonsly was fighting type. Because I... That. Because that hat. And it wasn't. It was a Bonsly that was or it was rock type. So, by sheer coincidence, it was the type it should have been in the first place. I just did not realise this. So, yes. Everything. Yeah. That was all very peculiar. Right, let's let's get up the uh, hill. Treasure chest with gems, minecarts. Uh... Oh, hang on! No, wait. Am I going the? No, I need to go. Need to turn this way. I need to go up this way towards the desert. Now there are boulders, which people are saying, if yeah, the guy who said on the phone, if the boulders hit me, you're gonna take loads of damage and like die. So now we now that boulder's gone this way. New. No. Here we go. Make it pass. I might just go towards a boss right now. I'm worried I'm not going into Numo territory and I'm about to take on a boss. I like the Sky Titan and I'm not ready to take on the Sky... Oh! Not ready to take on the Sky Titan. But I think I might be about to take on the Sky Titan. This was not what I intended to do. I think I'm about to take on the Sky Titan. I just watched a Numo! Hi! Who are you? Oh, it's, it's, it's one of those storks. It's the bomb, but one Bombardier's. How do these fights happen? Stork! Bombardier. It just yelled stork for some reason. Um, I'm modestly concerned. I'm going to try swaggering at it because Mankey's not going to win. How tough is this thing? We could be in trouble again. Ah, yeah, that's fine. You, you know. Okay. This is fine. You can beat the Titan. Sky Titan's a joke. Surprisingly easy. You are actually over leveled for this card. A Sky Titan. Oh, wait, you're dead. Lol. I'm going to send in Star Avia. Just see how Star Avia compares side by side. I'm just going to send in. Like, Mankey's defensively weak and weak to that. And we're going to intimidate it. Getting an intimidate off early is not a bad thing. Let's just try an aerial ace and see what happens. I'm faster. Oh, okay, we're annihilating it. Okay, that's fine. It's going for the pluck. Oh, we're fine. Okay. I thought we were in trouble, but it was just Mankey is defensively very flimsy, and it was just a bad fight for Mankey. Um, so, in which case, go for the final arrow lace. Okay, fine. Easy. Do, do I catch it as a result? Oh, hang on. It's going. It's left. I, I, are you now cool? Did I just need to beat you up? So you were like... I don't think it's cool. Well, it, it, it's it's naffing off. It's... It began eating... Uh-oh. It's eating radioactive sludge. Hi! I know you told me to go and get the giant crab first, but I, I didn't. I I actually came here by accident. I was here looking for a new mal. Do you have a new mal? You can have the, the, the Herba Mystica if you just give me a new mal. I was looking to sneak up here to head its attention on you, little buddy. And it's just trying to power itself up with some kind of mystical meal power. This guy's superpower is making sandwiches, by the way. He's like me in oblivion. Nice. He's great. I love him. So you better ready to go. Or, oh, I think he's about to do phase two. I think he's about to phase two us. But this time, maybe it's a double battle with me and Arvin? Oh, shit. He's, he's, gone, he's gone Super Saiyan. He's, is he bigger? I don't know if he's bigger. Let's try, let's just try Aerial Ace again. It worked pretty well. And you're sending out Nackley and trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a taste of defeat. He's, he's not wrong. Rocks, rocks are dangerous. It's, it's still pretty weak. It's going for Torment. Is that you can't repeat a move twice in a row or is that? I think Torment is you can't use a move twice in a row. Nackley's using, yeah, rocks. Yeah, rocket, a rock throw is really quite good against him. 
I'll go to wing attack, because why not? Uh, wing attack. Next rock attack should do it. Here comes Pluck. Doesn't really do much against Nackley. Nackley's rock. So Nackley's going for the smackdown. Nice. Down he goes again. All right. Mankey was on just a bad, unfortunate pick to be up first, because Mankey was, you know, flimsy. Uh, but are we finally ready to... Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, I feel bad about that. D did he just die? Also, do we get XP for this? We do. Mankey doesn't, though. Mankey, Mankey didn't get to take part. So, my okay, my bird beat their bird. Excellent. So, that's... That's a thing. I'm sorry, this wasn't the one I was supposed to do first, but can I have a power-up for my bicycle now? Way to go, John! And looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now! It's true, that is a good thing to, to, to have sorted out. And presumably, this is the first of the... Herba Mystica, that he wants to create the world's best sandwich. That's actually his life goal. He wants I to make the him. best sandwich in the world. Has some more of that Herba Mystica rotating here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan comes back. Honestly, I feel like we're fine. At oh, Now we're going in together. Me and Arvin just... Okay, me and Arvin are just doing this. Me and Arvin are just doing this now. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. Well, if we can beat the Titan, we must be able to beat anything else in here. Yeah. No way. Is it the Herba Mystica? It's the Herba Mystica! I thought this might be a dungeon. But no, we've just found the Herba Mystica. Not the one we were supposed to go to first. Exactly how it looked in the book. Are you going to take it? Are you just going to steal it now? Bitter Herba Mystica. There we go. We've got it. We found one! And it's thanks to you, John! And what does the book have to say? So great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. Warms you up. Nice and toasty. Even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. Okay. So now if I can just get him to... Ooh. Do you have a tragic, like, sick little brother or something? Because I suspect that's where we're going with this. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. Missing Knight gave us uh, $5 and says you really need to beat another Titan to see why Arvin is doing this. You will be very on his side. Maybe yeah. it's for his Pokemon. Yeah, it could be. A, I think it's a sickly Pokemon or family member, I'm guessing. And an Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs! I'll even give you a badge! Generally, that's what gyms do. I feel like this is... It's not a real badge, is it? He's just making up his own badge system. Yeah, don't you love that? Though? That's kind of cute. That, yeah, you know what? That, that's pretty good. What the flip? Oh, it's a terrible sandwich. I thought the... Oh, the sandwich... Because the, the herb is bitter. Apparently, we both hated the sandwich. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well, you need to go find another herb to balance out the bitterness. That's true. But apparently we're going to eat the sandwich anyway, despite John how much... definitely going to cry by the end of this story. Oh, oh man, no. this book is... hurt me sobbing. Oh, no, is it a dog? Also, yeah, he... yes, your legendary motorcycle that you just gave away. There he is. I, I, I ride him around. He's a motorcycle now. He enjoys eating sandwiches. There we go. No, that's not for you. Yes, it is. He can have my sandwich. Do you want to give you a sandwich? Here you go. Have a sandwich. There you go, buddy. Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Hey, I went for all the trouble of making that for you. You just gave it away. Yes, to my motorcycle. Who got me up the hill? He's part of the team, Arvin. Hope you realise that's all there was. Now there's none left for you. That's fine. That's okay. Come on, you're making me feel like a selfish jerk here. Look, my motorcycle. You can have half of mine. You better save it every... Oh, he's sharing a sandwich with me. You already ate the whole thing. Oh! If I give him enough sandwiches... Oh, he can go across the water! Yes! Give him more sandwiches! Giving this Pokemon sandwiches is the key to unlocking its power. It just needs more sandwiches! Turns out that's the key. They had a bigger effect on your Pokemon than I bet. Oh, yeah. He's... He's got some form of sickly something. He's got a... There's a sad thing coming. Sadness is on its way. I think. Time to tidy everything up. The picnic is over. We were originally supposed to be doing this fast because we were worried the Titan would come back. Then we just stopped for a picnic instead. <laughs> Oh dear. Leave this to me. Much obliged if you start searching up the remaining Herba Mystica. Yeah, so I, I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really mean to, to come this way. Maybe now we've cleared out this. Pokemon will spawn in the desert where there were the boulders. You're about to do a sad thing. I really owe you. Ooh. Sad thing. 
Okay, the coast is clear. Oh. Oh, no. You can come out now. That's the Pokeball sound, but I didn't hear a cry to help me ID it. That's just my phone. It's a Rotom. We, we use Rotoms for phones now. Hello, this is Toro. Oh, yes, you're interested in my motorcycle. He's regained some of his power. So we should now be able to move across water. Nice. So now we can just be on water. Continue exploring Powder with Maradon. As you've done here. The route's not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using the map and the tools you have at hand. I did. I went to the Psychic City. It was a terrible mistake. Also, I dressed my phone up like a Quaxley. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes. How will that experience help you grow in some way, great or small? Go forth on your journey. Take care of Maradon. I was doing it already. Now, by any chance, a Pokemon now spawning in the desert area? Uh, okay. So people are saying a sand path does not equal a desert. A lot of sand equals a desert. Gosh darn it. I was kind so of hoping. So maybe if you look at the map, you'll see an arrow with loads of sand. I think this one's just the north of me. Yeah, but I if I hop over here, I can now swim. There we go. So now I can get up to here, which is kind of nice, which gets me to... I've seen you. I've got all of you. I've got all of you. But yeah, now I can just uh, swim if that's what I want to do. And if I want to just kind of... Uh, go down the river this will take me down to where i was uh, and i can also jump off the thing so okay now i've actually got swimming which is very very nice indeed and this is going to bring me straight down to oh hang on can't help but notice that actually the three things the one at the end you can go to the top of Okay, can I can I ride my motorcycle? Yes, ride my motorcycle up the stairs. That seems very yes, dangerous. yes, motorcycle oh, please, up the stairs. Motorcycle up the stairs. Yes, not gonna fall off. Not gonna, didn't, didn't fall off. Didn't almost fell off. Didn't fall off. All right, so that gets me back to here. So okay, now I'm here, and if I just follow this path, I can see there's a Great big massive ass desert here. How to get into said desert, given this what I assume is a massive cliff here. What looks like well it looks like there's an open path there, but that's closed path too. And this is like a cave there that might lead me up to here. Well, awesome cliffs you can jump down. Yeah. Possible. I mean I don't know that's up. It could be down just as easily. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll probably heal up the Pokemon in the Pokemon Center and then simply follow the road up here and then just... Actually, you know what? Yeah, there's Pokemon Center here, so I can... I can yeah, I'll can heal up anyway because right now Mankey's uh, wounded. So, we'll take Mankey back over there. That's all absolutely fine. So, okay, we'll just follow that path up towards the Pokemon Center towards the desert and see if we can make it to the desert. So it's all going to be fine. So I would love a new Mel. I love camera ups. Camera ups like seriously one of my top faves. And normally new Mel and camera up don't get to be in these games. I can't remember the last time new Mel and camera ups even showed up in modern Pokemon. It's barely been there at all. So I'm, I'm just very, 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 very I, 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 just, I, I want, I want Claire. Yes. So therefore. Oh, that's a very cute Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And he evolves oh. into Cam. I know. And look at his evolved form. It's super cute. That's very cute. I know, he looks really badass. He's got some really cool moves. So I want a camera up. I want to have like earthquake and eruption and shit. It's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely spectacular. Okay. Let's just go in this direction. Just follow the path. We've definitely seen all these Pokemon before now. So we can ignore all of these. Picnic guys generally just give you free shit. Like free picnic ingredients. Which is great. So here you go. Yep, here's a gift. Free picnic ingredients so I can make my own sandwiches. Prosciutto and... Uh, uh, tortillas and uh, cheese and shit. Excellent. There we go. And I don't need to actually have a rest. I'm okay. Nothing wrong with living fast. Come back here. There's, there's literally just a Pokemon Center up the road, but okay. Right. Take out the trainers while we're passing by. And uh, are you one of the students? Have you got a mustache? <laughs> He's... He's a mature student, John. Oh, okay. It's, 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 sorry, my, my main thought was he was an old man pretending. Pineco is for interest in this game. Ooh. Uh, okay, so um, Crick 
it says uh, there's some ruins east of the Pokemon Center John is heading to on a hill. I just got a new mole there. Oh, the Pokemon Center I'm heading to? Yes. The, the, not the one I was just at. Yes. And Nimble. Uh, switch Pokemon out for something with a flying type. Uh, Quaxi is a tiny... Quaxi is a tiny bit behind. Uh, we'll bring you out for the Aerolites. Okay, well, we're going towards that Pokemon Center right now. And then when we get there, we'll look for nearby ruins and see if we can scout out a new mole in that. So, okay. I, I like Fortress. Fortress is cool. Fortress is a really cool little... Uh, uh, physical tank. I would not mind a Pineco Forotress. Like, my team is right now very much just a giant pile of physical sweepers. Having, like, a big Forotress tank, with, you know, could have, like, toxic and spikes and shit. That'd be kind of cool. I'd, I, I could accept that. I could deal with that. That'd be okay. Clap! Uh, Trenton says there's a student in the school who, uh, when you talk to them, they've been a student for 20 years. Uh, the ages for this school seem to be 4 to 80... Uh, it's maybe a university rather than a school, so the students can be any age if they qualify. But there are, yeah, we seem to have babies and mature students in this one school. It seems to like be a literally everything school. Everyone just gets to study here if they want. Which maybe but it's just how it works. Everyone who like has an affinity with Pokemon, maybe I don't know. I guess. And there's just a gimme ghoul sign. So okay, we're going towards a city. Whether we're going towards the right city, whether we're going towards another city where everyone kicks my ass and wears it like a hat, it's hard to bloody say. Claire. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, uh, finally, Tessa, who's been oh, a uh -oh. for six months. Just, uh, just a second too late, I noticed that this person had a black speech mark when, as in the background of their text, which I think means this person's very strong. I think we might be about to be destroyed by a really, really fancy model. Okay. Oh, that pig is so cute. That is an, that's an evolved pig. Oh, no, that's fine. I was worried there for a second, but she's okay. Just... Oink, load. Yeah. Load. Okay, we're fine. Oh, Mankey used pork chop on it. Mankey, why do you keep dying? Because... Glass he is, but he's not quite being able to get the kills. Right, Fampy, you can definitely take this. Get in there, Fampy. And yeah, you can actually, you, you can deal with, it started raining as well. I'm, bring, I'm bringing Mankey back to life so we get some XP. Alright, you can, gosh darn it, I used on the wrong item, on the wrong Pokemon. And that counts as a turn. Play rough. Okay, you, we can take that. I feel like that should be, the game should be like, oh no, it has no effect, so you shouldn't have to waste a turn doing that, but okay. This Pokemon. I tried to use a revive on a Pokemon that wasn't dead, and it used my turn anyway. Uh -huh. Which feels unfair to me. So, okay, this is fine. My, my attack's going down, but you're almost dead. Go for a Bulldoze. That should definitely kill that. It's gonna go for another play rough. It didn't get a crit, so it's fine. I mean, I'll give you, that is definitely... Yeah, this is this is Fairy. Fairy effective against fighting. Which I forget about because I, I I always forget the fairy alignments because fairies didn't used to be in the game back when I was super into Pokemon. So there we go, and there we go, sending out Luxio. Oh no, this is this is perfect. Like I've got the ground type. You 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 send out Luxio all you cock and want. Then again, can bites? Could bites kill Fampy? Go for Bulldoze anyway. It knows Ice Fang. Oh, even then it can't kill me. Bulldoze! It might not kill it, cause it, it, it just because... Yeah, my attack's been massively lowered. Okay, but your speed's down. Uh, yeah, my attack's down two levels. Okay, it knows Ice Fang and Electricity. Let's get Grievile, uh, Grieveyard up here. Fampy, you're staying, you're staying out of this. Let's get Grieveyard. Okay, you know what? This, this train is a bit on the tougher side. I understand why she was flanked as a bit tougher. But I should be able to take an Ice Fang. I think I've got pretty good everything. That was a crit as well. Okay, go for the dig. Go for the dig. Yep, di I'm faster than it now, thanks to the Bulldoze. So whatever you're about to do is about to miss. Probably, th yeah, Thunder Fang. And now go for the dig. And this should hopefully be a kill. I mean, super effective and it's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Graveyard gets the kill. Nice. You got more for me? No, just the two. Nice. I flipping love it. So, okay. That's got to be... Uh, I need to make even stronger TMs. 3,200 as well. On top of that... Oh, it's Fampy! Fampy's going to evolve into a big elephant. 
Yes, come on, big elephant! Don Fan! Yes! Don Fan is mighty! Don Fan! Normally calm, once in rage, it curls its body into a ball and charges at you while rolling. It's supposed to look like a giant tire. Yes! So you said you wanted a tank. Yeah, Don Fan. Is trying a tank? Fury attack. I don't know if I want Fury Attack to be honest. Fury Attack's kind of bad. Oh, I'm going to leave that. Mm. I'll leave it. Uh, although I will also check its moves now to see whether maybe it actually gets to... And also just check its stats in general at this moment. Because our oh, 75 attack, 71 nice. defense. Like, that's hitting cocking hard next to the rest of the team at this point. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. What level is he? Uh, 25. 25, yeah, yeah. And what else does he... Rename him to Big Event, please. Oh, he can actually learn... Th he, he can pick up Thunder Fang and Fire Fang. Apparently, that's just part of his move pool. He can also have Assurance. So, doubled if Target's already taken some damage in the same turn. Knock off. Which is, in all fairness, like, that's 65 power, 100 accuracy. It's not bad for coverage. But I, I think I'm more interested in just giving him Thunder Fang and Fire Fang. I mean, accuracy is 95, but it gives him some coverage. And they're both physical moves. I think give him that in place of Flail and Endure. That gives him some really good coverage. That's that's some lovely coverage, actually. Uh, so, yeah, when a Pokemon evolves, always just check their move pool. Because there can be stuff hidden away in it. Uh, so, okay. Now he's got coverage against, like... Everything. So okay, uh, Don Fan has just secured his place in the team. Yeah, uh, Don Fan said. Uh, Damien says uh, Don Fan. He should have been called Elephant Tire. That's quite good. Yeah. Yeah. What if that fits? There are there are limits on Pokemon. Uh, the number of characters. I wonder if Elephant Tire is too long to officially be a Pokemon. I think the problem we've got is, yeah, at this point, yeah, Mankey just needs to level up a little bit and uh, etc. In fact, you know, I might use a little you bit have of candy. I might use. I don't have the candy, but I don't think I'd rather use the XP stuff. Uh, you know what? I will. Yeah, I think you have to go. You have to go to boxes for that, do you? I'll give. Him, maybe I'll get him up to like twenty-five-ish. Um, and then no, not boxes. Bag. That's what I meant. Uh, uh, use, you know what, clear it out on him. And that is 24. Yeah, that should be better. Uh, so that's, now he's a little bit more in line with the rest of the team. Now everyone's becoming up on 25, which I'm fine with. Spoken to be updated. I'm just going to check the top of these, uh, light, uh, light, sorry, not lighthouses. They're, uh, flibbly doobers. Um, uh, wind turbines, I think. Claire. Uh, yes. In How are you doing in general, by the way? A uh, little behind, but not too bad. Well, you know I'm... what? We're moving our way just up towards this, uh, this area up here. This might but be a good time But at some point, I would like to get up and go have a check on the soup. Oh, fair enough. Uh, we're having chicken soup for dinner tonight. Nice. Mm. It oh. did smell super good earlier. Mm. It was smelling super good. Yeah, I just made some stock. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, shout out to, uh, finally, Tessa, who has been a member for six months, uh, and says, I just wanted to say hi to everyone. I'm able to watch the whole stream today since I don't have to work. Nice. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, no one of consequence uh, gave us $10 uh, and says, uh, and wants to know, are you going to continue your playthrough of the Dragon Age games? Uh, yes, at some point, though, of course, it was in the most recent Democracy Week at the start of 2022, where it did lose out, uh, it didn't do bad, but it definitely lost out some other bits and pieces, and therefore those series are happening first, because that's, uh, that's how Democracy Week goes. Uh, so, yes, at some point, but it's not imminent on account of, yes, those, uh, the Democracy Week results that we, uh, that we had Notice that there is a dragon thing here. Actually, you know what, Claire? If you want to go and check on the soup, you can also top up my water at the same time. Oh, yeah, we'll do. If you want to have a little break, I'm going stretch to your leg. Top up Ted's kissing meter. Top up Ted's kissing meter, of course. Yeah. And who's that Pokemon? It's Ted. I have no fucking clue. Hi. Um, let's just send in, let's send in Mankey and see what happens. I have no clue what that is. I have given Ted a kiss for all of you. 
He is upside down. He enjoys yeah. being upside down with his legs in the air like a um, baby. Yes. Do you know about the quick heal? Uh, Excelsius in chat is pointing out the quick heal stuff that you can do. I do not know anything about quick heal. All right, well, if you want to know that, remind me. Oh, I'm it's the to... other elephant Pokemon. Oh, why didn't I bring Donphan? No! This is uh, something jaw. It's like it's the elephant Pokemon from like Gen 8, I think. So, okay. Just just, just cross chop it. Just, just punch it. There we go. That'll do something. It's fine. Q-Fans. And then, yeah, isn't it like... Oh, Ted's, does that, Ted's gone to follow Claire. Ted has gone to follow Claire. So we should we should very comfortably beat it before time runs out. We're all just wailing on it. I mean, I, I will capture this thing. An elephant dragon. I think it's a... Is it a ground type? I can't remember what type of Pokemon this actually was. So this is like Q-Fans. I swear I had... Did I catch one of these in Sword and Shield and then just not really use it? I think that's roughly what happens. It, it sounds about right, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. So, it, it, I like the dragon hat. Dragon hat's nice. I'm, I'm not convinced by rock cat. I think the earth hat looks a bit dumb. Uh, the ground hat, sorry. And, yes, we'll just go for you. Toss literally any Pokeball. So, just use a basic Pokeball because as far as I'm aware, it can't fail. I've never seen this fail. If it, can, if it fails now, I'm going to be very embarrassed. But to the best of my... Copper... Yes... Copper jaw, copper, copper, copper jaw, whatever actually evolves to. But no, no, Don Don fans my my elephant of choice. Don fans a beast, and like especially now it's picked up the extra elemental coverage of having access to electricity and fire. That thing is now, it's just a safe bet to send out a lot of the time. So all right, we get ourselves whatever that is uh, precisely. Just uh, cool out of the crystal, have a bit of a luxy, then make our way up the road. Uh, Watch the trainers. The trainers are getting tougher. The trainers are getting tougher. We need to be a little bit cautious. Probably because I'm supposed to... Steel! It's a steel type. Didn't realise that. Doesn't need a nickname. Have a look at it. I, I can't remember anything about this Pokemon. Um. So, special attack up. Oh, I feel like it's not supposed to have special attack. I mean, speed down seems fine. But special attack up feels, feels like that's not, not what that thing needs. No, what that thing needs at all. Show it in the Pokedex anyway. That's all fine. It's uh, that's that's a good thing. It is. Oh, it's morning now. It is now morning. So okay, 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 okay. Could go and get that. Don't need any of that. Don't don't worry about any of this. Just get on here. Seen all you guys before. That brings me down to there is something else over here. Hang on. Which path is this? That is the. Oh, have I just looped around? Okay, the, the path diverged and I, now I'm just rejoining it. Okay, that's fine. So there is there is a flying, which is kind of nice over here. Yeah, I kind of like flying, you know. Flying's kind of interesting. I like flying as a secondary type because like, it, just, it just strikes me as entertaining that a Pokemon could just be like, oh yeah, now I can just take off. Now I'm just, just going to take off and, and fly. So okay, we're gonna, I'm just going to go check what that is because that's just entertaining to me. Okay, it's like a, a flying one. Also, I'm glad I did because there is also a, a TM here. Hang on. Metal Claw. That one's actually useful. Being able to give... So, yeah, given I've got a team of... Oh, it's a flying drowsy. Oh, that's really dumb. Flying drowsy. I, I, I'm sending a Donphan. I'm sending a Donphan. Let's, let's go. Let's go Donphan. You can just hit that with the Thunderfang. That's great. That's, that's going to be absolutely beautiful. That's going to be absolutely beautiful. So that's going to annihilate that bastard at this exact moment. Time. So, okay. Ted is, Ted's still gone. Ted's abandoned me. I think, Ted, well, the thing is, I think Claire's got to do with food in the kitchen. And Ted has basically figured out, okay, Claire's gone. And food is there. And there might be, oh, I'd forgotten it was balloons. I kind of assumed it was going to be like a big, elegant pair of wings. Like angelic wings. But no, it's it's blue. That's so dumb. Oh no, that's catastrophically dumb. Oh, that's no. Oh dear. Oh 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 no. That's it. He's wearing like a hat. Is it like a cloud hat? Oh, I'm not convinced. I'm not. I'm not convinced by by this at all. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know. Oh, that looks so stupid. I, I, I just assumed it was going to be a really awesome... Oh, the fairy hat's got wings. Oh, right. 
So that the Pokemon that doesn't fly gets to have wings. The Pokemon that fly... Okay. No, you don't get caught. That's too dumb a hat. Alright. Plus, there's no real benefit to a psychic type suddenly being able to fly. Uh, I do not see the benefit of that. That's so dumb. That's the dumbest shit. Okay. That's that was fascinating. That was that was quite fascinating. Okay, well at least at least we you know we know what's going on there right now. So okay, that was up here. Now I need to find my way back down to where I yeah, where I was down by the road. Let's go over in this direction. Hop down here. So yeah, the road uh, the road splits, and then there it is, there's the Pokemon Center. And there's the desert! I see the desert, and I see what looks like it might be a way into the desert. And that is, is that ice? It looks like ice. That looks like an ice-like, ice-type thing to me. So check on who's got ice. What is that? I don't know what that is! Mankey, I choose you! I, what is that? I don't, sometimes, I, like, I'm, clearly, I've, I've spent too much time away from the Pokemon franchise. Like, I, I played a bit of five, I was never able to get into black and white. Black and white, I've tried to play several times. I always drop out, like, around Gym 3. I should I should get, like, black black to a white too. Because I'm told they're much more interesting. And, like, they're, like I, and what, what bothered me was it was all new Pokemon. There was none of the old ones. Oh, it's the Dung Beetle. It's the Dung Beetle. Right. Okay. But now it's a, um, it's an Ice Dung Beetle. So that's, that's weird. And that, now I can just cross chop it. Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, bloody hell. Yep, that that works. That flipping works. And coming in with the uh, the rock, that's that's not a bad that's that's not gonna work. Just kick it. Give it a good kicking. There we go, lovely. I, I, I'm not keen on the dung the dung Pokemon. Have I already got one of these? I don't remember whether I've got one, so I'm gonna catch it just in case. There we go. It's not dung, it's a mud, according to the Dax, says the chat. Okay. I'm sorry for besmirching the name of dung beetles. So yes, this is this is this is the frozen poop Pokemon. Right there. Job done. It is weird how nice the crystal Pokemon look. Like, the crystal Pokemon look lovely. And like, all of a sudden anti-aliasing's working inside the crystal area. It's just the overworld that looks terrible. Was that new? Jeff, that was new. Oh dear. Um, so yes, like I, I, I just didn't like the black and white. It was nothing but new Pokemon. I like, I like a blend of new and old. That's what I need. Basically, every po most Pokemon games go for that. But black and white decided not to. And apparently, I'm told black two and white two didn't do that. So um, yes, as a result of that, I think I, I someone have to try black two and white two. Never played uh, X or Y or Sun and Moon. Got back into uh, Sword and Shield. So okay. You want to talk? You might be a hiker of some description, but your your speech wasn't. I understand. Like, if the speech bubble was black background, that means hey, be a bit careful. So this guy should be okay. So, oh, Evie, I love you, Evie, but I am going to punch you in the face. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. Using baby doll eyes. What does that massively lower? Oh, attack by one level. And then just go for this. And that's going to kill anyway. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was that was unfortunate right there. And that was all you had. You had one level 15 EV. Oh, that's... That's sad. Can you tell me where you got your EV from, please? Kids from Powder are pretty strong. Hope I brought enough potions. No. Sadly not. Right, there's an item down there. But I don't really care about that. Nothing of note around there either. Onto my bicycle. Yep, all standard stuff. Don't run into that. Hang on, where's that going? Okay, that path goes in this direction. Looping. I don't know what actually was up here. Because I've already been... I've already been to here. And did I go this way? I don't know. Maybe there's a cave at the end of this path. Ignore that path for now. We'll come back for that later. Don't worry about that. Just bring her around over here. Then there's blatantly a path leading up to the top of there. And it was carrying a coin. Oh, you're talking about Gimme Ghoul. Or the Gimme... The, the, the tiny Gimme Ghoul things. I assume it's... Oh, the camera's bugged out. The camera went below the world. Does that sometimes. I'm about to beat up a child. This is going to be my revenge for the fact that a child beat me up. It's... Oh, Teddy Ursa! Who is also... I I, I want Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa's a... Okay, John, you can't have nothing but physical attackers. You can't. It's not allowed. Uh, but this is Teddy Ursus. Like, Ursa rings are beasts. 
Ursa rings are absolute cocking beasts. Okay, they are ludicrous. And Tinker Tink is Fairy Steel. So it might have Fairy Attacks, which might hurt my Mankey, and I'm going to be neutral against it. So if Fairy Steel, then in which case, go over to... Fairy Steel would be... You know what? Uh, fire would work against that, wouldn't it? Uh, would anything else work against Fairy Steel? You know what? Actually, I want to show this off. I'm going to show this off right now. I'm going to send out Graveyard. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you his his super awesome Terastalize. Because this is the only reason I brought him into the team. It, it's literally this. So, Mold Breaker breaks the mold. That's fine. So, this Pokemon, of course, has a candle on its head. However, if I Terastalize and then use Fire Fang, then what happens is this. Which is just, you know, activate the thing. Just, just activate this. So toss that at you. And the candle on his head becomes a beautiful triple candle. It's a chandelier. It like, it bursts. Look at that. It's so cool. It fits the Pokemon. It, it fits the Pokemon so well. It just, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's a thing of absolute sake. Look at that. That's so good. I just think it just, it just fits him so perfectly. It's right. It's just right. I, I, I love it. I, I absolutely love the my terrestrialized graveyard. That that child looked really sad and depressed. That I, I felt bad for just a moment. Only a moment, mind. Like I, I barely any more beyond that. So okay. And now I can immediately uh yeah reset my thing. Oh, hang on, that's there. Oh, those just poor me's, poor me's and variants thereupon. I thought that was something. I thought those were even. No, no mo, no mo, no mo. Numo! Numo, fuck off, random bird. Uh, are you good at- who's good at- who's good at weakening Numo without, like, killing it properly? Um, Graveyard, you'll be good. I'm sending Graveyard. Right, Numo. Come on, Numo. Level 18, Numo. I love Numo. Numo, 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 Numo. Okay, be very careful. Just, like, one basic bite. That shouldn't kill it. That can't possibly kill it. Oh, that was a bit more. There's Incinerate. Get to a fair bit of damage. Go for a Fire Fang. Not very effective. Okay. Come on, don't kill it. No! My first Numel! Okay, there's going to be more. That There'll be more. That's fine. It's, that's, it gave me lava. Oh, that's lovely. Have I killed enough people on this route for you to give me the corporate sponsored uh, result uh, thing? See you defeated. 15 trainers! Okay, I, I get that. Clear amulet. So, provides having its... Uh, the holder can't have its stats lowered uh, by moves used against it by the Pokemon's abilities. Okay, so you'd be, like, immune to intimidate, say. So, okay. That's that's fine. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry the new mill went down. But that's okay. There's got to be more. If, like, we literally saw a new mill that early on, there's going to be more new mills. Okay? We just need to find... Uh, Additional new mails. Just pop that over there. Thank you. Claire's back! Woohoo! Ted's not. It's Ted just settled somewhere else. Yeah, he's in the living room, but I called him over and he saw me leave. He'll probably come and join us in a little bit. Sorry, I had to uh, put some onions in, in the soup and then it the onions attacked me. I found me one new mail and the yeah, new no, mail, I, I killed that. it. I slightly killed it. I, I heard that. There's another one. Sure. There's, there's another one over there. There's another one over there. I just need to be a little bit more careful with the uh, with the new mail. What's that? That's just a rock rock. So cute. New mail. We just need to get a new mail. I love new mails. Oh my god, this is going on the team. I don't even care. Whatever it takes. Go. For, just go for the fire fangs. Uh, weaken it slowly, step by step. Okay, then maybe one more fire fang after that. It was caught off guard. Couldn't move yet. Just give it one more fire fang. I think it was unlucky with that kill. Level 18, that's probably enough. It's got Bulldoze, which is very powerful. Uh, I know this will mean I've got, like, two ground types, but I'm kind of okay with that. Because Numel's is no special or physical. I can't remember, you know. Toss a great ball in. See what we got. Let's just let's just see what we got with the Numel. I'm so happy to have a Numel. Oh, this is this is brilliant. This is... Oh, straight away. Okay, must be... In your fantasy, yeah, the catch rate is probably pretty favorable because it did show up pretty early game in Gen 3. So, okay. New Mel, New Mel, New Mel, fire ground, fire ground, fire ground, yes! 
Do you want to give it a name? Not yet. Okay, I just want I want to see it summary. Let's see what we got. Because that's, it's a neutral. I don't like neutrals. Filthy, despicable neutrals. Uh, doubles the effect of Pokemon stat changes. That's intriguing, potentially. Uh, send to the boxes. We'll try and find some more. And as it's probably, you know, it's it's pr probably, you know, it's a fire ground. I feel like it lives in the desert. So I feel like if we just kind of make our way towards that desert that we saw over here. Can we get into this desert right now? We can. It's a hop down, not a hop up. Ooh. We can just go straight down into the desert right now. So big empty desert. Uh, are there any more? Actually, someone said there were ruins nearby. They were ruins to uh, the east of this Pokemon Center. So, oh, we're almost at one of the, um, uh, that's the Team Star. Team Star base. Don't care about that. Do not care. Uh, oh, it doesn't... All those, uh, big, uh, towers what you just came from, or... Yeah, those... that's where I just came from. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see, uh, shout out to Alexander who gave us two dollars and says, Today I learned John is Zap Brannigan. <laughs> I Hello. see him. It's right here. If I turn back around and loop up here, it's to get to these ruins. Yeah, okay. That'll be it. Well, while you get there, uh, let me catch up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Music Evangelist gave us uh, five New Zealand dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, I'm so glad to be able to join a stream as I'm usually working. I bought Vampire Survivors because of your video and stream and I absolutely love it. It's such a good time. It's such a dumb, fun time. It's great. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Trav Has Cooties. He gave us $10 and says it's a contribution for the Doggo Fund. Oh, Doggo just to, Fund. Just to buy Ted plenty of toys. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought him a new um, we got him a new little like tug toy that's yeah. um, that's uh, like longer it's got longer yeah, it's, it's got it's longer rope like a on little, it basically it's, it's basically got a little lead on it oh. right but uh, so that way you can I mean I can play with it a little bit more like a cat toy where you yeah. get her dog to chase it but because Ted's got some retriever in him yeah um he really, really likes uh, to. Uh, he really likes to chase after that. Um, oh, you absolute dick! Paralysis and mud slap. Okay, someone's just being a dick, are they? All right, I see. I see how it flippin' is. I see how it flippin' is. Dear oh flippin' dear. Clap. Uh, yes, and uh, the quick heal thing I mentioned to you earlier. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you to Excelsius and James, and I'm sure many other people uh, who have mentioned it. Uh, I was not sure. Uh, yeah. Um, if you click minus on yeah. party Pokemon outside of battle. Um, to do a quick heal, it saves you going to your laggy bag every time. Oh, flat, clap. <gasps> it's Smoliv. Smoliv. Smoliv's ready to become medium if. Whoa. Also, what? Why are you doing this here as opposed to like out in the field like everyone else does? Oh, it's very cute. It has Princess Leia olive buns. Smoliv evolved into Dolive. Dolive. Oh my god. Why did you evolve so here as opposed to elsewhere? Okay, it basks in the sun to its heart's content till the fruit in its head ripen. After that, Dolive departs from human settlements and goes on a journey. Mm. Well, there we go. Oh. And I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, it'll have three olives on its head for the next evolution. Yeah, I'm guessing given its place in the Pokedex, there's one more to go. So hang on, if I just tap minus. Ah, what did that use? And also it didn't get rid of the paralysis. Uh, it used something, but I'm not sure what it used. Well, it's not for uh, status effects or revives. Okay. Okay, well that's useful. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that click is useful. minus on party Pokemon outside of battles, so you don't have to go to the bag, but it doesn't include revives. Does it just use the effect? cheapest, lowest effect potion to use it up by any chance? Is that uh... what goes on? Okay, so we've made it hmm. to here. Oh, there's a, there's a, yeah, a tower I can, uh, uh, there's a tower I can activate as a fast travel point. So that's really bloody convenient. Uh, okay. And there's... Oh, it's Phalanx! Oh, Phalanx. There's Phalanxes everywhere. Like Phalanx, which was very briefly in my team in Sword and Shield. But got rid of. Because Phalanx... I'm kidding, Phalanx isn't actually that good. 
It uses po potions first, it uses the smallest healing items first, uses That's the weakest first. That's highly convenient. Slowly in quality as they are used up, yeah. That is highly convenient. That's actually my pretty bloody good. My small event ended up being one of my best Pokemon. Small event feels pretty strong. And like, yeah, it's, uh, Swift in particular is very good. There's low sweep. Keep on keeping on, buddy. This one, I swear this is the first one I've seen with Thurch. has got three levels on it. But, bare minimum, this will give us some information as to what's coming up and there is another uh gimme ghoul over here i do not need a gimme ghoul uh it's not real treasure it's a pokemon in disguise uh so okay this is this will be one of the team star bases which are very very large <laughs> terrifyingly large uh in fact that just takes me back yeah that's just a long way around to where i just was over there and then yeah there's that's the path yeah, that's the uh, the path I saw before. There's the desert there. So I'm guessing if I want to go beyond this path in this direction, like along this path here or anywhere around here, I'm going to need to go, yeah, and take out this individual. The uh, Team Star's Dark Crew. The, the emo kids. And until we've taken out them, we probably can't make it to the Water Surging Chef. Mm -hmm. Well, unless we just go via the desert. Sure, we could just loop around and just go via the desert, which strikes me as a thing I can do, as well as just passing by. Oh, this is interesting. You just go, if I cross the desert, I get to this town, which apparently um. has no. It has a market, but it's got no gym. A port. Fascinating. So wait a minute. Okay, um, folks are saying. Let's see. Uh, you need 999 coins to evolve it, so you, you can kill the Gimme Ghoul for a coin. Oh, you just kill it for coins, can you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a ghost type, so uh, yeah, Graveyard will do the job just fine. He can use his bite. There we go, so it's just a Gimme Ghoul. So yeah, if I kill this one, I just get his coins, do I? That's quite useful. So go for, yeah, Graveyard can just use a bite. But it says I went via the desert. Yeah. Desert strikes me as a good workaround. Uh, you can. It will take you 40 streams, though. What, the desert? Apparently. I don't know. I'm... I mean, like, why can't I just... Smitya, please explain what you mean. Why can't I just go through the desert and ignore all the Pokemon if I just want to get to the next city? I'm not city? sure if that's what they mean or if they mean defeating enough gimme ghouls or whatever. It's okay. So there's a bunch of bronze oh around God. here. Random Ninja says, I'm so cl I, I am so close to... The dex completion, only 110 more coins to go. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually just straight up just bypass the door by just jumping down here. Because it kind of looks like you might be able to. But I'm not going to break into their camp. I'm, I'm not doing Team Star today. We're not doing Team Star. Ah, here we go. There's another Numel. Okay, Numel right over here. Bloody. Whoa. We got we got to get that, Numel in the team. That was a joke about Jesus being in the desert for 40 days. After oh! Day. I, I see. Did not get that. No, me neither. Lol. Yeah. I think one good headbutt should probably do it, actually. I think one, one headbutt is probably. Oh, no, actually, that's. You might be a plus defense, Numel. That feels like that was quite. That feels like you, you're tanky. But you know what? We'll give you a go. We'll give you a go. We'll see what you got. Good old bulldoze. Does, does, does competent work, damn it. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Ryan the Rabbit of Rancorous Rambling Regent, uh, who gave us $20 and says, I would prefer if the enemies scaled with you, but I have to admit, I had a wonderful time accidentally skipping gyms 2 and 3, beating higher level events, then realizing my mistake and swinging back to kind of stomp on them. Nice. All right, oh. Numel, what have we got? And simple again. Yeah, that one is defense up, speed down. I I would love special attack up because I really, really want a new male to wait. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I have got a plan. Routes. Routes, old buddy, old pal. Oh, no, Routes never actually had plus special attacks. Plus, I can use Synchronize to force it to have high special attack. But Routes never had high special attack. Uh, but you can use Synchronize to trick a Pokemon into having the same nature issue. You can use it to manipulate natures. 
Uh, but that does not work on this occasion. Do you not have any Pokemon with high special attack? I don't have Pokemon with high special attack and synchronize. Oh, it's a, it's yeah, an yeah. ability only a small number of Pokemon have. Uh, so that uh, that does not work, unfortunately. Uh, Manky, you get back up top because you could do with the experience if you'd be so kind. And yeah, I I heard that, that definitely there are some new mills around here. I'm not sure there are more new mills around here than anywhere else. Also, which what was Phalanx? Oh, is Phalanx one of the Pokemon that's a complete nutter and just comes at you? Possibly. No, it doesn't appear to. It just it looked like it ate my Pokeball there, Lol. which was marvelous. Um, wait, what, what? Were you just a fighter? I'm trying to remember what you were. Were you just a fighting type? Just cross chop it and see what happened. I was trying to use protect. What a coward! Come on, stand there and take your punishment, okay? Just, just stand there and take it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Cross chop again. I don't have to get the kill. It is not. We could probably catch you on that. So focus energy. I think in the end, Phalanx was just a fighter, which was so dumb because it blatantly should have been a steel. Because it's literally made of shields. So Phalanx, they, they're, they're all shieldy. They're like helmet shield things. Why was it not a flipping steel type? It should have been. Just darn it. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to, uh... Shout out to Chaotic Chicken, who gave us five Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, Cyndaquil is best boy. Uh, you know what? I find Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil a bit bland, actually. I've always, I like, in all fairness, I don't think the Gen 2 starters were great. I think for Alligator's not great. I think Meganium's not great. I think Typhlosion's not great. I, I went for Chicory to my first playthrough. But, like, I, I, I'm not, like, super keen on any of them. Like, I think Gen 2 has the worst set, set of starters. Oh, that's me cancelled. Oh, that's that. Some people are going to object to this a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, mm, 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 mm. hey, shout out to uh, returning champion, Tough Talk. Oh, Hey, tough talk. Who uh, gave us three Australian dollars and says, Hey guys, sorry I've been MIA forever. Love you. Hey, no worries. Welcome back. Hey, good to have you back, tough talk. Hope you're doing good. Yes. And uh, speaking of regulars, uh, we've got Oman Gaming, who's been a member for 26 months. Uh, and says, uh, wants to know if you've looked at a game called Against the Storm. I think you'd like it. Roguelike fantasy settlement builder uh, about gathering supplies for a big city i've heard of it and seen some things about it but like there are many you know very similar games so i haven't got around mm. to it yet but there are a lot of games of that nature yeah so i hadn't yeah, quite yeah, got yeah. to it uh yet special attack up phalanx obviously this one's got special attack <laughs> up not my cocking new mel my precious precious new mel that should have had it instead dear oh dear that the, the and you cannot, yeah, you can't use, uh, you can't use quick heal oh, no. for revive, unfortunately. Dear oh flipping dear. Sad face, question marks. Gen 5 has the worst, in my opinion. Gen 5 or 8 were worse. Gen 8 are the worst. This is even worse than when you pronounce slaking. Uh, Good old slaking. See. Oh, no, you didn't. Totodile is the best starter of them all. I'll fight you for okay, it. Okay, you know what? I will give you... I think Totodile's pretty cute. I just don't think for Alligator's anything special. I think for Alligator is a disappointing evolution. I think Croconaw's kind of fun. Uh, and, like, looking like an emo crocodile. I think for Alligator is uninteresting and just bland as anything. Uh, which I think is part of the problem. For me, I think I think of the three starters, Toadstyle is the cutest, yes. Though I, do, I think Chikorita's pretty darn cute as well. But I think the final evolutions disappoint. Like, I think Meganium is bland after Chikorita's super cute and Bayleaf's just unremarkable. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doubling down on this. We're just doubling down and making people even angrier. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, Andy who uh, gave us two pounds. Uh, and to uh, Matthias, who gave us 50 polished Zlotty. That is a cute elephant. I caught one of them earlier inside a crystal raid while you were away. And now I know it's a steel type, because I already did. So I'm going to kick it. 
And yeah. low kick should do a beautiful amount of damage because wow. I now know it's steel. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, Matthias uh, says this game's graphics reminds me of my favorite RPG, Might and Magic 8 Day of the Destroyer, released in 2002. Nice. <laughs> no, I, that's, uh, it's not unfair. Yeah. There's, there's plenty about here that I think, yeah, as I said, as I said in the video, this would have looked scruffy on the Xbox 360. But I'm fine with that. I got no trouble. You know, I'm not seeing too many new mails up here. I came up here for the new mails. I've seen the phalanxes. That's fine. But I didn't want the phalanxes here. I wanted the new mail. Speak of the devil. Right. Excuse me. Hi. Speak of the beautiful dino angels. Yeah. There we go. Did we take him by surprise? Were we far enough back that he was taken by surprise? Don't think we were. Just go for a thief. But this should not be a kill. No, that's fine, actually. Uh, so that's A-OK. -okay. Just go for a great ball. We're going to do it. We're going to get a good new mail. I want a good new Mel who's going to be a beautiful new addition to the team. Come on, new Mel. Clap! Uh, using Totodile as a starter in Crystal taught me that Steel was weak to water to, thanks to Jasmine's Steel X. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Lol. Yes, okay, you're being forgiven because of your because you, you are showing the correct appreciation for Toto Dial. Defense that speed up! I will say Toto Dial is just a very satisfying name to say. Yes. That's true. Yeah, agree. That's that really rolls off the tongue. Anyway, um Oman Gaming gave us uh, another twenty dollars. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Oman Gaming. Uh, and uh, says, Stellaris, if you could add species traits to one of the portrait packs that hasn't gotten any attached to it, which species type would you choose and what would you add to it? Ooh. Yeah, because I know, yeah, Aquatics has got some fun stuff attached to it. Um, I mean, well, we, we technically do have, like, stuff related to, like, the... The, the, the dwarf, the humanoid stuff, the dwarves and the elves and like the hedonistic and the mining guilds or whatever. It's a bit bland in a way. Uh, I mean, maybe we could do more with like the fungoids. Because like, you know, we've got like the, the what's it called? Like the sporing reproduction trait. But it would be nice maybe if there was something a bit more like... In general, I think plantoids could do with a complete rework to be wildly different. Like, I think plantoids are, like, you know, they're, they're plants. They should function wildly, completely different to... Okay, I just... Wait, what? Oh, did I just land too close to Team Star? And, yeah, it's Cassiopeia. Say I'm getting close to Team Star's base. No, I, I, no, I guess so. Actually, I was just nearby. Um, I, I th this is fine. I'm a member of Operation Starfall. And now... I'm going to be honest, mate. I was literally just passing by. Uh, 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 who, who are you and what? I, I, I'm not actually here. I, I, I'm just here to catch Numel. My name's Clive. How long have you been... What, what have I walked into? Oh, no. I'm a pal of our mutual friend. Who are you? Y yes. I'm going to play along with whoever the fuck this Why? guy is. Yeah, that's right. That's we're oh, talking. Oh yes, the best NPC is just about to appear. I'm just here to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. I, I tend to get the job done well, but that's what the cock is hat. Okay, welcome to the operation, Clive. It's the best secret operation ever. This is. I feel like keep this. This might be a Team Star mole. Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. Oh God, what's what? Who are you? No, it's, it's, I, I didn't. What, what's how? I didn't raid the base. I know, but I don't want to do that now. I don't want to do. I made up of five squads with the rope. Yes, I noticed. There's one really nearby. I'm so sorry. I just fell here by mistake. I I just want a new bell. I'm just here for a new bell. Just, just, just. I just want. I just want a new bell. That's fine. It's it's so much chance the squad bosses. They have no choice but to accept. If they happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss. When it issue challenges to every base under your name, John, they're basically de you just declared war. Brilliant. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Okay. So we take out all the bosses. The rest of the team crumbles when no one to lead them. That's what happens. Oh, I'm guessing Cassiope is secretly going to take over. Or Clive is. It's not entirely sure. So, okay. 
Like, there's, there's bases are big. Many trainers are in there. Then there's the boss. Defeat the Pokemon. Drag the boss out from where they're hiding, etc, etc. Okay, that's that. Then you have to deal with the grunts guarding the first, the, the front gate. And then I have history with Team Star. That means I can't operate on the open up back up front. I just want to catch a new bell. Who's Clive? Just monitor the base. <laughs> What's happening? I just, I just want to catch a new bell. I'd go get him. Oh, it's it's cla it's it's the director. I didn't recognize him. I'm really bad with faces. <laughs> it's it's apparently the director of of the thing. I've no idea what of you the mean. School? If anyone asks about you, remember this. How do you? How I'm Clive, a normal student just like you. I didn't recognize that that was the director of the academy. I'm very bad at recognizing people. How do you do, fellow students? Pretty much, yes. Oh my god, amazing. Incredible. Man, I was so stoned when first when Clive first appeared and was like, why are they acting like I know this guy? Amazing. Amazing. I think I've seen more new males around around here, to be honest, than I actually saw up on the hill. So I'm just gonna look for new males around this bit of the world. Cla! Oh, sorry, I'm just that was amazing. Uh that was so much story. Ooh. Uh, here we go. We've got a message from Molly, who gave us $20. Hello, Molly. Uh, Molly says, this Thanksgiving, I am thankful for my family, my friends, schmucks, but also the whole MATN community. I'm enjoying listening to the stream while I put together a Thanksgiving meal for myself and my COVID-riddled boyfriend. Oh, no. Oh, Molly, does that mean uh, you're having a very tiny Thanksgiving instead of uh, doing family stuff? Uh, One would imagine so. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I, uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you have a good, a good time and a good dinner. Uh, yes, have a new mouth. It's a one in six chance of getting me the plus special attack. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's see, shout out to Static Aegis who uh, became a new channel member. Welcome, welcome. Welcome indeed. And they also gave us $10. And uh, so thanks, John, for all the fun content over the years. So excited to see what comes next on the channel. Well, we got plenty of oblivion to go. And I'm oh also- Oh my God. Yeah. And the, the next few episodes. The next few episodes Ooh. are bananas. A uh, whole bunch of stuff, stuff happens. Yeah. It's fine. And yeah, Don fans moving in the right direction. Come on, Numo. Come on, Numo. Come on, Numo. Come on, Numo. Yes! Numo, Numo, Numo. It is oblivious. I, I would have rather had the... I'd have rather had simple, but I will flipping take it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Welcome to... Welcome to the team. So Welcome wait, what to town is this? It's not a town, it's just an ah. outpost in the middle of nowhere. Um, Staravia, you have done so well, but piss off forever. Right, uh, take the sharp, yeah, take the sharp beak. Uh, Staravia's gone. Staravia could be added back into the party later, if need be. Staravia was just, Staravia is a beast. And, and Staravia, we could absolutely <laughs> had we could absolutely have that. So this is, oh yes. New Mel, new Mel, new Mel, new Mel, new Mel, new Mel. Right, let's heal it up and let's figure out, yeah, whether it's got any good moves hidden away in its uh, memory pool. And also we can use the candy to get it straight up to being the same level as everyone else. So it can basically just merge into the team immediately. So, okay. That's, that's, that's great. Oh. I, 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 I feel like simple would have been a much more interesting normal. But I will take the bonus to... Special attack. I need a strong special attacker. I, I need a strong special attacker, damn it. That's that's important. So, alright, clap. Oh, yours while I just very quickly get this guy moving in the right direction. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to No True Scotsman, who's been a member for 44 months. Uh, and says another month and more fantastic content. Thank you. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Absolutely. Uh... <laughs> From Felice, who's been a member for 46 months, uh, says you should switch to a violent game with gory dismemberment so you can celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Like uh -huh. it. Like it. Uh-huh. With some little, like, a uh, 
steak and, and, and dagger emoji as well. Yeah. It's very nice, very nice. Uh, okay, Numo straight up to level 24. Lovely. Okay, Numo. Check summary. Go into move pull. Re. Uh, no, change moves. Remember moves. Amnesia, Ember, Tackle, and Growl. Nothing there we'd want to get back. Uh, so much case to rearrange the moves. Uh, so, okay, we got Lava Plume. You know, 80 power, 100 accuracy, solid. Uh, and also can burn, probably only like a 10%. Incinerate. If the Pokemon is holding something like a berry, it becomes burnt up and unusable. Honestly, very little reason you'd use Incinerate when you can use Lava Plume. Bulldoze is physical. So not ideal, but you know what? It's still power 60, accuracy 100. And focus energy is just not that great. Um, but that's fine. Because, do not forget, we also want to be checking the TMs. Uh, see if there's anything good that shows up against. I mean, Mud Slap is... It's a special ground move, but, like, it's power 20. So I think we can do without uh, any of that. Just go through anything that this guy can learn. That was Fire Spin. So, okay. Accuracy is poor. And, yeah, fortify... Actually, four to five turns. Interesting. Uh, leave that for now. Uh, Mud... Ah, Mud Shot. In fact, there's literally a camera up in the picture. So, Okay. Hurls a blob of mud at the target, also lowers target's speed stat. Power 55. And it goes against special. Uh, can lower the speed. Interesting. Could give you... That's a physical. Uh, what else do we have uh, that you can learn here? Endure. Sunny day. Powers up fire type attacks. Could potentially help uh, Dolive in the long run. And Numel as well, which is fine. It looks like, yeah, there's the rest. Obviously, no, everything can learn rest. Stealth Rock, Pollen Puff. Okay, none of that. All right. So we could do Mud Shot. Let's just consider this thing for a second. Let's just look at, like, how much stronger is it specially than physically? Like, not much difference, really. Like, Bulldoze. I'm happy keeping Bulldoze for now. I mean, I guess I could give it Mud Shot as well, so it's got the option. Like, how easy is it to make another Mud Shot? Because I'm guessing that's, like, Whooper Slime or something. So let's check the, just check the crafting requirements for that. Uh, and there you go. That is... Yeah, Whooper Slime and something else unknown. So, okay. That's... If I use that, then I don't really get another one. Potentially. Do I want to use that? You know what? I'll leave it for now. There's, there's not that much benefit. I'm happy keeping Bulldoze for the time being. So there we go. We have got ourselves. Oh, that's, 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 I, I'm happy with that. Uh, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. Like, on the chopping block right now, it's probably Graveyard. Graveyard could at some point get chopped in favor of something. Like, I think Graveyard is, oh, and also that is actually true. Graveyard, uh, take the charcoal away from Graveyard and give it to Numel. Uh, that's definitely the better option. Graveyard will do much, uh, yeah, the, uh, the charcoal will do much better for them. That's, it's just a much, much more solid pick, so give that to you. So, yeah, that's just going to boost your fire type attacks, which is great. And, yeah, I think we can just take a Numel out into the desert and see what goes on in the desert. See what's down there. Let Numel have a couple of runouts, maybe a run out in a crystal raid and just see what's in the desert. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Alexander who gave us five dollars uh, and says I came in late and I'm catching up But I will pay any amount of money to ensure that John never sings again Wow, that's rude and also so good rude. luck with that. That's never gonna happen. So rude uh, <laughs> It's okay. Do we get like different Pokemon in? Oh, it's a Pineco oh, You said you wanted that that is is that normal Pineco? Normal Pineco's weird, but I mean, I, sure. Let's 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 get normal Pineco on the team. Like, is there any reason you'd ever want your Pineco to become normal? Like a pure, like basically giving up its steel type. Like I just feel like that's actively worse than normal Pineco. But at least seeing this will let me. I can. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure I've actually seen a normal hat before. What's the normal hat? Hang on. Hang on. What the cock is the normal hat here? Because that's... That what is like it? A diamond ring. It's a giant diamond. Yeah. Activate Lava Plume. Do it. And Lava Plume. Yes! Looks good. Looks good. 
right there. You've got struggle bug. I, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a go. I'll, I'll see what fate has to say about this. But I just think, like, a Pineco going normal actively makes it worse. Like, like, why would you want to give up being a steel type? I just feel like that's not a thing you'd want. I think that's the opposite of what a Pineco would want to do. Pine, you know, bug steel is a good typing. I just feel like, yeah, it's 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 uh, a explosion does more damage, immune to ghost move. You can breed it to get a steel terror for uh, if you want to dump the bug type. That's true. That's ghost fair enough. Fighting fire type. I mean, I guess yeah. Only you can... weak to fighting. Only one weakness. Yeah, fair enough. You know what? There's there's some there's some reasons there. I just feel like bug steel is such a good combo to make it such a good defensive wall. It's strange to give it up. But alright, well we'll suck it up and we'll see what fate has to say about this particular pine code. Clap. Uh yeah, shout out to a uh, reformed nerd who gave us two dollars and says thankful for you and your content, sir. Oh, thankful for you too. There you go. Thankful for every single one of you uh watching. Uh you incredible, lovely nerds. Yes. Uh, ooh, and Christopher gave us five pounds and says Thursday night live stream and I can watch the whole thing as I am not working tomorrow. Whoop whoop. Nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Um, shout out to Kira who uh, gave us fifty dollars. Oh, thank you very much, Kira. Uh, he says uh, Trav has cooties and I just got home from my parents' house. We made Thanksgiving dinner. And looking forward to laying down and playing some Violet while catching up with your live stream. Here's some money for the Doggo Fund. So glad. The Doggo Fund, even. So glad that Ted found his four of a home with you both. Aww. He's he such seems, a lovely he's dog. He's such a love. We love him so oh much. Oh my god. Now that's a really interesting pineco nature. Like, attack up. Okay, you know what? Give it a bit of teeth. That's fine. But defense down, when it's one job is to be defensive, I feel like, you know, attack up speed down would be brilliant. But, like, also, defense down, it, it's still got very good defense. It can go in the box for now. I'll have to have a think about that. I just feel like, yeah, defense down and normal type terror is a weird combo. That is a weird, weird-ass combo. And what lives in the desert? Vultures. Vultures live in the desert. And whatever the cock that is lives in the desert. There are a lot of vultures in the desert. The desert feels fairly empty. And also, oh dear, the, the, the sandstorm is... What am I approaching now? Who's calling me at this point? Oh, it's Arvin. Oh, what am I approaching? The quaking earth titan. The ground's been shaking on and on. It's making me feel a bit sick. I'm just going to go lie down and rest a bit before I get back to titan hunting. Well, you're bloody useless, aren't you? Um, am I accidentally approaching another titan? Where's the, where's, the, where's the next titan? Oh, the next titan's way over here. If I just keep going in this direction, that will be fine. If I just go towards that psychic uh, thing and then loop around towards the next city, that will be A-OK. -okay. That will not be a problem at all. I will be nowhere um, near the Titan. Yes, Clan. Random Ninja uh, recommends a water lead because uh, there's a lot of ground type in the desert. I mean, that makes sense. Story checks out. Though, mysteriously, I'm seeing nothing but the vultures. So I'm pretty sure are not ground types. Uh, they're definitely not ground flyers. That's like Gain and Gligar. Um, I'm seeing Fampe. There's a Fire Fang, which I've seen before. Does it is. I'm not, I'm not sure I've seen any... Aside from the Vulture, I'm not sure I've seen anything new in the desert. So, okay, check this. That is... I fought whatever you are before, but I've already forgotten what you are. Uh, I, I, you know what? Screw it. I'll take the LP. You, you can just stay. It's it's absolutely, absolutely fine. But potentially, yes. Oh, Nightshade. I think that's new. Yeah, there's the Sandacondas. Uh, silly or Silly Cobras or whatever they were called. But uh, bare minimum. Yeah, we can... You know what? Numo, you're getting a run out. You're getting your first proper battle against another student because there's no one in this damn country apart from other students. I really hope this is a, a favourable fight for Numel. It would be very sad if it wasn't. So, all right, here we go. And that is... That's a water type, I think. That's... 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 That's, that's Numo's biggest weakness. 
Well, that's just bloody sad, isn't it? That's that's just so sad. All right, Quaxwell, come on in. Eat the water attack. You'll be fine. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to... Uh... <laughs> okay, this has to skip to the front of the line. because Oh, dear. So oh, shout no. out to Buster Bear who gave us $5 and says my grandson, Buster's Bug, uh, has joined in, uh, has joined me in throwing shade at John. Quote, I don't think he's very good at Pokemon. Did he just start playing? <laughs> he is nine. Nice. <laughs> I've been doing this longer than you've been born, kiddo. Oh, uh, dear. Well, he's having fun, though. Yes. That's the and key that thing. is, in fact, what video games are for. Yes. Oh, dear. Uh, ooh, that's a good idea. Old Man oh, Gaming. Dear. Oh, dear. Hi, Pops. Hi, no. Pops. That was, that was a dog shaking. Hi. Oh, yes, by the way. Good job, buddy. Yeah. He's supposed but... to praise him when he does a shake. He, because... He doesn't shake off particularly often or well. Which is a problem, unfortunately, apparently. There we go. You've been defeated. And he's back on his sofa. Oh, good boy. He's back on his lovely sofa. Okay, sorry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Absolutely savage. Ouch. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Oman Gaming gave us another $5 uh, and uh, shares uh, their option for Stellaris uh, traits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd give the reptilian race... I would give the reptilian races a cold-blooded trait that boosts their habitability on wet worlds, hmm. but gives them penalties on the others. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You know, I'd really like the, the Gaia world start to be taken to its extreme. Like, make the Gaia world you start on, like, a one like a one world ludicrous mega planet, but make it almost but make it, like, like, zero habitability anywhere else at all. All right, I think that would be like, you know, make it properly. You've got to find other Gaia worlds. Otherwise, it is catastrophically expensive and inefficient to settle anywhere else. I think the Gaia world start would be way more interesting if it was like that. So, okay, a Cacnea. That's a Generation 3 as well. You you originally lived just around the corner from a Numel. And now Numel can just set you on fire. I, I quite like Cacturn. I quite like Cacturn. I'm not sure I like Cacturn enough to have one on the team. Not above Dolliv. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy. But you know what? At the bare minimum, I will attempt to catch... Oh, hang on. What's that in the background? What's in the background? What is that? What's that thing? Okay, that that's interesting. Okay, just incinerate. It might be able to take an incinerate. No, it could not take an incinerate. Oh, my new mal is too powerful. Oh, no. The, 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 the problem of my new mail. What are you, buddy? Hey. Oh, hang on. Are you a... What are they called? Volcarana? You're cooking Volcarana? I thought you were like a legendary or something. Hang on. Is... Larvesta. Is that the first form of Volcarana? I... I... Are you Bug... Bug Fire? Is that what you are? Hang on. I'm choosing Struggle Bug. That's not going to do much to me. And, okay. That's, that's interesting. I thought this was like a legendary or something. Yeah, it is the first uh, form of Volcarona. Is, is it bug fire? Am I, am I getting that right? Well, I mean, it seems like it would be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, bug fire. Yeah. I, yeah, you know, I always thought this was absolutely ridiculous. A ridiculously strong, like, ludicrous legendary Pokemon or something. But maybe... Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe this is, like, the rarest thing. And everyone's like, John, you must catch it. That, that Pokemon's one in a million. You're literally the first person who's ever managed to see one live. Possibly. Not legendary, but pretty strong. Volcarona. Volcarona. I will pronounce Pokemon names wrong as much as I want. The problem is this is going to die to the sandstorm before I catch it, potentially. Just keep tossing in the great balls. Hopefully we'll get it. It's the first one I've seen in the whole desert. Suggesting potentially it might be a bit on the rare side. Are the um are the great balls like the most? No, I've got an ultra. Forward? I was going to try ultra next as we're getting. It's yeah, getting weaker that. and he's getting close to dying. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to toss an ultra at him. Like he's pretty weak now. I've got nothing that can paralyze him. 
because uh, I got rid of Fluffy. And, oh wow, he just broke free in one go. I'm not sure whether he can survive the next hit. And I think Numo's not taking damage from Sandstorm because he's ground type. Um, can you even survive the next hit? Oh! No! He went down to Sandstorm. And Quaxley went up to 25. Ah, it Lava happens. Sta Lava Vesta was a semi-legendary in Gen 5. Yeah, well that's fascinating, oh. isn't it? Buster Bear says, uh, you guys made my, uh, you made my little guy's day. Such a big smile on his face and you did a pretty accurate imitation of his voice. <laughs> Lol. Lol. <laughs> uh. I'm just setting cactus on fire Ooh, to train up new Mel. Yes. Uh, Zeladus points out, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure that you start on a Gaia world, but you can only live on Gaia worlds, is the idea behind life seeded. I think, like, it's not too difficult to move on, though. I'm sure I swear I looked at that one. And that, while that's the idea, it's pretty easy just to find ways to live on other worlds. I think it should be just taken to its extreme. Well, maybe that particular, like, you know, type or, or start or whatever should have uh, that particular mode should have, like, a an extremely hard... Oh, wow, the slowdown there. Difficulty. There's a town in the background and there's many Pokemon around. This is, this is going badly. Uh, okay. At this point, just use Graveyard to slowly weaken the Cacnea. I want to catch one Cacnea. Yeah, two bites will do the job fine. Power trap. That is... I can't remember what that does. And you are also being... I'm buffed up by the Sandstorm. Are you? No, you've got Sand Veil, I think. So, yeah, maybe you've got bonus... Oh! Goodness sake, Graveyard. Bad dog. Oh dear, that was not what I wanted you to do. You had one job, but it was to not do that thing that you just did. Dear, oh flipping dear. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Sorry, let me get back to my document from Sarah B. Uh, Saki Gaming gave us uh, five pounds uh, and says, uh, well, we were talking about dead Pokemon earlier, Blues Rotata to be precise. Mm -hmm. uh, got me wondering, has John considered doing a Nuzlocke run? Uh, or some variant thereupon. Given Nuzlocke is actually, in many ways, quite conceptually similar to, like, you know, uh, uh, like a Yone Live Once. Mm, they are conceptually cool. not dissimilar. Uh, so, like, maybe some variant thereupon at some point. I mean, but yeah, you were kind of saying before, like, it'd be nice to have something that feels a little bit more like a user. Yeah, exactly. Like changing some of the rules. There we go, we got a Cacnea. And actually, that did just remind me, in fact, he leech seed me. I was like, ah, oh, I wish I had leech seed. I need to check the memory move pool of Dolliv now it's evolved, which I never did. And it might, there might be some new stuff hiding in there. That is a neutral, yeah, leech seed, bullets, uh, bullet seed, sand sack, power trip. Yeah, fun. I, I mean, Cacturn's fun. I'm not sure I'd ever want a Cacturn in my team, unless I was really desperate for a grass and a dark type. <laughs> Like, it was, it was the first Grass Dark type. I think there's more of them these days. Wait, hang on, was it? Was there another... Was there a Dark Grass type aside from that? I'm trying to remember now. But, okay. Dolive, check your summary. Go to your moves. Uh, change moves. Remember moves. What have we got? Flail, Grove, Tackle, Sweet Sense. Nah. Nothing. I was kind of hoping maybe Leech Seed. Leech Seed might have been fun. If you want to kind of go for a bit more of a stall style. But, uh, no. Did not work on this occasion. Straight out of here. There's... Psyduck! What are you doing in the desert, Psyduck? You have one job, and it's... Well, I guess there is some water here. I guess that's... I guess that's fair. Do you just live in this water? Is that what... Is that, is that what we're supposed to be, uh, reading into this situation? And there we go. There's just a nice little desert. And... Oh, soft sand! Soft sand. That's interesting. That is probably a better bet for you than the uh, than the rock. Yeah, change item. You can have the soft stand. Soft stand is dead. That's going to boost your stab moves. So let's uh, give you that soft stand. Lovely. Boost ground type attacks. Have that over the hearthstone. Yep, that's great. And I don't have anything that will help, uh, yes, the rest of my team, unfortunately. So, okay, ignore that Meryl. And yeah, we've bypassed the uh, thing, and we've made it to Cascarafa. So, this is probably not where I'm supposed to be, but I think we could do it. I think we could just take the gym. 
Mm -hmm. I think we wrap up tonight by taking the gym. Uh, and this is probably the gym I'm supposed to be at. This is probably another gym that's a nightmare. But if I put the right team together, I, I, I don't know. Maybe we can do it. Maybe we can pull it off. Like some Pokemon might need to be replaced with other Pokemon. Like uh, Fluffy might have to be added back in. Uh, Numal is... Wo I'm so sorry, Numal. I think you actually have to sit this one out. Uh, for the time being. What gym, what gym is it? Is it water? It's water. This is the water gym. It's like the, this is like the Oasis City. Ah, uh, yes, of course. So it's like, uh, there's a big Oasis theme going on. So, okay, go into the boxes here. Check my, check my box eight. What have I got that's effective, that will be effective against water? I mean, Star Avia's a reliable, solid damage. Donphan's got Thunderfang, even though it's weak to water. Quackswell's fine, Mankey's fine, and Graveyard, ugh, its thing is fire, which is fine. But I think, do I want to bring everyone back? You know what, I'm just going to, you know what, the, the, Pokemon, the Pokemon of the desert haven't been too overleveled. I think I'm going to keep my team as is. Yeah, the people are saying this gym is uh, on the uh, on the level with you, like that'll be fine yeah. for you. Yeah, I'm liking how much water there is in this city. Now I can just, uh, yeah, use my uh, little guy everywhere. And also you can't catch Pokemon uh, or fight wild Pokemon in cities. So you sort of ram in the Aracudas and it's just, it just is what it is. Cute. This city is cute, actually. Yeah. I'm like, I'm liking this city. This city's nice. Now, how do we? I want to head up. Wait in front of the elevator here for a moment. Does the elevator come down? I can't turn the camera, so I can't see whether it's coming down. Wait in front of the do, elevator. Do you, not, do, do you have to call it? Somewhere? Oh, you have to. You, you just have to get closer. Ah. You just have to get a little bit closer. We're just going straight up to the gym. We're going straight to the gym. We're going to walk in. We're going to flip in trash. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need to bring Fluffy out of retirement. Yeah. I don't need to bring Fluffy out of retirement. I got this. All right, we're gonna All right. we're gonna cock and own them. Okay. Well, uh, before we do that, go go go, Alice who uh, has been a member for 34 months and sent in uh, a bunch of cute emojis uh, a bunch of cute MATN emojis as well as uh, gave us five pumps and wanted to know what the frick is a VIP super chat which I think is what you did before which is the messages you can give every month if you're a member yes a channel member I think that's what it means okay this is cute this person is willing to trade me a a traditional whooper for a Paldean whooper, which are everywhere. So I will do that, and then I get a proper whooper in return. So sending whooper over to Sue, and I get the more traditional good whooper. She, she's right there. But okay, we're, we're doing this. Yeah, traditional whooper! Yeah! Original flavor, no one likes new coke. Yeah! Superior whooper! It's called Manchester. Uh, presumably she caught it in, uh, yes, whatever it's called, uh, Gal... Pokemon Britain. Yeah. Uh, uh, so okay, make sure you give it lots of attention. Alright, so now we've, now we've got a traditional Blue Whooper. Super cute. And there it is! And it's speed down. You know what, speed down defense up isn't even Plus terrible for a Whooper. you gave her a level 9 and she gave you a level 18. Yeah. I don't know how it's... Maybe it's just decided based on the local yes, area. Galar. I don't know. Galar, yes. Maybe that's where it's from originally. So, okay, we don't, we don't need any of this nonsense. We don't need shops or stalls or anything. We're just going straight to the gym. You give me your gym test. I'm going to annihilate you, mate. You're in trouble. Uh, My Dolph is going to have some fun today. Okay, and a uh, shout-out to Dath Bar, who gave us $5.00. And says, I have a Pokemon that I would like to donate if possible. And they say it'd be good for this gym. Okay. I don't know how that works. But oh, I'd like to donate. Don't worry. I, I'd like to use my own Pokemon. I'd like to use my own Pokemon. Mm. Volton Veluza, I'm late. I'm late. Who's that? Oh, that'll be the gym leader. Who's having a cooking emergency, I think. Kofu, wait. He got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? I'll do it. Let me go and deliver it to him, given I'm going to try and challenge him anyway. Yep, yeah, I'm a gym challenger. I'm not sure whether this is supposed to be the next gym, but hopefully we can pull it off. 
Bit of a childlike side to him. He's run off to the market without his wallet. Yes, you just give me his wallet. Just <laughs> hand his wallet over to a random kid you've never met before. Who you've just established has a reason to, yeah. like, you know, uh, uh, blackmail him for, uh, for a gym badge. This could be your gym test. If you do this for me, you pass. He's headed to... He's headed to Porto Marinata. Bloody hell. Well, on the, other, on the plus side, now I've got his wallet. So fuck him. I'm, I'm rich. I would buy a house on the credit card. Okay. So that's that's okay. Can you fast travel there or? Well, I'm... Oh, no, it's not. It's on the other side of well, the Well, I can, I can pretty much just go straight there. I can pretty much just go straight there on bike. That's not really the biggest problem in the world. Uh, fair enough. Clap. Uh, crime doesn't exist in the Pokemon universe, John. It clearly no. doesn't, no. Uh, shout out to Fallout of Touch. He uh, gave us $10 uh, and says, I actually get to catch a stream and eat my Thanksgiving's dinner. I'm thankful for you guys. Oh, we're thankful for Ted and for you too. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out also to Blake who gave us $5. Uh, and says, I've got COVID and I couldn't spend Thanksgiving with the family. So thank you for keeping me company. Oh, thank you for choosing to spend it with us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a question uh, from the Mer 28 who uh, said, thank you for the great content to both of you. Uh, question, if you were on a sports team, what number from 1 to 99 would you wear on your uniform? 69. Funniest number. Okay, I was going to pick that. Let's go start it. Well, I got it first. 42! Yeah, that's a good one, too. There oh, I think, there's evolved, I think there's Evolved Tinker Tink over there. It's mm. got a bigger hammer that it drags <gasps> behind it. Hello. It's... Hello, you're so cute. Who is your I know cute? that would be, if you were playing this, that would be your Pokemon right there. Yeah, and then my lead Pokemon. You'd be going course. right for that, obviously. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like basically Harley Quinn, but a Pokemon. Oh, a Moonstone. Hmm. I'm not sure I've seen... Oh, Don Fan! Surrounded by vultures for some reason. I've got my own Don Fan. I don't need your Don Fan. I'm fine. Uh, okay. Don Fan's got like a posse. Straight through here. And then, yeah, if I wanted to, I could just drop down at this point. Well, but you want to collect stuff in the desert, don't you? Uh, I don't really need to, to be honest. If I just go there, that's repeat ball. Yeah, if what I just... That do? Huh? Uh, Pokemon you've caught before, even easier, I think. Ah. No, this is fine. I'll check out this, uh, I'll check out this water this water things if it's even worth giving a Luxie at and that is oh that's just another one of those dung beetles that's just another dung beetle take that snarl this is something with the water type that is okay I've actually found something with defensive use that's a smoliv with water type Ooh, because therefore if a fire type comes out against it you say haha I'm actually water ha screw you screw you the Pokemon that's made them my main adversary in life and it can also protect itself against flyers. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not a terrible, uh, not a terrible Pokemon yeah. at all. Tinker Tink and its evolutions are amazing. Uh, it carries for sure. Uh, Fairy Seal is a great choice. The Mer uh, says, thank you both. Fun fact, half the people I asked this question to enter 69. Nice. <laughs> nice. I mean, Fairy Steel, yeah, is, is, is a really good time. I, I like it just dragging its giant dumber hammer behind it. I looked up its stats and I wasn't desperately impressed. Maybe it's got some really good moves or abilities. It didn't look like huge impressive just in terms of pure stat power. But then that's only half. That's only ever half. Sorry. Oh, I like the water hat. On its final evolution, it gets an even bigger hammer and learns Gigaton Hammer, a 160 power, 100% accuracy steel move with the only drawback being that you can't use it twice in a row. Look at that hat. That's yeah. such a nice hat next to some of them. Some of these yeah, hats I've are seen, terrible. I've seen that before. Oh, uh, you've seen that before? Yeah, yeah, you have. Yeah. Okay, I'd forgotten about it. But I like that hat. The water hat's excellent. But did you listen to that move? Yes, Gigaton Hammer. Sounds very good. Yeah. Like, it, 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 sometimes, it, some, yeah, a particular move can just settle it. Like, yeah. a particular move can just be incredible. It can just make a Pokemon worth oh, having. I like how you're I'm like catching you. killing it with its like big sister. Yeah. Well, it made the mistake of making itself weak to its own sister. So, you know, Dolive is quite cute. Quite good. 
Uh, I mean, obviously, I, I'm just going to have this because it's a nice... I'll probably just mystery trade this away because it happens to be a nice combo. So I'll just mystery trade it to someone and they can have a, a quite good Smolo for free. Mm. So that's fun. I just enjoy... Like, I generally like going to every rage and if it's anything even remotely good, I'll catch it even if I don't want it. I'll just mystery trade it away so someone gets... Like, yeah, potentially nice. something that's kind of fun and interesting. John, like, your missing... starter has that heart. The... Oh, yeah, that's where I've seen it before. I have I the water so starter. Much. That's I where it came so much, from. You dummy. I'd forgotten that I had a starter. <laughs> oh. Okay, shout out to finally Tessa who gave us $5 and says, I've missed falling asleep, listening to John, uh, and having the most bizarre video game related dreams. Always a nice nap during live streams. Lol. Okay, buddy. There's clearly something sparkling over here. What are you? Because you're just a terror type in the wild. That is a wild terror. I have no idea what the cock you are. Are you the evolved form of sodium chloride? I think that must be the evolved sodium chloride. So that's fine. We're now in... Oh, there's now wild o oinkaloings. And wild tauruses. Tauruses and then Don Fan and Dunsparce. Okay, this area feels a bit higher level. There's definitely stuff going on. Just look onto this. 27. Okay, Giraffe Egg! You picked up a new evolution, didn't you? Oh, Giraffe Get it, get it, get it. Huh? Well, you already have one? Uh, Giraffe. no, I don't, but it's it's getting late and I want some soup, so I'm just going to get the gym oh, leader yeah, okay, so enough. we can fight Sorry, it so I can, have, so I can have my soup. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, shout out to Oman Gaming who gave us uh, another ten dollars uh, and uh, says uh, also Dwarf Fortress comes to Steam in twelve days. Official date is December the sixth. I know you don't like the freebie one, but have you seen or read anything about the new version? Can confirm we'll be giving it a look. Say absolutely. Oh, good. People like, have been asking now it's a added time. graphics. Uh, Don Fan, you can take care of this right there. We're just going to kill this guy nice Ooh, and quick. Uh, please catch the giraffe. Somebody was saying uh, the sword Pokemon is my favorite Pokemon came out of this generation. Uh, I, I need to check what it evolves into. At some point, yeah. I'll run into someone who trains, who's got like a, as like a trainer, who's got like the evolved form to see what it becomes. It's got, it does look kind of fun. I mean, see, uh, sometimes the rock Pokemon are really cool. Like I like um, Gigalith. Uh, who I think was maybe introduced in Gen 5. Uh, I think Gigalith was really cool. Really enjoyed Gigalith. So, oh, my Don Fan. My Don Fan is mighty. That is... You know what? That hat suits you. That that hat does suit you. I, I will give you. But yeah, let's just bulldoze you. Can we what? Can we one-shot this tiny little petal-y thing? And I think we have. Nice. Have I got one of you yet? I'm going to catch you just in case. I can't remember if I've actually got one of you. But we will very quickly just toss a ball in. Then we'll head to the port city. Get the gym lead. Give the gym leader his wallet. Get back. That'll be the gym test. And then we're going to destroy him. Ted. No, Claire. Wow. I was, I was looking at Ted, which is why I said Ted's name. I was looking at Ted. Oh, Ted. It's like, no, wait, no. But Ted, Ted doesn't do the reading. Wow. Ted can't do the reading. If Ted could do the super chat reading, I would be so out of a job, day. Yeah. Oh, no. instead we got some very loud, but some very loud balking earlier. It's extraordinarily loud balking. So so we had to pause the stream briefly because the balking was extremely loud. So apparently, set up other people's dogs. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, K L E who gave us five dollars and says I'm surprised to see uh, that this was still live even after I napped and came back. Thank you for so much entertainment. Oh. I'm surprised that we've reached a point where John wants to stop play, playing Pokemon. I mean, I get I'm it. Very it's hungry for soup. I'm but, very hungry for soup. Yeah. Very hungry. I've had a very light lunch today. Mm. I've not had much to eat today. I'm getting very hungry. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll just grab this TM. Uh, yes, Oman Gaming came back with another uh, $5 saying awesome about the Dwarf Fortress look. From what I've seen, they did a full overhaul and clean up a lot of stuff that was holding players back. Yeah. It does look good. It looks Just like... have soup with a straw. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Alexander gave us $5 uh, and says, Fun fact, um, giraffe rigs, uh, Japan... Fun fact, giraffe rigs, Japanese name is a palindrome and it translates to giraffe telekinesis. Ah. Interesting. Very cute. Mm. 
Alright, so uh, yeah, it looks like there's no shortage of giraffe rigs. So we can come back here and pick up giraffe rigs later. Uh, this team is starting to take shape. Uh, though as I say, Greaveyard at some point might get outed in favour of uh, something else. Not 100% sure what's going to potentially replace it. But I feel like maybe if I came across the right, say, really tanky Pokemon. Like, you know, like, I don't know, a Dusk Noir or a Foratress or something, the right one. Oh, I like the ridiculously ugly houses. I like all the stripy houses. Oh, yeah. This is, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff right here. And here's the marketing question. Right, buddy. Here's your wallet. You're very welcome. I kind of noticed there's an arena right in front of me. By any chance, are we going to Vault in Veluza? Well, you like, you like saying that. I like this guy. And where is my wallet? Don't worry, I won't be able to get into a hot item. It's okay, buddy. Got you. It's all right. It's okay. I got your thing. No, don't give it to this guy. He'll take the credit. And in the middle of super duper important ingredient buying. And... Oh. Are you by any chance going to battle me? Yeah. Okay, we have to fight his assistant. Before I'm allowed to speak to... Oh, I like the art in the background. The shelter yeah, and the magic really card. That's super cute. That is super cute. So, okay. Naturally, he's got... Oh, he's, he's not nothing, you know. This guy's not nothing. He's sending out the float souls. Level 28 and everything. Okay, just go for a basic headbutt. Uh, Graveyard might go down here. Oh, yeah. That's with the bite and everything. Okay. Right, he's probably going to go for bite again. I think probably the best bet is to just let him take Graveyard at this point And then go over to something else. So, okay, yeah, just let, let him take Graveyard. Let him, let, just let him. And, yeah, here comes the Aqua Jet. Not a bad move. Just in case I had a priority attack, which I did not. Okay, Graveyard was an unfortunate first thing. So, okay, he's a pure water. So, obviously, yeah, Dolive will be able to do some good stuff right here. I think we swap in Dolive and we Terrastalize straight away. We just Terrastalize <laughs> the Dolive straight up. Uh, oh, my God. Shout out to Bartlett in chat who uh, describes the, the chef guy. Uh, this man has three moustaches and none of them are under his nose. That's true. All right. Activate Dolive, who's now going to have a beautiful, beautiful flowery helmet thing. Picking up Ooh, a... Nice. I'm, honestly, I'm not, I don't really like the grass one that much. I think the bouquet of flowers is a bit gaudy, actually. Yeah, I mean, you don't... You. The only reason you don't... Ah! Like... Flinching! No! Unacceptable. Okay, is he just going to flinch bite straight through me? Okay, we're going to get that Mega Drain, which is double stabbed. This is going to do some... Yeah! That's the shit. That's what I was waiting for. Double stab. Oh, yeah, and she got way better as well. Yeah, the Mega Drain. That's what they have. Um, Pokemon are good at. You got anything else for me? Yeah, you're just annoyed because the plant on top of the hat is like the evolution of the, the <laughs> kernel one you don't like. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, no. It's not that. It's fine. Okay, keep going. Here comes the Smackdown. That cannot do that much to me. Here comes the Mega Drain. Yeah. A, a terrestrialized grass type is going to do some lovely, lovely work right there. So that's going to be Dolive back up to full health. Dolive is going to do beautiful, beautiful work here. Dolive is doing fine. So, all right. Clauncher, doing great. Good start. Mankey gets to learn Assurance. Assurance is... Ah, interesting. Random Ninja says uh, that grass uh, hat looks good on very few Pokemon. But it looks fantastic on the ones it looks good on. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, fair uh, enough. Who, who does it look good on? Tell us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got ourselves him out the way. That means no, I can... So we don't need to steal the old man's wallet because we have four grand out of this kid. Yeah, now my wallet's empty too. All right, so now I give this guy his wallet back. He goes back to his gym. We just fast travel back there because we've been there. And I have your wallet. Here you go, sir. That was my gym test, meaning Volton Veluza. He loves saying it. I love him. I absolutely love him. Thanks for coming all this way. Should apologize for my little apprentice. Hope he didn't bother you. Something here. Oh, it's... no. He gave us a lot of money, so it's fine. Yeah. It's all absolutely fine. And here comes today's last item. Oh, is this going to be important in some capacity? And uh, legendary seaweed from Hoenn. Region 3. Oh, I wonder if it's like Corsola. 
Is that supposed to be like bits of Corsola? Is that like probably something we shouldn't be doing? I don't know. Vaulting for loser! There we go. See, we chock a nutrients, catches light and shine so brilliantly. Oh, lovely. Good old Is this Owen. a dead Pokemon we're eating? It could possibly be dead Corsola, yes, it's yeah, hard to say. Uh, you want to challenge me at uh, Cas Cascarafa? You're going to need some smarts. This is a perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Okay, how do auctions work in this universe? So compete with the customers, be aware of how much money you've got, be the person who bids the highest. Okay, and he's going to give me the money. He just gave me 50 grand. Okay. So don't go too high too fast. We've got to do it at auction. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Ah, let's get you the hat for being an old auction man house as you want to be someday. I want to be an old auction, old auction man. Okay, here we go. Start the bid at 10,000. Corsola was coral, not seaweed. Ah, fair enough. Right, start at 10. Yeah, that's fine. We're currently at 10, 15, 25. Okay. These, these people are not very good at auctioning. I'm going to see if I can maybe scare one of them off by jumping a little bit. 35. What a big spender. What in the world? Yeah, that's dissuaded them. Yeah, there we go. He gave me 50 and I got it for 35. Do you get to just keep the money? I assume I just get to keep the... I'll, I'll just tell him I got it for 50. There we go. Thanks for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking that now if you don't mind. Hand of the legendary seaweed. Great catch. A feeling low as the seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. And if there's any of that money, feel free to keep it as a tip. 15 nice. grand tip. Nice. Nice. All right. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. So I'm going to prepare uh, a real can... good battle. <sighs> uh, after this, auctions for rare items open up and you can bet in auctions yourself. Oh, nice. nice. So that what that's what this town's for. Why it doesn't have its own gym because it's doing its own thing. Yeah, I guess. So, okay. That's fascinating. We might come back here and check that out uh, <laughs> later. I love it. Uh, Richard says, uh, you can tell how much John likes a game by how long the live streams go. Shiny stones. He's just ignoring you, Richard, because he knows it's true. Sandwich fillings. Oh, obviously, I want to do an auction for sandwich fillings. That makes perfect bloody sense. That's Hondu Berries. Uh, what have you got? And fresh produce. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna auction on that. Thank you. And our can-do attitude. It's canned goods. Lol. Okay. Don't worry about any of that. Instead, I'd say yeah. Now at this point, Greaveyard unfortunately fainted. So we've got the we've got the thing tagged over here. So we can come back and check that out later. But now we can go straight to. Actually, hang on. Can I? Is that further along? Oh, hang on. There are loads of shops here. Oh, there's way more shops. There's way oh, I can get a haircut. Yes. I'm going to get a haircut ready for my big gym fight. And I'm going to get a special haircut. Look, he using the money the gym leader gave me. It's just on the right as we're going. We're going to get, we're going to get, we're going to get the extra haircut. Right, okay. Get over to... Yeah, only in the middle is auctions. The rest of those are stalls. Oh, the rest of them are stalls. Oh, blimey. People are just flickering in and out of existence. Uh, right. New glasses. Right. I know I saw haircuts. New hat! Hat shop. Hat shop. Hat shop. Hat shop. Hat shop. Well, Cat of course, you need to make sure that your uh, new uh, haircut is going to fit your hat. And vice versa. Do you just not get... Oh, you do get to see it. It just, just takes just 10 really... billion years. Just beanies. Is there anything that's not beanies? Square cap. Ooh. I mean, that's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah. It's slightly excessively large. I mean, maybe if it was like in, like, in purple or pink. I don't know. Uh, is there anything below the square cap? Bucket hat. Uh, no. Come on. There's got to be something below the bucket hat, right? Bucket hat with patterns. Oh, that's completely lacking in any taste. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Oh, it's awful! It's absolutely... Yes, of course I want to wear it straight away. Oh, uh, and with the haircut, John, you'll be a cut above the rest. No, I want to put it on. Put No, put it on. 
Put on you the hat. You can get a sci-fi helmet, apparently. Get. Put on your hat. Put on the hat. Put on the hat. There we go. That's my outfit. <laughs> I yes. like how it's awesome. Yes. You, would you like to go out in this outfit? Like, are you sure you want to go out in this outfit, though? Yes. Get I'm out of my way. laughing at your hat. Get out of my way. Oh, is that a new ba <gasps> backpack? New better backpack. I want a matching dumb outfit. I need a new dumb backpack. Okay. I need to show me, show me the backpacks in dumb patterns. <gasps> Oh, the... careful about the haircuts. Some of them don't let you use a cap, and it won't tell you until you pay for it. Oh, no. How about I just go for a good backpack? I just need a backpack with a dumb pattern. Need, need... Oh, no, th those backpacks aren't interesting. No, those backpacks are interesting. They, 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 they weren't, they weren't terrible enough. I need, I need to Where's worse. the hairdressers, though? I could have, yeah, I could have sworn it was right here. Just zoom in. It should be right there. Just past the artisan bakery. Yeah, but isn't there one of those on every corner? Isn't it like a Starbucks? Oh, I think it's the next level up. I think, oh, just, okay. I think I need to go to the next level up for the, for my haircut. So, okay. I just need to get... Oh, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough with my hat. With my terrible hat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Terrible hat. Terrible hat. And now, oh, this is it. This is it. No, yes. Yes, I'm gonna get. Oh, I'm gonna get terrible haircut to go with my terrible hat. Terrible haircut for my terrible hat. Yes, and I would like a hairstyling, please. I have all the cash we need. Okay, can I get like different stuff that wasn't just like in the in the flipping uh, oh. character builder? Shout that to Molly. Who oh. oh, yes, 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 yeah. yes. You might might think like you can have you know what am I like what am I liking what am I liking what what's new at the bottom here uh, space, space buns. buns that doesn't look like, I think that would get in the way of my hats which is a shame because it's space themed so asymmetrical oh no short curls the bowl cut I just feel like the two bowl cut the pixie cut the everything cut the the soft curls. Oh, oh wow, that's that's proper. It's got hair <laughs> physics. It got it's got it's jiggle physics. Hair. It's got jiggle physics on it. Oh no. I can just grow more hair if you want. The medium curls. The pony. Oh, I could run for ponytail. Can I have ponytail? The long. Oh, the long bob. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's have a bit more hair. Let's have a bit more hair and a really dumb fancy hat. Shout out to Molly uh, who says, I unironically love John's new hat. Yes! Uh, it makes me think about one of my favorite purchases when I studied abroad in Spain in 2012, a purple galaxy windbreaker. Yes! I love my new hair and my new hat. It looks yes. very lovely. Yes! Yes. Oh, now this. My hair looks somewhat like that, and I would wear the shit out of that hat. That's a great hat. Okay, <laughs> now I look fabulous. It's time to kick the ass of the gym leader. Oh my so, god. Yes. Okay. Shout out to Oman Gaming who gave us five uh, dollars and uh, says uh, if John's whole outfit matched that hat, he would be the Elton John of the Pokemon world. Dazzling tights. Dazzling tights. I need to see the dazzling tights. I think you might need to take off the trousers to see the dazzling tights. Are these... I mean... Are these dazzling... Oh, right, yes, because they're underneath my... Right, well, I'm more interested in the backpack, to be honest. I'm kind of just going to... Uh, hmm. Are they terrible? Are they awful, terrible colours? There's purple stripes. Ah! No. 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 Also, also you, it costs 80 you can't grand. Afford it. it costs 80 grand. Berets. This is where we get the berets. And the straw hats. That does not look like it's made out of straw. No. It's like, maybe it's like, the, maybe like the, the style or design or whatnot. Yes. But I, I like my existing dumb hat better. But I might I think I can get some dumber glasses. Some much dumber glasses here. I think this is like the the most ridiculously overpriced. Uh, this is just a high end store. Yeah, this is the high end shit right uh, here. For real though, can you get Clive's hair? Shh. Pro presumably, yes. 
silver and gold, gold and mirrored, silver and mirrored. Done. <laughs> yes. 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 That's the shit right there. I look so bad. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now I will say for the record, for the for yes. I would wear that hat, and my hair is exactly that color right now. I would not wear those glasses. That's where yeah. I draw the line. Shine. There's no line. Like I don't. There's no line, baby. This. I. I don't draw lines. We're going <laughs> in. Don't, We're going in. This is. Oh, this is the shit. This is the shit right here. Okay, who's going out first? Okay. Oh, my Pokemon. I forgot to heal I love my. I'm seeing his slow transformation from student to pimp. I kind of forgot to heal the Pokemon at the Pokemon oh, well Center, but that's fine. We'll just do it right now with potion. I, I got so busy distracted by shopping, I forgot to heal my Pokemon before the Pokemon battle. That's John's poker outfit. <laughs> okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start off with Quaxwell. My Pokemon's gonna, my water Pokemon's gonna take on his, and then we're, we're gonna play it from there. We're gonna play it from there. All right, we're going in. I delivered the wallet. Then he kind of gave me all the money out of it anyway, which is weird, but that's that's fine. It's okay. Gym test has been passed. Also, I beat the shit out of someone, so it's fine. I'm ready. Let's flipping go. Let's go to the battle court. It's time. It's flipping. Oh, someone make Ted fan art normal poison. So this is uh this is from Andy. Yeah. Uh, this is from Andy, who's made uh. Ted's Pokemon card. Yeah. Um, and uh, yes, he is farting a little poison ghost. Look. Oh. I love you, Ted. I love you, Ted. Here we go. Here we flipping go. Me versus the chef, who's probably going to say Volted Velooza. Kofu can't play right now, unfortunately. Kofu's got to take me on in a battle. All right, here we go. Keeping someone waiting. Please forgive me. Need to do this first. I have no idea how high level he's going to be. He, I mean, his assistant was level 28. Which worries me a little bit. Oh, my dumb hat. Yes. My stupid, stupid hat. He's like, I've been waiting for you. And I respect your fashion sense. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. And uh, yeah, we're jumping straight into this. I'm, I'm mildly concerned. I'm mildly concerned. Okay, we're, about, we're buying and selling in my gym. We're battling the more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the Raging Sea. I'm going to serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Because some of them are fish. Um, here we go. Here we flip and go. It's on. It's, it's on and what are you going to be sending out first? How many Pokemon has he got by the way? And. Yeah, we could have guessed that, huh? Well, I mean, it's a fish, but I don't really know. It's called Velusa. Oh, right. That does make sense. Yes. Okay. Mold breaker. Breaks the mold. Not seen this before. Level 29. Okay. It's a bit ahead of me. It is a bit ahead of me. I'm going to go for, hang on. The low sweep was power 65. Yeah, lowers the speed stat. That's not a bad thing to kick off the fight with. He probably can't kill me in one. So we're going to start off with a low sweep and we're just going to see what happens. Comes with the slash. It's going to take him a few turns to do that. And if I can... What is he? I don't know what this is, but that looks fighting... Like steel, maybe? Yeah, but then fighting would be super effective if it was. Mm -hmm. If fighting's not very effective, then probably could be psychic, could be flying. Um, Okay, go for aerial ace. Give it a go, see what it is. And now I'm faster than him. We're doing a bit of chip damage, but he's going to take me out pretty fast. And there's the crit. Okay, it's it does appear to be, you know, what? my best bet's probably to go for an Aqua Cutter. Even though it's not very effective, at least I've got the stab and it's more powerful. Yeah, you know what, that's, that's not so bad. I still don't know what he is precisely, but Quaxwell's gone down. Alright, possibly. I thought dark fighting was super effective against Dark. Not, not the other way around. So, okay, Mankey's not going to work because, you know, fighting doesn't work. We could send out Donphan. I've not actually seen a water move yet. Thunderfang's got to be not a bad starting point. Mm. And Donphan's got enough health. It should be able to tank just about anything. Water Psychic, someone's saying. Yeah, Cerebi also says that. So in which case, Mankey might be able to sneak in with a thief. Mankey, I choose you! 
There we go. Mankey's going in. This is this is your big moment, Mankey. Go in for the thief. Super effective. Should be faster than him. Another one will do it, but I'm not sure whether Mankey's going to survive to another one. That's going to be... He does not. Oh, no, Claire. This, this could be going better. Um, it's it's going to... I could ultimately end up being all down to... Down to... Uh, Dolive. Donphan has to come in and hit with a Thunderfang. Uh, maybe I should have gone for... Maybe I should have gone for the double slowing it down. I doubt it's... I think it's going to be... No, he... Oh, Mankey I'm... isn't weak to Psychic. Huh? Mankey's weak to Psychic. Yeah, but I hadn't seen him with any Psychic attacks. The pluck was flying. Mm. Okay, Donphan is weak to a lot of stuff. Wug Trio. Okay, so the, um... This version's Doug Trio. I wonder if that's... I think it's pure water. Keep Don Fan in. Keep Don Fan in. Wug Trio's coming out. I think this thing... I don't think this is ground. I really hope it's not ground. Activate the... Here comes the water pulse. You can take it. Oh, Don Fan may or may not be able to take a second one of those. But he's done a good bit of damage. Gooey. Okay, makes Pokemon slower. All right, we've now it's pure damage roll whether he can take the water pulse or not. And he cannot. All right. But you're almost done. Graveyard, it's up to you. You're up next. Let's save Dolly for whatever's coming up last. Graveyard should be able to take some of this and then just a simple headbutt should finish it off. Oh, and you haven't healed your Pokemon since you used the uh, terror, did you? Uh. You forgot to do that. Uh oh. He's making a face. Oh no. Oh no. Mistakes have been made. Okay, and now Crabominable. You stay out for the time being, Graveyards. So what exactly is this going to be? I'm assuming he's going to terrorize it, which is a problem because I can't terrorize mine because I forgot to heal since the last terrorizing. R.I.P. This is a massacre. I mean, it's showing. The button's showing available. That's true. It is. Maybe you get a free heal before a gym fight. Oh. Just in case you forget. It may be I'm faster than him. If I'm, may if I'm lucky, I'm faster and I might be able to flinch him with headbutt. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. Pokemon's going to rock the boat. Yeah, but you're about to make it even more... I don't know what it is right now. I don't know what that Pokemon is. But he's about to make it even waterier if it wasn't watery already. So, all right. Here it comes. Here yeah. comes the water hats. Obviously, it's going watery. I don't know what it was before, to be honest. Level 30. So, okay. Yeah. This is fine. This is Dao. Oh, here comes it's the crab hammer! Oh, that's gonna cock and hurt! It's gonna hurt! But Dolive, he's gonna struggle to use the crab hammer against Dolive. Yeah, he's fighting ice. Oh, but now it's now I think he's now pure water. Oh, and I feel like Numo's not gonna have fun with this situation. I'm sort of regretting not pulling, you know, more Pokemon out of retirement for this. Dolive, this one's kind of up to you now. This one's up to you, but you have got the advantage here. Okay, so battle. Terastalize. And just go for Mega Drain after Mega Drain. He's probably still got Ice Attacks. He got Auto Restore before Gym Fight. Oh, good. We're just going to have to basically see if desperately we can survive I mean, his Ice Attacks. It is a stupid, stupid outfit, but it does look good with the... Like, yeah, uh... with the drama. Here we go. All I need to do now is I just need to keep sucking his health. He, he's going to hit me with ice attacks. And I need to just rock smash. You know what? That's not even that bad. If I could just hit him with enough. Oh, Flip. I think we might just about to pull this off. Yeah, super effective. And then do you gain I back get all damage? the health back. And if he had an ice attack, why wouldn't he have already used it? I think we might just salvage this. Here comes the slam. Oh, Dolph dodges! Dolph with the dodge! Dolph coming in with the Mega Drain! Yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> that was close! I wasn't supposed to come to this city next, I think. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that was not supposed to happen. And Dolive lives, as does Numal, who was just chilling in the background, learning about Earth power. Numal just learned Earth power, which was... Oh, power 90. 90, there you see, that's not bad. That's not bad right there. Bloody hell. Oh, wow. That, that, that Dolive came in and flipping saved us. That was something special. And there we go. I'm guessing this isn't supposed to be gym number two. I feel like this is probably supposed to be like gym number three or something. Actually, chat, what gym number is this supposed to be? Uh, it's listed as number four in Zerabi. Amazing. Like, as in fourth in the list not it i don't think it says whether it's supposed to be four amazing but yeah i guess it's like level <laughs> of pokemon numel is like please don't send me here please don't send me here <laughs> all right so there we go what a great catch you are just get master fish you held on tight to the last second you're not wrong it was a last second victory <laughs> jesus yeah the other gyms, yeah level 14 for the first one and then we've got 16, 23, and this one was level 29. Okay, so... Oh, he so poses for goofy photos. Oh, my dumb hat and glasses! Yes! Okay, so we're just going to walk over gym 2 and 3 when we get there. Brilliant. And now, poke up to level 30. will be easy to catch, and we'll actually bother helping me out too. And chilling water. All right, brand new thing. So... Uh, user attacks target by showering it with water. It's so cold it saps target's power, lowers target's attack sat. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. So there we go. He's back up to his restaurant. And I've got the fourth badge to go with the first one. <laughs> oh, no. That, that was... Well, you know what? It worked in the end. You know what? I'm glad. Uh-oh. Pardon me. Would you be the John I've heard so much about? Who are you? You a plot person. No one mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Uh, Apollos didn't mean to startle you. My name is Hassel. Oh, he's one of the Elite Four. Hello. Please don't fight me. My Pokemon aren't ready. Also, he's a te he's one of my teachers. <laughs> God, I don't know any of my teachers. He's I've... like, I teach art. I teach art classes at the academy. I noticed and also he's I'm not a vampire. fucking been coming to school. I've not been coming to school. What compels you to collect these gym bands and strive to be a champion? Basically, anything to avoid going to I school. I want to catch them all? Yeah, for fun, I guess. There we go. Ask and answered. There is no single correct answer. And all passed into the great crater of Paldea. Do people say that? Well, I always told don't go to the great crater of Paldea under any circumstances. So, all right, there we go. Maybe I could become a champion. He's won the Elite Four. Wh what element Pokemon do you have, by the way? Would be useful to know that before taking on the Elite Four. And I, I will train hard starting now. Also, please come to my art class. <laughs> <laughs> no one comes and I'm really lonely. Oh, God, I sometimes I just cry into my easel for 45 minutes till it's time for lunch. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Pokedex has been updated. I had no idea what any of those cocking Pokemon were. Jesus, I had no clue. Absolutely none. Still, as that first Pokemon being psychic kind of thing, it didn't look psychic. It didn't look psychic at all. So, all right, there we go. And a new language class is available for me to take. Oh, life is, life is good. We've completely skipped forward into a situation we're not supposed to. Uh, uh, please visit the art class. The background paintings are amazing. We will do it, but not right now, because right now, now I do want some soup. Now I definitely want some soup, damn it. Oh, you can't apparently go to his art class before now. John, go heal. Go heal. And my Pokemon maybe They are not for healed for free. Apparently, I was thinking they might have been healed for free. Or I could do that. I could do. Ooh, what's this? What is this building? What are you on the hunt for today? I don't know. I've I've got fingerless gloves. Do they come in dumb. Okay, I just need to check whether there's dumb patterns. What is this helmet? Oh, <gasps> Steven dumber helmets. Yes. Yeah. You know, I I can do without fingerless gloves. Maybe in purple or pink. Kind of matches my dumb trap. Done! 
Yes, I. every badge I pick up, I will look dumber and dumber. Woo! It's incredibly important to me that I just keep looking dumber with ev every passing moment. I have to just look dumber and dumber. Yeah, that's the helmet shop. That's the helmet shop. Is it? Oh, yeah, because the, the, the Pokemon on the front is like the bicycle helmet. Right, I think... We're going to stop there. Mm -hmm. So we can have some lovely, delicious soup. Unless, of course, you've got any last minutes you need to cover Let off, Claire. Let me just double check. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, indeed. Alexander gave us $5 and says, John plays the ultimate diva. Defeating them is not enough. You have to style on them in the process. Damn straight. Got a waterstone and a TM around the back of the... Oh, shit, around the back of the gym. There's always good stuff just around the back of the gym. And there's been a, there's been a TM around the back of both gyms. That I've visited so far, which has been marvellous, actually. That's been great fun. And yes, uh, shout out also to Daxter, who's been a member for 18 months. Uh, and since I finished my drive about 30 minutes ago, I believe that was the person who had an unpleasant drive earlier. Oh, so good. Like, I finished my drive about 30 minutes ago. It's currently 8 p.m. EST. I have work at 2 a.m. I'm going to miss the end of the stream. But I'm excited to watch in the morning. Good night. Good night. And yes, we just managed to avoid being humiliated by a second gym in a row <laughs> at the end. There. It was close. Yeah. That first Pokemon, like, just swept through three of me, which was very embarrassing. But we just about pulled it off, and now I'm going to heal my Pokemon. Life is good. And they're starting to evolve. All right, I'm pretty sure Mankey's getting close to its evolution level. I think that happens before 30. We've got Dolive. I don't know if Graveyard even evolved, actually. I hope it does. It looks... I think it should do. It looks... If it doesn't, it's bloody weak. Because it looks flimsy as anything right now. So it, it really should do. Because next to the others, it's looking very flimsy. I cannot remember what level Numal evolves either. No clue. So, all right. The team's starting to come together. We will be back. I don't know whether it'll be next week. Maybe the week after. But, uh, yes. The point is, everything we've done today has basically been going, yeah, from here to here. This has been maybe, yeah, a third. No, 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 no. no a quarter. Quarter of the map. The easiest quarter, quite possibly. Okay, Graveyard evolves at Graveyard level 30. Graveyard does evolve. Oh, don't show me the levels. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Monster. Jeez, okay. All right. Uh, what were you saying about Numa? I can't remember when Numa. I'm happy to know when Numa evolves because I should know that because I knew that back in Generation Three. Uh, thirty-three. Ah, thirty-three. So that one's gonna take a little bit longer to get to into. I'm a... sorry, I wasn't. I didn't know that. I shouldn't tell you that. You level. monster! Putting spoilers in the stream, dear flipper dear. So okay. We've got ourselves all sorts of sexy bits and pieces right there. We've got ourselves two gym badges and maybe, yes, next time we actually... I just ran into a Pokemon at the edge of town. Also, the Pokemon is... Pokemon appears to be invisible. It's in the floor. Ah, Pokemon Violet. Lot, let's you, wait, you wait, wake up and choose Violet. Excellent. Just, yes, we could probably go the other way. So next stream, I'd say probably... We're going to yeah, go... Yeah, we're definitely playing this again, by the way. I'm getting people going like, Oh, but I, I, I want to see this and this and that other thing on stream. We're going to yeah. have more Pokemon streams. Yeah, so next time we're going to go the other way. And yeah, if we go yeah into this area, I'm pretty sure this is where there was a... Yeah, the Rocky Titan. We need to go get Cloth. Uh, go get him. There is a gym. The grass type gym I was probably supposed to go to earlier but didn't uh i can oh, don't worry john there's still something that uh, the chat has just told me about the uh, evolution of graveyard that i am not telling you that oh. is gonna mean that is not straight up oh it's one of the know. complicated bloody evolutions is it dear oh, flippin dear okay if i go this way yeah it's just gym after gym there's the grass gym there's what looks like are you the fire gym the... No electric gym. Oh, it's a streamer. Yay. That's where the live streaming, the live streaming person lives. So yeah, next stream, we're probably going to ourselves, uh, yeah, uh, a Titan, two gyms, and maybe we'll even go in and say hello to, uh, yes, one of the uh, Team Star bases. So plenty, plenty to come, coming up next week, quite well, possibly. This can well turn out to be a full live stream series. This is, oh, this is great fun. And oh, we're I'm gonna... sorry, were you trying to pretend that it wasn't going to be? I might have been trying to pretend that. You're never flipping, no. Look, the point is, I think we're going to go eat some soup and cuddle a dog 
And a good boy. he's a very good boy. We're going to cuddle a dog and eat some soup and it's going to be great. Uh, Oblivions. Obviously, you've got usual Oblivions coming up sooner. We've got... Oh, I'm really quite happy with this episode of uh, Fallout 3 on Sunday. It's it's quite quite weird. There's some weird stuff. Some okay. hidden away little bit Dude. of stuff. And it all comes together surprisingly perfectly. And yes, a few other bits and pieces. Um, I've got a couple of... New releases obviously coming up. We're still in like, you know, the big release period of the year. Um, whenever I can get my hands on the Callisto Protocol, want to do that. I cannot get that just yet. Do have my hands on something else I can't actually talk about yet or acknowledge in any way. But uh, that'll be coming up at some point in the uh, near side too. And people mentioned Dwarf Fortress earlier. Don't have that yet. When I do get my hands on it, would like to give that a look see as well. So all sorts of new releases coming up. And uh, yeah, all usual. Oh. Yes. I love watching John play a game he loves. This is good fun. So, we're turning in. Thank you so, so much for joining us this evening. And uh, thank you so, so much to the Super Jet Donators. And, oh, and community members and uh, Patreon folks. Uh, Patreoncast will be recorded this weekend. Expect it uh, sometime early to mid next week is probably the uh, is probably the uh, goal there. So, yes, new Patreoncast coming out soon. And I'm sure we could be too far away from the next early access to the podcast. I need to speak to Matt about that. So, all sorts of stuff coming up soon. Hopefully, you are all looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. Woo-hoo! And... He's looking so at impressed. Us, like, so, so unimpressed. So unimpressed. So unimpressed. This has been Pokemon Violet. That's the one. I almost said Shield, but no, that was the last one. Pokemon Violet. Thank you very much. And have fun. Choose violence.